What up? Walk one, boys. Walk one. I'm jacked up to do this. Uh, for anyone that wants to come, the guys that are in party right now, give me a second because uh, I got to like I want to bottle up the previous piece. Um, because I want to track how many we're actually getting. These are six divines each. You can see we've got uh, seventeen of them right now. So we're just going to bottle up all of our superfluous beasts first, as well as any. Okay. This is going to take me about fifth. Oh. It take me a little bit to uh Hello. This is why the new change is so good by the way. What you, what you're gonna have to watch me do here. This is what this is gonna prevent. When I ask for rares, because I know a lot of people don't actually really understand the distinguishing. So when you're bottling them, rares are ones like this that just have a paw. And uh, red beasts are... Uh... I look like a lion. Yeah, I just woke up. I'll get a hat on. Um, red, red beasts are the ones that have a 3D graphic. Another way to tell them apart is rare beasts have one line of red text and red beasts have two lines. But because we're, we're going to be doing 16, um, probably more than that actually, because I just sold... Uh, if you guys recall, yesterday I double corrupted six chests, six, um, uh, what do you call them, uh, the Alice, right? Uh, I spent, uh, 30 divines doing that, um, and if you check out my YouTube here, I just sold, uh, the chest that we hit, 
for 200 divines in league. So I've got a good amount of liquidity on me right now. It's never been uh, really a, an issue with um, uh, like overall money. Obviously, I've got far more far more money than that uh, in overall value. Oh, but um, uh, you know the market's obviously moving quite slow because there's not that many people playing. So to get that amount of cash is really nice. It gives a nice cushion for us to do a bunch of. I was kind of I wasn't burning out, but given the fact that it was so difficult to sell things. Um, I was kind of thinking of just not doing anything for the rest of the league and just sort of focusing on the next league. But, uh, you know, now that we've got some cash again, we can do some meaningful stuff. So that's, that's exciting on my end, at least. Um, but yes, because we're doing so many of these beasts in a row, uh, or so many of these memories in a row, uh, I'm worried that my hideout, or my, um, my beast area will fill up and start deleting ones. And so I'm just getting rid of all the red beasts right now. Um, the rares I want to keep because rares are necessary for every craft. Uh, but red beasts are the ones that do specific crafts, right? Um, so you can see here, I create a unique item, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that's how you distinguish between those. Yeah, so for anyone that's joining me here, um, you guys can go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. This will probably take me about 15 minutes to clear up my thing, and uh, obviously we'll grab, uh, we'll fill up the party too. So if anyone in chat wants to come, uh, anybody's welcome to join for this. Uh, the way that the Harvest Beast memories work, the person who opens the memory, so the person who buys it and, and use, is using it, um, there's three maps per memory. Uh, because it's Beast Fury, you can just do it on like a white uh, level, you know, 68 map. Um, so it takes like 20 seconds. The person who opens the map or the memory gets all of there'll, there'll be eight beasts in total over the uh three maps. So, um, you know, Vivid Vulture, Vivid Watcher, Wild Brambleback, blah blah blah. The people who are in the party, um, they will get like one or two of the memory beasts for per memory. So that could be Vultures, Wild Bramblebacks, Wild Bristle Matrons, uh, Vivid Vulture, or Vivid Vultures, uh, Vivid Watchers, etc. So Normally, uh, if you go in trade chat here, you'll see, look, five divines per memory, this guy, if you want to join him, that's what it costs. I just want to craft, so all I'm asking is that if, you, if anyone can come, it's completely free. Just if, if you happen to get a vulture as the beast, uh, just give me those, and then you can keep all the other ones, which are worth like a divine each. So you'll be making a couple divines every couple of minutes, probably doing this. Um, <clears throat> and then it'll help me out too, because I just want to keep crafting, obviously, because I've got all these mirror crafts to do. Uh, and there just simply are not enough vultures on the market. So, kind of a win-win there. Uh, but yeah, since I will be getting um, the person opening the map, since they get uh, all of the beasts, plus the other rares and the other red beasts that are in there that are non-harvest um, uh, beasts, uh, you know, 16 maps means I'll probably be getting somewhere around 200 or 300 beasts. So, um uh, so that's why I just need to take a minute here to clean out my bestiary. Uh, it's also good for tracking sake, because then I can see how much we're actually getting per, right? Um, but that's why I have to take a moment here to uh, clear this out. Like, these ones are completely useless. Because 60 rare beasts cost a divine, right, on the mar open market. And to craft these, like this, create, uh, create an orb of fusing and two orbs of binding, it, it's like you're spending, um, or for these ones, you know, that's 1 20th of a divine, which is uh, 12 or 14 chaos. And to do that, you're creating four jeweler's orbs. So you're literally four. It doesn't make any sense to ever actually run them organically. So you're forced to just delete them like this. So you have to pay a chaos for one of these. And then the, the fucking UI for it is terrible as well because... You then also have to go like this, right? Like every time you bottle them, it'll move up to the top. These are actually good ones. Fairquilt Alpha is a good one. Um, this is like add suffix, remove prefix, whatever. But uh, these ones, these are absolute garbage. You're never going to use them. 
Um, and then when they're riddled amongst, so like when you have these paw prints, which are the rare beasts, um, as you're removing the good beasts, it'll like if if you're if you had to if the, like here, if you had to scroll down to the bottom here, right, and say I removed one like like this, look, it goes all the way back to the top. So if you have a lot of rare beasts in that same category, it means you're gonna have to scroll down to find the red beast every single time. Uh, like this is, this is the, the worst design I've ever seen in any game I've ever played. Um, and which is why I was so happy they announced the beast changes. In fact, earlier this league, if you were around, I actually lost half a mirror of beasts, uh, like and half a mirror, half a mirror of beasts were stolen from me because of a glitch in the game. Um, and I was actually in contact with DGG. I had multiple emails with them describing what happened. It was the front page post on Reddit. It was viewed live by 150 people and was upvoted and viewed over 500,000 times. Um, and I know because I talked to GGG on how, like, I thought they should fix this and what was going on. Um, so not that we, obviously, it was a problem pr far before us, but we actually did have a, uh, a small part to play in having Bestiary fixed. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, having to do this right now, especially knowing that in like four days, this is not going to be as big of an issue anymore. It's kind of annoying. Wild Bristle Matron, this is one of the hardest beats here. So yeah, so these are rare beasts, so we'll hold on to these. We're just removing all of the rares. Are they red beasts, sorry? Removing every red beast. That way I know exactly what we got per map. We can kind of track what our averages are just for data collection sake as well. Um, it'll be much easier to remove them uh, when necessary. But you see what I mean about having to scroll all the way down? And now look what's going to happen. Watch. Whoop! Takes me all the way to the top. Fucking stupidest shit ever. And you just scroll all the way down to find it again. How many? What is? I don't know. Uh, six divines each. They're very expensive. On a one-to-one -one basis, it's not really going to be worthwhile. Uh, like when you do a lot of them, you can probably have a positive expected value because vivid vultures are like five divines each. But um, there's no guarantee. Like like as with most things, it's quite streaky. Uh, think of it like double corrupting, like a, an awakened enlightened. You know what I mean? It's like it might be a positive EV. But um, to offset variants, you definitely want to run like a lot of them uh, or to make sure you're doing at least more than one. You don't want to like put like a hundred, if you have a hundred divines, you probably don't want to spend a hundred divines on a awakened gem to level it and then take that like one in four risk. And then you have, if, if you don't hit it, you're fucked, right? Uh, with memory, it's kind of similar because like while the bristle matrons are worth about a divine and a half, uh, vivid vultures are worth about four and a half to five divines. Um, but then you also have Wild Bristle Matrons. Wild Bristle Matrons give you the meta mod, this one right here, um, right? And then you have Vivid Watchers, which allow you to re-roll an Awakened Gem. Those are usually about uh, just under a Divine each. Wild Hellion Alphas, which allow you to re-roll a Watcher's Eye mod. Those are usually a couple hundred Chaos, 0.8 Divine sort of thing uh, each as well. Um, and, uh, okay, don't want to Reptiles. Sorry, I can't multitask for shit. It's this one, Sepha. These are actually very useful beasts right here. These are Venomal uh, Plague Arachnids. These are what you use to split. This is a criminally criminally underused mechanic for crafting, especially if you're doing things like amulets or manually synthesizing. Um, but Venomal Plague Arachnid is, in my opinion, one of the most, most overlooked, uh, not only beasts, but really crafting mechanics in the game, I would say. People will spend 
40 divines on a, a plus one fractured amulet, right? And when they could have just bought a 50 chaos plus one amulet, used a Fenimal Plague Arachnid, and have the exact same determinism on it. <laughs> If you need change, say you need, say you need change. Fuck. How hard is that for people to understand? And now he's stealing my beast? Dude, this guy just stole every beast I had on the ground. Fucking piece of shit. Don't get banned. Don't ever tell me what to do. I've played this game for 10 years without a strike on my account. I'm very familiar with like anything cannot say in the game. Pulling someone a Roomba, which is a vacuum, is not going to get me in trouble. I can't believe the fucking entitlement and gall on that person. 
hey, I want to buy your item. I'm not going to ask for change. I'm going to accuse you of trying to overcharge me because you didn't provide change on the opening trade window that I did not indicate I didn't have the correct amount of money. I'm going to steal your beasts off of the ground without asking, and then I'm going to message you and say that it's my fault. Which you know, the, the, the best part about that, though, was that it was more the point that he was picking up things that weren't his, um, especially because he hadn't even traded me yet. Like, if you're going to try and steal stuff from people, you should probably do it after you get the item you want. But I digress. Um, all of those beasts he picked up were actually these ones, like three, four jeweler's orbs. And again, to craft these, you actually have to use three rares, which cost 20 to a, or 60 to a divine, right? Which, which means these are 120th of divine, so those are worth 12 chaos. So it costs you 12 chaos to make four jeweler's orbs, um, which means those those beasts he picked up are actually like a loss. So <laughs> that's why I called him a Roomba. I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for cleaning up the floor of my hideout for me, you absolute Roomba. <laughs> Oh, you did me a favor. I was going to have to pick those up and just vendor them to get them out of the way because eventually they'd fill up the whole thing. So. Enti entitled fucking thief. That's his comeuppance. I love when stupidity is met in time. <clears throat> Poetic justice. Create unique boots. The right or wrong time oh no no it's not, not i'm not going on a rant or anything some guy just came to trade me to buy something um he was like he was a 1.5 divine helmet got the helmet put it in trade he puts in two divines uh and then just doesn't do anything so i cancel the trade go get him change and then i had all my beasts on the ground that i've been bottling and he starts picking them up and taking them and then i was like yo stop stealing my beast and he was like yo, he's like yo two divines isn't 1.5 divines bro I was like, it's your responsibility to bring the fucking correct amount of money. And if you would have asked for change, I would have got it for you, which is in fact why I closed the trade window. I was like, you fucking idiot. And then he goes and he steals all my beasts more. Like he goes, keep stealing all my beasts. And then he left as he was leaving the hideout and like drop party. I was like, thank you. Every one of the beasts you just picked up were actually ones like this, where it cost 12 chaos to create eight chrome orbs. So you actually just did me a favor by cleaning up, like cleaning up the floor of my hideout. So I called him a Roomba, and then I blocked him. <laughs> See, look at this. This guy's charging. Same thing we're about to do. Five divines. Good guy, Belton. Uh, da, da, da. Rackage, like a rackage. I'm a widow. Yeah, see, your boy, your boy's responsible. What well, Atlas tree do I prefer? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take the one where you get to that waypoint kind of thing, um, and then I'm gonna have that redirect to my portal scroll, uh, which is gonna take us to our hideout, and then we're gonna sit there and laugh at everyone who argues over which Atlas tree to use. We're, we're, we're gonna be we're the boardroom right we're the, the we're, we're the executives of the board right the executive branch of the company and we're watching a bunch of fry cooks argue about who's gonna take the longer shift at McDonald's I'd rather be the CEO baby we amalgamate the that we, we compound the efforts of other people okay Chris said Prepping for the disappointment. Hey, you might get lucky. I opened uh, like 200, I think, at once in a for a video, and I got Mage Blood. Uh, I think I ended up making like eight mirrors off of doing that because I got Mage Blood very quickly. Um, this might be some of the last ones we need here before we're ready to go. Uh, if anyone, we still have one spot in the group, guys. So as, uh, just as, in case anyone's unaware, I bought like 120 divines worth of Einhar Memories of Harvest Beasts. Anyone's welcome to come. Um, the only thing I ask is that you give me any vivid vultures that you get. Uh, otherwise, you can keep everything else.
XD is so creepy. When I see XD in chat, to me, it's like in the 80s, what like a white fucking van was to like pedophiles. It's like not every person that drives a white van, right? That might be a painter or a construction or some contractor, right? And so I'm not saying every person that uses XD is in the same way as a white van is to pedophiles. However, sure is shit more likely than the average person. Infinite Heights got new. I've never, I always thought Infinite Heights was also a bad idea. I actually loved Infinite people that would Infinite Heist because the vast majority of the money I made early leagues was from people doing Infinite Heist, thinking they were making good money, selling shit on the market with no consideration for its mid to long-term value because there was such a competitive market on the sales side and almost no presence of a, a buy market for things that are unique to Heist, like uh, tailoring orbs, tempering orbs, item level restricted cluster jewels. Um, so all of these people are flooding the market at the same time. Not only that, but they're also restricting their own levels so they have no character progression. I buy all of their shit at once, all right? They just spent fucking three days in hampering themselves to buy all this. I spent 20 minutes buying the fruit of their labors. Um, two days later, I've got a mirror. Two days later, they're trying to read a pox guide on how they can be poor still. GG, bitches. Think of it, uh, think of it like somebody just... Think, think, think of that nerf or the perception of that nerf as if you're poor in real life and somebody just took away lotto scratch cards from you. I probably did you a favor. Hello. He said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mirrors. I'm sorry. All right. We're at the very end of it here, it looks like, which is great. It means we can get started soon. Um, <laughs> Category of this is it. Uh, leapers insects. I tell you, I'm so glad you guys are laughing at my analogies. Normally, people think I'm like being an elitist asshole about them. I'm just trying to relate things in a way people understand. Because when you tell them like, "Yo, heist is actually kind of counterproductive in a lot of ways," they're like, "No, it's not." Fucking big ducks told me so. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Um, but you know what I mean? It's it's hard it's hard to reason with people in through a frame of reference that they just don't understand, right? They don't have like the um, uh, experiential knowledge to to relate to. So sometimes I use kind of absurdist real world examples to to like get people thinking in the vein of what I'm explaining. Um, and I know that a lot of the time people misinterpret that as me being malicious or whatever recognizing that I'm using it as a hyperbolic way to, you know, highlight or emphasize the point I'm making. Ooh, a couple more memories. You know you can fucking run you, you you can make two chaos per chaos recipe about every two and a half minutes by running something as simple as like uh fuck what's the zone called again how do i fucking bring up the map um blood aqueduct okay you run blood aqueduct you'll get a fucking you'll get a chaos recipe it's two chaos every like five minutes Okay, that would that would prorate to 24 chaos an hour, right? Uh, 12 times, yeah, 12, 24 chaos in an hour. Plus, you get your tabula cards, which you can also sell, and then you'll you know you'll get five C for each one of those. So you get probably uh, six of those. There's another 55 C. It's like you just made a divine there. You take that 55 chaos, you buy 55 one one C cluster jewels that sell for 125 chaos the next week. What do you know? You just made 27 divines in an hour. 
by not being stupid. The idea, people always seem to like operate under some assumption that there's like this grandiose way of people are getting fed currency or they have to be a really good racer to get starting capital to start doing this shit. Like literally the fucking chaos recipe is like the most basic currency generation form in the game point blank period. Um, it, you can start doing it in like in act nine. Um, and you know, when you look at two chaos as two chaos, it might not seem like that's an effective or efficient use of time. But when you batch these things together, get a quad tab, throw all that rare shit in there. And then when you want to go buy things, do recipe them all at once. So, you you know, instead of spending, you know, every map, you're spending, you know, 30 seconds or 40 seconds to get one recipe. It's like batch it, batch your task together. So you do 20 of them or 10 of them at one time. Then you go and buy everything that you want at one time. Then you go back, it's, you know, task oriented or you're batching your tasks together at once will save you an incredible amount of time. Um, and uh, again, 20 chaos in that example I just gave could be turned into, uh, you know, 10 divines. So you're spending probably f maybe, let's say, three minutes to do the chaos recipes 10 times, and then probably another five minutes to buy t those 20 things. It's like you just made, half, you know, your future value or your future return of that action is 10 divines for 10 minutes of work. Uh, and if you if you have a farming method that gives you 60 divines an hour on the first uh, you know, the first week of the league, I'd love to hear it, but it doesn't exist. <clears throat> and sorry if it sounds like I'm being adversarial or confrontational. I'm not. I'm just trying to emphasize my point. Okay, here. This will give us 20 if we can snag this one. I just listed it. Get one more because then we'll have an even 20. And my beast here is all cleared out now, I think. Yep. Can you guys re-invite me to the group? To be a strange defend point about something that you don't know about? Me? This guy trying to buy my plots for a mirror? Is it serious? I feel like that was a mistake. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that chaos recipe is the most effective use of time. I was saying that when somebody asked the question, how do you get starting chaos to buy stuff? I'm saying it can be as simple as that. Um, also, a chaos recipe is never going to be your primary task, right? When you say I'm running heist, what you're primarily doing there is running heist. Chaos recipe can be a secondary thing. While you're running heist, you can still do chaos recipe. If you have jeweler's fucking uh, chest, right? You can just hold on to those amulets and rings. There's no reason to identify them because their their item level uh, precludes them from having good mods anyways. Like you have like an item level 62 amulet, 62 ring. Like you can't even have fucking... T2 res on that, right? It's going to be worthless anyways. Might as well keep it unidentified. You know, have a quad tab, throw them all in there, and then when you need a chaos, you can do 10 or 20 of them at once while still focusing on, on what you're doing. Um, but no, heist... Uh, early league heist is not... Like, I'll put it from a point of logic. If so many people did early league heist, right, and they're so smart and it's such a good method, why are so many people broke and bad? You know? It's like... There, there, there's just basic logical incongruity between that point. If there's a ubiquitous and widely spread practice, and yet at the same time, the widely spread expectation is that people struggle and have trouble really getting to that upper echelon, then obviously these two stances are incompatible.
object. You guys been have a smoke free surgery? Also, this is me being completely pedantic, but I oh, just knocked over a hammer and a, a, a hole blow broke in my floor. I'm not joking. I just knocked a hammer off a counter. That's maybe karma for me being a pedantic dick, but I would like to point out the irony of referring to something as infinite and then saying that you should finish it within the first day. Just saying. <laughs>
Hey boys, let's make some fucking moolah. The discussions about chance orbs are a moot point because it's the most basic thing in the game to actively assess yourself, right? Go look at this. All right, chance orbs, control D. How much are they? One to three? Okay, well, they're one to three chaos. Okay, well, one fuse can be turned into one chance orb. Okay. Oh, look, they're one to four. I'll buy fusings and I'll turn them to chance. That's all it takes. You know, it, it, it doesn't, it, there doesn't need to be some grand theory or plan. It takes five seconds to actively look. And because it's something... Chance orbs are also used to buy uh, maps from Kyrak, right? Like these maps. And that's people will buy those early on for map progression sake. Um, but it's something that is so easy to act like, just look, just look, you know, you don't need to like set a plan. If it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. Should, should you should you rest like should should you rest the trajectory or success of your you know your entire early league on on this one point no what i was going to do today actually prior to um seeing like prior to making that 200 divine sale because um i, I was struggling obviously to make sales because the volume was was so low of trading um i was going to make a list of like 20 or 30 different things for me to look at so a list of divination cards that have good value um, different currencies that I know have arbitrage values, um, different items to invest in. And then when I go to the, uh, and I'm still going to do this. Um, but so that way, when I'm actively leveling, I just have this list on a, a Excel document and I can just go and check each one of them whenever I want, see which ones work, which ones don't just go like that. But you should never just have one strategy that you're reliant on. Who are we missing? There were six people before Oh, bot. Where is he? Did he come back or no? Okay, he never came back. All right. All right, we got one spot, guys. Sold it off here. It's fairly good. Sorry, guys, we need to get one more person. Uh, I just sent out a thing in the Discord. Anyone in chat, welcome to oh! 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 I just prematurely ejaculated my Gatorade all over my pants. Oh! 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 That's cold. Oh! 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 Cold nuts.
Okay, the nuts are dry. Let's go. Oh, dude, I just took this out of my... I, I bought a six-pack of Gatorade. It was in my freezer, right? So this is, like, ice cold. Opened it and dropped it. Oh, instant turtle shrinkage. Oh, sweet. Thanks, dude. You want cash? Hey, I'm going to go and chat on Discord, guys. If anyone wants to join, I'll be in voice channel one. <laughs> okay, we'll make these uh, low tier here. Actually, we might as well run them high tier. <laughs> okay, uh, we go off strand. Perfect. The first ones will run T16 because we might like we might as well get the higher end drops. If it's if it's too slow, we'll switch. Um, oh, here I'll move Einhar over here so it's faster. It is min-maxing. Do you guys like my new Bukaki circle, by the way? I made a little shout out to Bukaki, but I made like a little tower. You know, no, nobody com nobody compliments me. Brandon, people don't compliment me when I trade them enough about my towers. So now I just put them in a giant circle jerk so they have to. Best of luck, yeah. Luck is a guise disguised by the poor to... To distract them from their own failings. Make your own luck. Billy Zane, Titanic. Wait, 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 wait. Stop fucking moving. Don't do that again. Wait for everyone to get in there. Cuz if if you kill a beast and the person's not in there and that it doesn't they don't get a capture, that could be a five divine loss because of your impatience. Right? Like if that beast that was captured could have been a vulture for them. Piece of shit. Did anyone else? 
just crash or I crashed. Which means I just lost six divines. Can try and recoup it, I guess. They give you a divine. Fine. Fucking piece of fucking shit. If someone's playing a skill that's causing me to crash, I'm gonna get. I actually, in fact, we're. Oh, fuck. If, if I crash one more time, I'm gonna draw a number between one and five and I'm removing someone from the group so I don't lose my maps. Uh, cause I'm, that's a hundred, a hundred percent unacceptable. Um, uh, yeah, okay. It's prob probably a tornado shot deal, I think. Primal, uh, David. Yeah, I got two beasts. Well, my MTX, see that also helps. I have haste on. It's TS. It's the Herald device TS. The Herald device on Tornado Shot that's causing it. Or turn off peril device. Oh, I crashed again, what the fuck? Just me? Yeah. No, three people crashed. Too full. So I've now lost myself. I, I. So 
So I've lost a full map. We've lost three people. Uh, the last one we had all the all the red teams clear, so I think uh, it was okay. Graphics. I'm gonna turn graphics all the way down. Low. There's no chance they're gonna be on the same server. That's not a. Yeah. Wild, Ryan, Ryan. There's a couple of red pieces upside. Yeah. Oh. Vulture. Nice. I'll switch to white maps after this. You're taking too long to kill. They're not uh, restricted by levels, right? Like, no. Like all the No, no. It's actually, you're actually far more likely to get a crate chick chimera below item level uh, 70 or uh, tier 4 maps, anyways. There's certain there's certain beasts that require, like, they have a minimum item level or whatever to show up. Um, and so, chimeras, which only require lower one, um, makes it uh, more common for them. There doesn't seem to be many per performance issues seem to be fine on this one. You guys feel the same? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really smooth at the moment. I want to mention, uh, congratulations on your uh, 10th anniversary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw the lead, uh, today. Oh, yeah. Thanks, dude. Here, I'll, I'll turn you up so they can hear you on the fucking... Oh, there it is. Sorry. I can't see my... I think I'm not more transparent. Couldn't see the uh, transition there. No, appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. It, it's strangely like ten years is the longest relationship. Oh, that's a wild bristle matron right there. Um, longest relationship I've had with anything in my life, except outside of family, like for any job, for any game, for any. Actually, not friendship. I have, I have a couple of buddies that I've been friends with longer than that, but ten years is a long time. Third of my life. Might as well get the map fill here. Sweet. 
Okay. Welcome, brother. Yo, yo. Wait, my oh, you, you. Ah. Check this. Yep, I'll probably do that right now, actually. Okay, good. It's my first time doing this piece of stuff. Yeah. I bottle up what you get after each memory, so that way it's a, because, like, I'm sure some of you have beasts in there already. So that way it's con not confusing. Oh, it's not guaranteed yeah. capture, huh? It's a chance Just capture guess. nowadays. No, you're supposed to get one at least. Okay. Primal. Vivid. Okay. I have. Oh, I got two vultures. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll do that actually. Copy paste that. Uh, primal. Vivid. Yeah, only two beasts, but none of them are vultures. One is. Uh... Hellion Alpha and one is a Rex Matriarch. Oh yeah, so I just got two vultures from that one, which is nine point six divine, so we're Gucci. Even with the mis like the error. Yeah. Hope we all get a copy so that uh, more vultures for you. We all since this is uh, gambling. Uh yeah, I don't care what they're used for, I just meant for the Is there, is there a filter search, search to quickly see, see any of these? I typed it in chat. Yeah. Just type, uh... Right there. Primal, I just, like, literally... Two seconds ago, wrote yeah, in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> Fuck you. Oh. I think, uh... Yeah. Someone mm -hmm. went, uh... Someone crashed or something. Uh... <laughs> Nice. I think it was it's last league or was it this league? I don't remember. They changed the way beasts work, right? So just vultures and uh, chim uh, chimeras, right? Dalton? Yeah. Roger. Yeah, uh, you guys make sure you grab, because that way you don't have to go to your beast area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me grab those orbs actually. Let's go get a stack. A stack or two actually. This stack should be good. Did it take it you a long time, time to, uh, grind the, your, the DD, Dalton? Less than a day. Yeah. Less than a day, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but that being said, it, it took me 16 Sanctums. Ah, okay. I'm going to start a new tab here. Uh, just keep track of the beasts. This one's relatively empty. Yeah, we'll get, we'll, like, obviously, when, anytime I do any group play, there's always, like, a little bit of an adjustment doing first couple ones like this will be inefficient, but we'll get into a groove, and then it'll, you know, we'll start chaining them. There's always a little bit of contention, but, you know, stuff to be...
Okay, let me grab my beast. Um, the energy. Here. Then we'll go. What's the current chance? I, I thought it was a hundred percent for memory. Alright, all smoothed out, good to go. Could you clarify on the follow up and when not to? What do you mean? Always follow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, well, I was saying on a linear map, like Strand, it's like, obviously, we're all going the same way, but, you know, a map like um, Museum, where it's like a bunch of different rooms, um, where, like, there needs to be, because we have to stay within the same range of each other, so in ones where it's not obvious what direction we're going, then in that situation, just keep your tab open, or uh, your main, yeah, because yeah. otherwise all of us are going to go different ways, and I'm sure, counterproductive to everyone. Uh, in strands especially wait sure make sure you wait till everyone moves because some people like show up in the map but then they don't actually aren't actually able to move for like yeah here melancholy for example hasn't moved yet there we go Oh, that's why. Fuck. I was wondering why I was moving so slowly, and it's because I had fucking... Instead of having shield charge on, I was leap slamming. Oh, I'm gonna go fucking zoom zoom now. Vulture. Nice. That's good. Let's see if I got it actually. Yep, Vulture. I only got the goat. Damn, what's the percentage chance of this chance of chance of this got to read it up again? Okay, remember, so this is one that's uh, non-linear, so follow me on this one. That's a vivid uh, watcher. I'll also stop and let me grab the set like end of league grab the sanctums if you need them take two seconds to uh oh wild bramble back this is a uh, crystal matron right there
Missing one beef. It's top, uh, top left. Top left, okay. Good, good, good top left. Uh, why the boss room still? Oh. Why the boss room? Oh yeah, there is one. The red one, though. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Stop attacking it. No, it's just it, it's not it has to it has to fade like it's uh um oh, what is that here slime walker okay well it's not a harvest beast it's fine we can just go but sometimes it, if it if it's something like that where it just keeps attacking sometimes it, it won't die because it like needs to have that pause you know like when you do har actual harvests the um the bosses are like that where they need to go through fa like they have to phase Yeah, the Atlas nodes, right? Uh, no, you Atlas nodes don't impact memories. All oh, right, right. Forgot. Hello. Ready, Exile. It is time to hunt. But it's time to reach wide, Exile. To hunt well. I'm just gonna move shield charge to my right click. Way we'll zoom the fuck out of this place. The good thing is that the in-game model matches the 3D graphic, so you can tell which ones when you, at least with like the, the expensive ones, like vultures and matrons are very easily identifiable. The wild hellion alphas and the bramblebacks a little bit less so. Oh, but here's a bramble back or a uh, all bristle matron. I'll try to put a layout so we don't get museum. Okay. You get two maps per, uh, three maps per yeah. memory or? Yeah. Okay. Got one vulture that time. Uh, let's see. One grapple back. Three, I don't, it don't. Unless there's a vulture, it's all yours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, and a no.
The odds of getting a copy must be pretty low, actually. Not sure what the numbers are. Actually, super valuable data. We should do that each time, so that we can figure out what the average is for somebody who's a part of the five-way group, or like you know what I mean, that isn't the hosting. Because it's the same. If you open the memory, it's nine every time. It's two on the first map, then three, and then four. Um, but to find out what the average is for uh, everyone else in the group would be really, would actually be really good to know, especially for early next league, because like right now it's very obvious that this is the best thing to do because the memories are so expensive. But for the start of next league. They're probably going to be, you know, maybe at most a divine to begin with. And in that case, a lot of the time, it's just better to you can just run them solo. It's better for each person to run them solo. And each person to get nine beasts per memory than it is for, uh, you know, two of them to run it. Like, if, if each if each memory returns two divines, right? And uh, instead of having two people in one group where the one guy gets two divines and the other guy gets, like, 30 chaos, it's better for each one of them to spend one divine and both of them get two divines back. I'm so much faster than you guys. <laughs> yeah, you're really fast. Built in, this church doesn't have good clear speed. Suck my dick. <laughs> I'll wait. Like, I'll, I'll wait for you. Oh, oh, that's a vulture. Vulture. Hurry up. Whoa, fuck. But don't attack. Don't attack. Don't attack. Don't attack. Hurry the fuck up. Are you fucking retarded? Are you dead? Fuck! How are you that far behind us? <laughs> You're the complete opposite side of the map. There we go. Holy cow. <laughs> You're like, we're like... <laughs> That was like that was like <laughs> that was like a directional dyslexia. <laughs> uh, okay, this is just in the tolls. This one's easy. <laughs> I open the mini map. I was like, "Is everyone here?" And I'm just I see four of you right beside me, and then are you dead's running the wrong way, the opposite direction? <laughs> uh, okay, I'll wait for uh, blessing to move. There's one of them that's a vivid watcher right there. Okay, come right. Vulture! Vulture, Vulture! Dude, who is that? Casey, you guys gotta move a lot. We uh, take a second after this one here, guys, and put on more movement speed and mobility stuff. Because they're white maps, it's obviously we don't need people's damage or whatever. But if people are missing the kills because everything's getting one shot, that's, that's obviously not ideal. Uh, I can identify which ones are uh, the Harvest Beast. Oh, there we go. That's a Bristol Matron. Two vultures again on this one. I've got four vultures so far over two memories. Nice. That's a sack of wine row out. That's going to be the last one. Two beasts from that, and 
none of them were uh, harvest ones. Oh, what a nice. I think that we still have one more map on here. You can... oh, actually, I guess we've already got a bottle. I can take it now. Don't attack till everyone's in. That's a harvest piece. The vivid Abarak, I think. Vivid Watcher. It's two. There's four. Each map, it goes two on the first map, uh, three on the second map, and four on, on the third map. So uh, I can also, while we're running, because I've got the, the what do you, what do you call these, the rejects or whatever. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six so far. So there's still three more to go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, if we ever get, because it obviously the memory picks a random path. Uh, if we ever get one where it's a shitty layout, uh, we obviously don't need to go kill the boss or anything like that. We, I, I'll I'll like actively monitor how many of the harvest beasts we've captured so we can rush those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go one more. There it is, primal. It's a primal. These are worthless anyway. Every single one of the primals. Zero vivids. You have a vulture, you said, right? No, no, I've, I've got nothing. I only got, uh, what you call it? Uh, Bramble back. All the monsters you don't really oh. want. 
Well, it's not that I don't want them. It's that uh, you it, you need something to incentivize you to be here. I'm here for the challenge anyway, so... The rank right tier blasting mission won't be enough for, uh, for the challenge, right this screen. Alright, okay. I do want to finish DD grind today. Uh, I'll just wait for you. Look for info on the beast changes. Okay. Okay, so we got KC has uh, two. RU has three. Or five. Okay. Uh, and then the vulture that I gave you as well. Wait, do you do you want uh do you want all the other beasts to be linked? No, no, no. Well? No, I, I'm I'm asking so that we can keep data on how many drop when you're in a member, right? I just want like I, all I want are the vultures, but I want to know how many you're getting each memory so that we can see, like, because then you can do the math on whether it's wor worthwhile, right? Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, this is for data collection sake. You, you you guys keep everything that's not a vulture. Um. It's just a lot easier to tell each. That's the reason I was telling people to bottle them in between is because it's a lot easier to count every memory than it is to bottle, you know, 20 map things worth at the end. Five total. Are you as five? Sorry, who is that just saying plus the vulture? Game? Is that Isge? Or no, who is that? No, it's Melancholy. I have two, two beasts, beasts plus, plus the vulture, vulture that I gave okay. Are you Melon? It's three. Uh, five total. And then. AC's got two. I think he traded me one, so that's three. Uh, Isge, I can't remember. Weaver, how many do you have? I've got zero. Zero vultures. From all of them? Yeah. But Shock, actually. So I'm looking up, in, trying to look up uh, patch notes for what the odds are. I know it's not guaranteed catcher anymore. But... Yeah, no, it's just weird that everyone else would have at least three of them and you haven't got a single one. It's crazy. Um, yeah. I can show you my screen. Oh, no, 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 no. I, 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 I'm just saying the distribution is crazy. I, I, Weaver, I've known you for like fucking three years in the game. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, 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 I also have like 150 mirrors of gear. I'm not stressing over uh, potentially having, you know, yeah. like an 80 chaos loss. My, con my concern about the vultures um, and the reason I'm asking for those is not a financial one, although that's obviously part of it. Um, it's that there's not, there's none on the market, right? And I have a bunch of power chart rings I want to finish. Uh, and there's literally not, there's no beasts on the market to buy. So, uh, this is a, a way. Am I? Dude. Are oh, are they staying? Are they saying am I staying? I was like, what do you think? Uh, yeah, they're, they're staying. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, there's a Vivid Watcher. Drive by. <laughs> See, people think discharge is bad. I'm telling you, it's not. It's not. I made a good build here. <laughs> Wait, I, I think you, pro you proved the uh, last league. I think your threat got really popular, right? By showing that the, po the power of discharge. Uh, that was in Sentinel. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sentinel. That's when I invented the 100% chance to not consume. Uh, then last league, I didn't. I, last league, I played them um, because I never got a chance to play with Hayforge. Last league, I did. Um, I, I mirror crafted a blade vortex character like literally every piece was mirror crafted uh, I serviced those mirror items and then I got bored and so I then bought uh, a couple of hate forges and remember I got the league first hate forge or I was controlling the, the supply of the powers of ultimatum and then um, I uh, 
uh, once I got hate forge, I because I had all the towers for sale, nobody else had a hate forge, right? So I put my hate forge up for one mirror. I sold the hate forge for a mirror, right? Which wasn't unreasonable to someone who had only played with it in the past. And then from there, um, because I still had like 150 maps, I then flooded the market with maps, which caused the price of maps to go down by 50%. And then three more hate forges showed up on the market. And they went from the mirror that I sold them for. Oh, Vulture, Vulture, Vulture. Mirror that I've... Uh, mirror that I sold them for down to 100 divines. Uh, and so then I just rebought one at 100 divines, right? And then I bought all the maps again. And then the price of the uh, Hate Forge went back up to 250. So I sold one in a mirror, which I sold for like 350 divines. Bought the next pair at 105. And then raised the price back up again. Oh, here's a uh, um, Matron. Specific, just one instance. Yeah, don't be coy. Tell me what it is. Oh, I like you. Uh, go to when you, uh, you know, you can get that like, mystery when you press the uh, challenges tab. If there's a mystery, you can type capture beasts. You type in the filter 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's gonna not show you anything, but every time you capture a beast, it'll pop up now. The new one that you captured. Just by having what? Uh, not really, like, I'm sure it does make sense, just not in, in the, uh, okay, I, I, the, the, like, the, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that later. It's easy for me, because the only ones I care about are the beasts, so I just have the rejects type, the Prima Wild, and, yeah. One beast from the one, one yellow beast from that map. <laughs> there we go, Matron. Wild Bramble back. Oh, shit. Might actually be two Wild Bramble backs. Oh, another matron. Okay. That's must be really bad.
plus one matron. You want us to know? Uh, one one know just for the memory. I just, I, I just want to track how much people are getting each time. Uh, okay. I'm actually gonna just start the whole thing over now. Uh, I'll do it an independent. So each one I'll, I'll calculate. So RU's got one. Weaver, did you get any there? Melancholy. No, I've got no Matrons and no Vivids. I, I, I don't care about anything. I'm just asking how many you get. If you, unless it's a Vivid Vulture, I don't care or want to know what you got. Just want to know the number. Okay. Yeah. Zero. Zero. Okay. Currently zero. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not just, it's, it's a superfluous information. <laughs> zero. You got four of them? Holy shit. Damn. The deviation seems pretty insane how he's got four, was it? And I got zero. Yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. Is gay for, uh, and then the only person I'm missing for is KC, and then uh, I'm just gonna keep track of them. Like, can you guys see my screen, right? Run stream. Um, screen. Oh, YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna go like this, right? So this way, and then I'll just do like the next map. How many you got? And that way, I can add them up um, based on the amount of memories each time, and then divide by the five of you, and then we can get a rough estimate about how many. Um, beasts like the harvest beast will drop for someone who is in the group because then next league when we're trying to calculate whether or not you know it's good to do split farming as a method for generating currency we can use this data to inform okay well if we run with a guild party of six people and the average person gets you know two beasts per memory that means we get 12 additional beasts okay well there's nine different beasts what's the average cost of each beast because they're equally weighted right and then we go okay average cost of each beast is let's say 75 c so that means that um, you know, five people making 75 C times two, 150 C that means, um, 750 chaos by running it as a group additional. What's the cost of the memory relative to 750 C. And then we find out if it's worthwhile to run individually as a group and you can adjust that data as you go. That, that's the purpose of me asking. And then factoring in whether or not you're going to deplete the market of the memories. Yeah, I mean, early league, that won't be an issue, though. Yeah, especially early on, once the... It drops in tier 14 plus month, right? And always... Early on, it, early on is not the most, only the most relevant time uh, in terms of collecting the data, having more people play. But if you're not mirror crafting in the first week, you're getting fucked, pretty much. I, I crafted five mirror items in the first week of the game. Um... And it cost me less than I have spent rolling the implicits on my most recent power charge to make all five of them. Fully, not just the implicits, fully fleshed out crafts. Like the, the, the Ellie bow that I have, which is the best bow in the history of the game, EDPS bow, the entire thing cost 1,100 divines. I've spent uh, 12 mirrors, which is 6,000 divines, rolling the past two rings implicits. Damn. Uh, so just to give you some relative me measure for why this is something you want to be doing very early, um, and why it's very powerful to have a group uh, contributing to that. Um, I'll just pop out quickly for a smoke while Casey's here. If you guys want to take a couple minutes, I'll be right back.
All right, I've got a replacement ready. The Discord is actually so useful for situations like this. Mm. Having access to 3,500 people. Can you imagine not having, like, this? I, I know my streams, obviously, nothing to write home about right now. Um, but, uh, versus what it would be like if, if, if that didn't exist with the whole TFT shit. Like, not having t TFT and then. We're good. Up. Yo yo. Bring the beast in my The next time someone chirps me on one of my videos saying that discharge is not a good fucking Where's your clear, bro? Let him know. Let them know. Matron. These are just my plans, right? Uh, yep. I I don't know what that person just said. They're too quiet. It's white man. White, yeah, yeah. Has no impact on. Missing one. Yellow? Okay. Yeah, I can tell. I've got the rejects typed in, so I can just see how many we get, because it's two on the first, three on the second, four on the third.
If it's one we've captured, watcher. Two captures. New beast. Okay, that's all the harvest beast. Matron. Beasts. One, two, three, four. That's all the harvest beasts. Yeah, we're getting we're getting pretty good at this. That that took like less than five minutes. Bot right. got zero. Uh, we got uh, is gay two, are you three? Weaver? Zero, brother. Zero. Uh, just, can you can you I, I, have you not got a single beast this whole time? I, I feel like you're doing it wrong if that's the case. There's no way through five memories you haven't captured a single beast. No, no, no. I mean, I, I got a few beasts, but they're harvest beasts, but they're not uh, David uh, Walters. Oh my. Weaver, listen to what I'm saying. Fuck. Okay. No, no, no. We're trying to collect data on how many beasts are captured. I need to know how many harvest beasts you're getting each memory. That's what I'm asking. Not how many vivid vultures, how many beasts. Uh, I, I got it wrong. My bad. Yeah, no, it's okay. I, I, I still need to know. Because <laughs> you're going to fuck up the entire data set if, you, if you're not telling me. So do I... All the harvest beasts that I have, how many harvest beasts I have right now? Uh, God, yeah. Okay, fuck, I gotta start the jet. How many? Nine. Okay, well, it's useless now because we're gonna start the.
just yeah that's all good i just i need to know for the data i think i sail quickly I'll actually I'll put this into a, a spreadsheet while we're writing sheets. Last data. But yeah, make sure you clear out your beast each time because otherwise at a certain point you're gonna lose track. Right? Like don't don't have it so that you have every primal pivot and whatever. Fully clear it each time, throw them in a stash tab. That way they'll they'll just be either one, two, or three or whatever amount. It'll be much easier to manage them. Um you know, looking at 30 of them and being like, how many did I have last time? I know it's like a hundred percent certainty that the data will get fucked up if that's what we're doing. So if you, if you need to grab, or if you want me to, I'll, I'll grab them for you. If you, if you need the BCR, BCR yards, make sure you've got them on you. Okay, Weaver. Bot X. Uh, Melancholy. What's the, who's the last person in the group I'm missing? Uh, are you and is Gary. Yeah, just make sure, like, again, I don't want to, like, I, I feel like I've been very explicit now. Make sure everyone. Okay, cool. Great. I'll move the spreadsheet over to my TV so I can do it without tabbing out. All right, let's get into it. So do you officially have two monitors now? No, I, I, I've always had the TV. Um, I just bought an HDMI cable. Uh, my TV doesn't have, like, it can't, I don't know why I can't downscale the resolution of a computer properly so i usually just put like uh twitch chat or uh stream labs or whatever um onto that and then uh, uh that, that's how i look at chat um but it can put like something like a spreadsheet but i can't put like the game or like trade on it or something because it the aspect ratio gets all fucked up the tech over there is getting higher and higher yeah, I know, right? Primals, garbage. Not done. Hello, Dave. 
I think that that that, that circle jerk of fucking powers looks pretty cool, eh? <laughs> I've never I've never been like a big hideout decoration guy. When I did that, I was like, yeah, your boy flexing on him. Let him know. And, and they have to see it because they can't walk out. Yeah. I'm like I'm like the POE equivalent of like the guy at the campfire who pulls out his guitar and forces you to listen to Wonderwall. <laughs> you will appreciate my palate. <laughs> Oops, shit. Matron. One, two, and three. We're done. And this one, but when it's an easy layout like this, if it's a bad layout, once we get the harvest piece, we can just leave. If it's an easy layout like this, we might as well get them in case the remaining piece is like a chimera, pretty chimera. Let's <laughs> Sorry, that was a wild bramble back to the matron. Vulture. One, two, three, four. Nice. We got a vulture and a bristle maker in there. Hopefully, one of you guys got some of that too. Ooh. Take a look at this. I don't know if you, if any of you guys are the same way, but I have like, regardless of how tight of a filter I put on. It is impossible for me to not look at fractured items. Right. I'm like, but ooh, what if the, the potential? Kill the boss quickly. Was that? That was three. Yep. Okay. Got you now. One, two. You got a vulture? Yep. Finally, there we go. All right, so let's see here. Reporting, we got three for RU, three for bot. Okay, RU, three, bot, three. 
We got uh, Melancholy with zero. We got uh, Is Isgay with four. And Weaver, uh, Sanctum. Okay, that's you. Okay, four. And then let me just put a sum code in here. Total equals sum. Fifteen beasts with five of you. That's three three beast average right there. That one. And he's up. Sorry, what'd you say? Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, like, off to the races. Two new beasts up. What's that? Uh, good beast. No, we got um, it was a brambleback and a primal clutch crush claw. Wait, wait for his game. Wait for his game. Wait for his game. This is another. That's one of them right here. Auto into its hole, it's such a nice layout for this. Good evening. Hello, hello, who's that? Your voice is a lot of gravitas. Sound like a white uh, fucking, um, that guy from uh, the, the black actor that's in everything, uh, Morgan Freeman. Put me to sleep, Daddy. Uh, I'll be a Korean Morgan Freeman now. Uh, Morgan, Morgan Lehman. <laughs> the Black Korean uh, Gravitas. Yeah, yeah. Kim Jong Il is around. T1 leg fracture. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to. This is one of my weird idiosyncratic things when I play. I need to identify for action things when I see them. <laughs> so, uh, is everyone else in here uh, alive? Or... What do you mean alive? Just, uh, just... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I think it's like, everyone that's in group, I think, is in chat. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, excellent. I just saw everyone online, so I figured I would just like hop in and see what's up. Oh, yeah. I've also been in a lot of Discord servers where people just go AFK and sit in the chat and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I'm maybe not best known for my interpersonal skills, so I think I scare most people away. Hey, what's up, Belton? You're fucking poor! <laughs> I know the feeling. Yeah. 
No, but you you uh, on voice on voice I'm a lot better than I am in game because voice is not like an opportunity cost for me. In game, my frustration gets because people will ask me, you know, these somewhat convoluted questions that a lot of the time there's a language barrier, so I have to like clarify for ten minutes what they're actually asking, and it takes me like twenty minutes to explain it to them, and then like at least fifty percent of people will then start arguing with me about something they asked for my advice on, and I, I, I get I just get fucking, I get a little you know sideways yeah, anger like, like you gotta keep track of what, what basic line of uh, what narratives are being played out and then you just kind of keep track because that's polite it's yeah. respectable it's the proper thing to do but people aren't keeping track and then it just kind of goes all over the place yeah no but yeah but if you ever if you have yeah if you yeah i remember that one I'm glad you took her from me <laughs> um no jokes aside though yeah no, on, on voice chat like i, I think it's probably um in the future, especially with the new league coming on, I obviously am not going to be able to take the time to, like, sit and individually address things for people on, I mean, my stream is pretty, like, very, very small these days anyway, so it probably won't be there, but uh, I imagine I'll probably, ooh, my key, thanks. Let's go. We get something good, everyone can share in it. Get, like a mage blood or a headhunter, I'll sell it and everyone can equally have the money. If, if we get a mirror or something, like, super, super valuable, since all of you were all doing the same commitment of time here, uh, we'll we'll split the price on that, okay? Or the cost or whatever the value of that. The cost is that going to standard league. Uh, well, we're doing data collection here, but mostly farming this so that I can get vivid vultures to finish some of my mirror crafts, because uh, the market on those does not exist anymore because people are obviously saving them up for standard, um, or because you know they announced certain mods are going legacy, like uh, plus one arrow and quivers and bows, for example. Right, so there's just it's it's literally impossible to buy them on the market right now, um, and so I uh, I was doing some double corrupting yesterday. Let me count. Do we have four? No, that's only three. We're missing one. Missing the harvest beast. Oh, you guys all left. I have the portal. Oh, okay. so uh, basically, like basic need due to the change in the crafting. So there's a legacy mod now, and then now it's just an opportunity to also collect data while you're at it. Uh, well, yeah, sorry, yeah, I didn't finish my thought there. Because uh, these retards left the map too early. Um, but, uh, no, uh, the, um, a, a lot of what I focus on in the league has obviously been synth, synth mirror crafting. Um, sorry, one sec, buddy. Bottle plus report. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, with the patch notes, they did announce that, uh, the plus one arrow is getting removed off of bows and quivers. Bows are actually like by far the most mirrorable um, item in like in a new league. A bow will account. Bows will probably account for seventy five percent of all mirrors that are done total, uh, and they're typically uh, you know the most valuable items to have on standard if you can have like a best in slot one. So because of the um, you know the value of that individual mod. For myself specifically, I'm not actually looking for it because I, I already have two of the best. I actually have the best elemental plus three bow in the game, uh, as well as um, um, as well as uh, uh, what will probably be one of the best quivers now because it has frenzy scaling with the new quiver that, or bow they announced. But um, that's not my personal motivation. Mine is to to charge uh, to craft these uh, these charge rings that I've got. I don't know if you're on stream or, or whatever, but I've got a couple power charge rings that I've spent twelve mirrors crafting so far. That I'd like to finish um, the synthesis on, um, as well as just have some beasts to go over with standard, because there's going to be a couple day period. Um, there's going to be a couple day period in between the leagues where uh, before the patch notes get implemented, and uh, let's see what we get here, boys. Alliteration. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I just hopped into the call. I didn't even know that there was a party. Bot six. I'm going to a random number generator, and whoever gets... Whoever, because this is not expensive enough. Okay. Wheel of names. Check on stream, right? I'm on stream now, so, so I get to watch you guys. <laughs> Uh, I, wanted I wanted to join the, the guild, guild, but uh, I haven't exactly got around to getting into the guild. And there's no, there's no I process. Really have not... You just message me. I said there's no process to it. Just message me. Everyone's welcome. The uh, 
the guild has different ranks. So like people that are officers are ones that are doing like the high end crafting with me. Um, but the like people that are just initiates, they're just people that are for the most part want to come learn or have an environment to to play with people from stream and shit. So uh, there's no, I don't bar anyone from joining the guild. I'm not saying that you're new or anything like that, but if you ever do want to join, just send me a message in game and everyone's welcome. If I ever run out of spots, I'll just buy more of them. What? Okay, so I'll, I'll log on right now so I can get the invite. Um, I don't really play on standard at all, though. None of us so... play on standard. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. How dare you insult me like that? Oh, look at that. Belton wins the RNG wheel. Fuck you, bitches. Item's mine. I can't believe I didn't put myself as number one. Look at that. Maybe I'm not narcissistic anymore. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 uh, I'm just talking, the, the, only, the only time we ever frame any reference for standard, um, is because there's like, this league ends on the fourth, which is in three days. And then there's going to be a couple days before the start of the new league. Um, also because I have like the, the items that I own that I've crafted and I would never RMT, but for some relative understanding, because obviously it's much easier to have a, a real world framework for this. Uh, I would have somewhere in the, like the five to ten thousand dollars uh range worth of items uh if somebody were to buy them from me for the mere equivalent of cash now i like just having them for collector's items but at the same time when you have something that that actually bears that much potential real world value to it it's like i want to have it in like a nice pristine state so i can kind of have it as a trophy right because i don't ever want to have to go back to standard plus if people want to mirror service stuff from me i can use those mirrors to buy things that are like collectible like demigods or alt arts on standard you know, the once a year I'm over there. So um, it's just a matter of being efficient with capital use there in that respect. Okay, sorry, I didn't get the data here. Oh. Uh, bottle report. So Sanctum, sorry, let me... I, mean, I share a lot of the same... I share a lot of the same philosophy, so... Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, as far as real money trading goes, I've been, I've been selling uh, in-game uh, currency uh, since World of Warcraft, Dragon Ball Online for a long time. Mm. But, but uh, uh, I mean, I'm not really into it anymore the... The stigma around it is gotten pretty large. The market's very different. It used to just be a bunch of people selling on eBay, you know? Yeah. Well, I also think, too, that there's, uh, I mean, it's largely being siphoned through things that are being presented as pretenses as, uh, of community tools, right? Things like uh, TFT. Um, and uh, I, I know the direct impact that that had, like, because of the intimate knowledge and experience I have with the game. I'm very familiar with the the trickle down effects that that has on the average person. Um, and I know a lot of people like to like lash out at people like me who craft and make a bunch of money and stuff and villainize that. Um, and they look at something as TFT as being a community tool, but they don't understand the underlying factors that are causing the, 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 the much larger contributing factor to why people struggle to, to get access to certain things are because of uh, manipulatory elements that, uh, you know, things like TFT implement. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, the, they are the, you know, the Walmart of RMTing for POE. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the, the fit the... with it. I mean, I started off as a hacker. Oh, okay. Yeah. As an RMTer when I was a teenager. But, but nowadays, I mostly work, work on sustainable, sustainable ecosystems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, You're atoning for your sins, you fucking casual? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it's I'd like, I, I, uh, Honestly, for me, it's always been like, I, I know, like, it's it's absolutely illogical, given the amount of money I've made over the past decade in, in game, that I would not have at some point RMT'd it. And it, it just is sort of a testament to, to my pride, I think, because like, for me, and this is maybe like the, an actual like clinical diagnosis of narcissism, but it, <laughs> like if it were, if people were to think that like, I didn't fairly earn my achievements, I would be so much more butthurt than the like 20 grand I would have lost over the past decade. It was like no fucking chance. I'm risking that, which is why I started streaming actually, because people didn't believe that I was not RMTing with the amount of money I was making. And I was like, fine, I'll fucking show you what I'm doing. Um, but no, like it, it's stupid. I mean, like if you can leave the league halfway through and leave with five grand, or play for an extra fucking four weeks and end up with nothing at the end, like what sane human being is going to pick option B? Uh, but at the same time, I, I very much differentiate between someone who individually RMTs either on the sale or buy side, right? Because that that's kind of um, an isolated and, uh, uh, you know, it's its own sort of environmental thing versus somebody who creates a, a platform um, under the pretense of aiding the community with trading and then uses that very same platform. I mean, it's, 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 it's a test. It's a, 
prime example of like that expression like if you are if the product you're using does not have a cost you are the product and uh uh, yeah. So I think that. Wait. I, so this is this is all in regards to uh, the TFT like Discord channel, right? Yes. So to TFT, uh, I'm the only. I've crafted more mirror items in Path of Exile than any other individual human being over the past year and a half of the game. Uh, this league, I crafted four times as many as any other person, and I know that initially, what was kind of the scuffle I had with them was that I was I I have never ever allowed TFT to like consolidate my items because i know what they end up doing with them i know that the service that they present for mirror server uh, right and so that's that's why they've had an issue with me initially because um at first right when i was just playing by myself i could maybe craft one mirror item and it wasn't that big of a deal but since i started a guild and, and my youtube channel got kind of popular and my stream numbers were up people were helping so it was like a force multiplier right so it was sort of like a competitive gang to their gang even though it was a smaller one the problem was that as i mentioned 75 percent of all um, mirrors in, in a league are going towards a bow. And I actually crafted the best elemental bow in the game that surpassed their standard bow. And the vast majority of their currency that they then sell comes from standard, right? Because it's much, it's much easier to get away with on standard, right? Like if you, if you trade somebody in a window on day four of a league with like eight mirrors in it, uh, it's going to flag some stuff on GGG's end, right? But on standard, like there's so much superfluous wealth and, you know, legacy items and, and sort of, um, uh subjective valuations that it's much easier to get away with that plus people are far more prone to min maxing there um and so the rmt market on standard is much larger right but the only time anyone will ever pay that those exorbitant mirror fees for stuff um is if it's the best and like especially in standard right it's like why would i mirror something that isn't the best of it right so if anyone ever makes something that's in direct uh in conflict with that um it very much threatens their existential you know um, livelihood, right? And uh, I, I was very vocal about the reasons why I wasn't doing that, which they kind of left me alone with at first. And then they individually banned me. I kind of got over that. And then five months later, after I crafted five mirror items in a week to start off the league, including the best bow, I then started talking to the guys who crafted the best fizz bow. And we made an agreement uh, amongst each other to not sell it to TFT. And once they saw that, they started banning everyone that was in my guild and everyone who traded with me as a defensive tactic which is why I made that first video being like, hey, this is why what TFT is doing. And then the guy who crafted the best Fizbo, uh, literally, <laughs> he was like, you know what? These guys are being fucking assholes. He's like, I don't care what this does to my account. Uh, I don't like think it's fair how like you or your guildmates are being treated. Um, so the, the guy who crafted the best Fizbo ever in the history of the game comes forward and says, I RMT'd this to TFT this league because they didn't have a way of fairly getting it themselves. And they were threatened by the fact that he and I were going to collaborate together. Um, and then that, that was the start of this whole thing. Um, Damn, just not a lot of action this week, huh? Uh, that's too bad. Why did the guy take a break? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, uh, uh, that, that actually mirrors my own story in real life recently. <laughs> Fuck, I, we, I was dealing with uh, a couple of major crypto firms. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd say less. Um, okay, wait, sorry, I, I gotta be a little bit more focused yeah. on what I'm doing in game here. Uh, I missed it, we missed a beast there, we missed a... Um, yeah, yeah sorry, I won't, no more, I'm not gonna tell any more, uh, super in-depth story, because I, I missed a, a beast, a harvest beast there. Still, thanks for sharing. Yeah, no, yeah, no problem. I haven't really caught up with a lot of the stuff because I just came back to PLE about like a week ago. Oh, okay. The last league I played was Delirium. Roger, uh, on my YouTube channel, there is a there's a, there's a video on my YouTube channel. It's like 45 minutes long, talking about what TFT is doing to um to RMT in the game, explaining it. And then the second video is the people who actually did it coming forward and like disclosing it. Um, and then. And then knowing that TFT was going to react in a certain way, TFT then puts out a news alert saying that Belton is a homophobic, racist, sexist. And they sent this out to 300,000 people. And then a former TFT mod who got made a Reddit moderator then starts a Reddit thread that they stickied saying referendum on the behavior of community where they were literally saying they permaban me from the Path of Exile Reddit. And they did it under the pretense of me brigading because somebody else, not me, somebody else posted my video on a Reddit 
and then I linked their post in my Discord. I didn't tell anyone to go see, view it. I just linked it, and then they said they were removing me for brigading. And then it came out the person that did that was actually a TFT mod, and so the, when we went on, it went on. The, it was like the biggest thing in the community for like a month. Um, like there was like there were like dozens, like thousands and thousands of emails uh, sent. Okay, I get it. Sent to GGG about this, and uh, um, you know TFT started uh, banning any person that like would trade with me in game. They actively had somebody watching me at all times. They they had someone infiltrate my guild, who was sending screenshots of what we were doing in guild. Um, and then any person who supported me on like Patreon or was a subscriber, they would ban and they would say it was because I was a violent, homophobic, sexist, racist or whatever. And then they had the mods on Reddit also, you know, regurgitating this information. Um, but the, what the community did, which was actually pretty cool, they were like, this seems pretty suspect, like post evidence. So they started posting photos to try to support this. And there was like this giant backlash because it was like, it was a joke I was making, not about someone from TFT or the game in the public channel of my own Discord. And they were using that as a justification for removing me from the path of exile already. People were like, this is an absolute absurd stance to be taking here. Um, and like, it's very clear there's a conflict of interest. Um, and then TFT, one of the things I was talking about in the video was like how if, because they're RMTing, um, they're never actually gonna have the supply of supposed mirrors that they're supposed to have, right? And I was like, they also do like sort of shifty things like um, when you give them your item for mirror service, right? What they're gonna do, um, is they'll service your item once and then you know after the first five mirrors or so uh they're gonna have enough in fees to either start bar buying bases off the original mirror items off of people right and so they consolidate the mirror items that way through ownership even though they don't actually craft them themselves or the more insidious sort of thing that they do how they fuck over actual crafters is like uh, if you mirror something five times eventually someone is going to put that up on the trade market right the, and, and like the mirrored version of it because they're going to switch builds or whatever and so what TFT does is they aggressively purchase any of like secondary market copies of any of the mirror items that they hold. Um, and uh, and then the next time somebody comes to mirror the item, once they trade them their mirror, TFT, instead of actually mirroring the item and creating a new copy, they just trade them the, the repurchased previous mirrored version. And so technically they don't have to pay the crafter that much because they only get mirror fees. Right? But since it wasn't a new mirror, they're actually just flipping that person a previous purchase, despite the fact they're taking a mirror from them under the pretense they're creating a new mirror copy. Um, they cut out the people who actually craft them, plus they uh, control the, the circulation of the items by doing that. Right, Because rather than having 50 copies of something, there's only actually ever five of them. They're just getting shuffled around. And yet every time um, they are, you know, um, it, it's kind of like how the fucking, uh, you know, taking on a debt happened... Um, or, or mortgage uh, brokering happened back in 2008, right? Like they're just shuffling, uh, you know, the securitization of these things and the tranches and the fucking, uh, you know, CDOs and all that stuff in the secondary markets. You have like what was principally a $500,000 mortgage is now representing, you know, $2 billion of investment or some shit, right? And uh, TFT basically does that through the yeah. game. But not only do they do that, they essentially have a vertically integrated supply chain because the only way to craft these items and to bulk buy them is through TFT, right? And so there's obviously a clear conflict of interest whereby the people who are responsible um, for handling the, all of the mirror items are also the people that are market makers um, and they can control and restrict and decide who can trade there and who can't without any kind of uh, universal application of um, uh, uh, you know their, uh, their moderation abilities. So if they don't like you, Boom! You can't use TFT anymore. Guess who no longer has access to um, the uh, the end game crafting market, and uh, the only way to buy bulk buy beasts, for example, like this league synth beasts were a huge thing, right? Um, the only way to do that is through TFT. If you're a competitor, they mute you, or if you're selling, they remove your sale message and they buy them from you themselves. Like there's so many ways in which they fuck over everyone, and it's all it's all because of RMTing, obviously, but. Um, my concern on it is that I actually just play this game because I want to play this game, right? And like, you know, that's why I don't really care too much if people are RMTing on an individual level, but the fact that they are, you know, doing this on like a factory level of cheating. Yeah. <laughs> The number, the number of, of uh, the number of exploits by trading market is and, like degree separation, separation and just the, the, the sheer amount of audacity. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's, 
but, but it's cool, cool because, because like in, in a sense, sense right it, it is cool in the sense that like uh in path, path of exile, exile you have this you have this simulated economy where you have the artists the people, the people who actually make the shit the real producers which is like this guild or like a group of craftsmen and then the group of people who who's just trying to like swallow it all up as much as possible hold on a second i've got to say goodnight to my kid yeah No problem. Okay, sorry. Um, just wanted to say goodnight to my kids for their bedtime. But yeah, man, like, uh, thanks for sharing the story. It's yeah. really interesting. The thing is, most people do run a lot of servers um, for a lot of different games, so there was a lot of different monetization, a lot of marketing in those games. Um, yeah. and, and I did a lot, lot to kind of like maintain and control it and to try and make sure that the economy was stable and, and to try and protect the players. And yeah, it was on a smaller scale because there was a lot of private servers, but you know, it was, it, it's always cool to see, um, in a sense, like how what happens in the real world kind of like represents itself on a smaller scale level. Mm -hmm. in video games. Yeah, and like the one thing, the one thing they didn't account for though is that there was someone who wouldn't have a motivation structure that fell within their own, right? So, like, on their end you know it's all about money or it's about the access to the game right so the first thing they did was go after the people that financially supported me then i then they, they attacked my stream um and started like when i went afk one time they sent in a bunch of people to crash the stream it defaulted screen cap to discord and they started spamming pornographic photos and then mass reported me for explicit images my twitch was banned for two months from this uh last week they they sent a bot spam to report me for malicious software Something that like I just patently wasn't doing because I was actually sitting at my computer rolling Harvest Beast while this was happening. Um, but because they mass reported it so much, it got auto flagged. And Twitch is so backed up on smaller streamers, like it's obviously not a huge priority. It takes them two months to reply to these uh, auto bans, and I was it was a permanent ban, right? And so they go after that, Jeez. right? And then um, you know I, I didn't back down on this. I was like, you know what, fuck these guys. I don't give a shit. And so then they started trying to uh, stop people from being able to trade with me in game, reduce my capacity to actually operate within the game itself. Um, but then, you know, I, I started a YouTube channel about this and, you know, I got half a million views in a week and my discord pops up to 3,500 people. So now if I need access to beasts or people to trade with, I can just talk to people in my own discord. Right. And, uh, you know, the the fucking if they try to talk about the crafting side of this as i said i'm i'm the most prolific individual crafter in in the game and that's that's absurd like that's not a, a, a me boosting myself this is just a a factual number basis right so it's not like they can bring in other people that are more experienced or whatever saying i'm full of shit because it, and since i've been streaming the whole time everything that i talk about is on video they can't say i'm rmt because i literally stream 24 7. so um that, that there, it was just like you could tell that they didn't understand like there was no way for them to whatever and so when they start sending out news alerts being like this homophobic sexist racist is spreading lies it, like it's pretty transparent to people like um plus they started then aggressively banning people from using tft like anyone who spoke to me and all i said in reply i was like look they've called me a lot of names one thing they haven't called me is a liar not only that what they're doing right now is uh, emblematic of like totalitarian governments that are like a suspecting a military coup I point to me at one time in history where people start aggressively, uh, uh, aggressively silencing their their uh, dissenting or, or dissenting opinions or critics, uh, where they have been the party that is innocent. Uh, and I was like, I'll just leave it at that. And then I think you know people obviously came to that conclusion themselves, and um, you know there was nothing obviously done by the game about it or whatever. But at least people have some informed consent now as to what's going on behind them. An interesting topic, though, for sure. It's pretty fucking petty. But they're highly, so if they, take, if they can't take that away, they can't take it away from you because, I mean, as I understand from your video, you said that you went to the military. As far as you're concerned, this is just like a bunch of annoying little mosquitoes. Well, I was a combat soldier in the military. I also used to work at a... Yeah, I worked at a hedge fund. I was a combat military the soldier. I was a marketing director of a company. I ran an event. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, this is just another branch of the military. Yeah, and that's another thing too. It's it's just a world of men. Like, 
Like, this, this is, is a, a, like an annoying mosquito, but, but at the same, same time, time, you know, like, like if they want to take away the thing, thing that actually they motivates you. Oh, good, Vulture, Vulture, sorry, Vulture, 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 come back. Okay, sorry, keep going. Yeah, if they want to take, if they want to stop you, none of this is going to work. It's just going to invigorate you more, like, to say fuck you. No, and if they really want to stop you, they'd have to actually take away your motivations, which they have to take away the joy of the game. Yeah. And uh, you know what's really funny too? And this is just this just proves how short-sighted and lack of lack of tact and sophistication they actually have on like an individual basis. Um, they actually they always have someone watching my stream uh, or that's in my Discord just to report back to them. As I mentioned, for a crafting level, right? Um, and when I when I re recognized that they started banning people from my guild, right? Um, I was like, look, I would get it if people from my guild were people that were like me that are high end crafters that are competitors. But I just started a YouTube channel and about 150 people in the guild are just like guys that want to learn the game, right? And I was like, imagine starting this game and like being all eager and excited because you found like some of these YouTube videos and now you have a community to play with and all this stuff. And then uh, you're getting banned from like the de facto town square or, or trading post of the game um, simply because you're associating with someone that, that was trying to help you, right? Like imagine how disillusioned and upset you'd be with the game. I was like, so I was like, look, if they're going to start doing this, I didn't care when they went after me, but I was like, let's talk about what they're going to do then. I was like, I'm going to record a video and explain exactly how TFT is cheating. And this is where they made the mistake. Before I even started recording the video, TFT sends out a news alert to 350,000 people saying Belton is about to release a video with patent lies, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know how many people I have watching my stream at the time? 60. I was like, if I made that video, 60 people would have watched it. You just sent out a 350,000 per person news alert. <laughs> like, thank you for fucking <laughs> promoting my video for me. I was like, now I'm de definitely going to make it. And so because of them, <laughs> you know, doing what they thought was uh, protecting their own self-interest, they ended up blowing it up through the whole community because I didn't have the viewership or the concern for that. It was the fact that people obviously are going to want, like, you know, people naturally are kind of attracted to drama and these kinds of situations. So when they see a post sent out by TFT, obviously... If, if, if it were just somebody talking shit, they're not going to send out a news alert like that, right? Like, it, it's like the same thing when you see, like, a press secretary of, of, of a president come ahead of a scandal or, you know, when a celebrity apologizes for some abjectly, um, you know, disgusting behavior and they try to put the spin ahead of it. It's always transparent that that person has some degree of culpability in what they're doing. Otherwise, you know, it's the difference between that or, like, walking by a homeless person on the street who's like, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. Do you stop and sit there and argue with that homeless person? about your merits of character? No, because like you understand that it's just not worth the time. Um, the only reason you would ever do that is because either it struck a chord with you or you're worried about some kind of truth coming out. And uh, their lack of understanding in this respect uh, just blew, blew me away. And then I came to find out he was a Russian national living in Israel. I was like, oh, that's probably the easiest position in the world to commit uh, financial fraud in. <laughs> like, sweet. Um, but yeah, the whole, the whole situation was just, it was, uh, I mean, there was, you know, both parties didn't act perfectly, but at no point did I ever bring it to a matter of personal attack or ad hominems or whatever. And, um, it was just, it was shocking to me how such an organized group, because it is impressive. Like I, I can't just throw shade on the whole thing, uh, in terms of what they're doing, they do it very well. Right. Um, but I could not believe that a group that was so sophisticated and organized in some respect, uh, didn't have like that they reacted so without consideration for optics in such a emotional way and on such a broad scale too. Like imagine sending out a message to that to like, yeah. 350,000 people. UE at its peak has 100,000 people logged in. That's three times the overall, at the highest level of player base, uh, UE has like ever individually had at one time alerted to something that they otherwise probably would have never even looked into or heard about or cared about. Yeah, yeah, actually, actually uh, yeah. I just I came, came, I just came back, back to the game. game. I, I saw, saw your video, video the yeah. PowerPoint presentation, and the, the first, first thing, thing I, thought I thought was like, oh my god, somebody actually gives this shit, you know, to, to put this together in a presentation. presentation. Like, it, it makes, makes me actually want to play, play the game again, because I was playing pretty much by myself doing, you know, the most is. I used to be part of the Elitist Jerks forum back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, OG, original gamer, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was I was the number nine parsing warlock in WoW. You know? Yeah, yeah. I was sweaty, try hard, you know, like, like, well, I mean, more so, like, you know, contemplate intensive. 
um, and like, you know, I would, I would think deeply on these things, and I just didn't think anybody gave a shit, it was hard to find people who really care, and so when I saw your video, I was like, holy shit, like, maybe, maybe I should come back from this game, so then I went on your Discord channel, and then I saw my boy, the only guy who I like playing the game with, Pancakes Clint, when he was a teenager, that was like seven years ago. Oh, yeah? He's, uh, he's one of your Patreons, and he's in your guild. Um, and I was like, yo, my boy's in here, what the fuck? So I was like, yo, what's up, man? I come back to the thing. He's like, oh, I want the skill. I was like, yo, I just watched this video. Like, like now actually he's motivated to play. So that's why I decided to come back. That's... I saw the updates on the Crucible League. I got all hyped on it. So, yeah. so yeah, no, that... that's why I'm here. Like, that's really, that's really sick, dude. And that's, that's sick, dude. That, that, first of all, it's very flattering, and it's also like a... That's such a good, cool thing to hear as someone like, obviously I do care about the game. I think my passion kind of comes out uh, fairly transparently when I talk about it. But um, like when people are like, yo, man, like just like having that new perspective is pump, pipe, like pump me up. It's like, that's such a cool, very affirming thing. Yeah, yeah, man, I just, it was just like, you know, it was fun. I love the game. I love that what you can do in this game. I love all the things that you can come up with, all the things that, like, it just leaves a lot of refreshing creativity to be expressed in a way that I don't feel like I get anywhere else in the world or anywhere else in my life currently. Dude, you're, you're, on my plate and it's still not like, it's dude, not feeding me. Like, you're completely echoing, you're, you're completely echoing literally things I've been saying for such a long time. Um, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. I feel you. I feel yeah. that. Like, like, I know this feels super, super well, this, this is just, this is just where I'm at, at. But, but the thing is, I, I always struggle the most because while I can do that in this game or anywhere else in my life, I struggle with finding good people to do it with. So yeah. that's why I really treasure when I find like a good business partner or like whenever I find people like a game with, because I mean, to me, it's all the same thing, it's all just a game. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, I, just, I just want good people to do things with that actually give a shit enough because otherwise people just kind of want to preload or like, you know, get like freebies and like, you know, just ride, ride my tailwind. My dude, 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 I, I gotta interrupt you for a sec. I gotta interrupt you for a sec. I have a website called thehideouthandbook.com, right? And it, it talks about, I'm going to link this here right here. Look at the second paragraph called general advice on the importance of establishing networks and saying you can only lose your integrity once. There is no matter, or what does it say? Um, uh, bu -bu -bu. Uh, it does not matter if it's a guild, a discord, a public channel, forum, friends list. There's no economy without player interaction. And much like life expectancy of a human being in isolation is dramatically lower than that of one living in community, our ability to generate currency suffers without any type of support system. There are benefits psychologically of having a like-minded peer group who can help support your ideas and foster a sense of belonging or purpose. This on a motivational level is worth it in of itself. However, the primary benefit within the context of this website and game is that you have access to capital in times of low liquidity or when the economies of scale play a huge factor. Being able to have someone you can run ideas by who can provide feedback or help you split farm is additionally useful. But there are a few greater annoyances when actively participating in the market than seeing an item uh, get posted for far less than its potential value and knowing the window to purchase it is very small, but you have just spent a bunch of, bunch of currency on something like a mage blood and have no raw currency on you, despite the fact you could easily sell some items to afford it. Having a trusted peer that can loan you money in situations like this is invaluable. Building trust with someone can take time, but it is worth it. Always pay these people back. Always reciprocate if you are able. The long-term value of a network and friends in this game is worth more than any single item is. Do not sacrifice your integrity with these people. Uh, I will elaborate on the benefits of economy to scale in its own section. But in short, uh, the sale price of items is often severely out of line with these figures on a cost accounting basis. Anyways, it just goes on like that. But it's like what you were just saying is like literally uh, like a foundational. Um, uh, like I, I, exactly what it is. Foundational. foundational. Like I, 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 I literally, I'll send you this. It's, it's, it's I, I made a website basically on like a, a psychological approach, I guess, that I take to the game, um, in terms of things that are beneficial that are not necessarily. Um... Wait, who, who, who's speaking right now? What's the, what's the name of the Discord? Toki. It's uh, Toki. 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 Yeah. T O K I. Oh yeah, we were talking. We we're DMing. Fuck, I didn't even recognize. Yeah. 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 Yeah, cheers, buddy. Enjoy your food, Weaver. You guys are like the, the, the you guys are like the the opposite end of spectrum of what uh, I expect Koreans to sound like. <laughs> oh, Weaver's also Korean. Yeah. Like you, you guys are like north and south. You've got like you know the calm, polite people. That are like, We're gonna nuke the world, kind of voices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you, see you boys. Um, hey, why don't we why don't we take fifteen here, guys? Since we just lost two people, uh, to take a little break, everyone can get. Uh...
uh, to, to get, get a food or a cigarette or a quick fap in or something like that. And we'll get back at it and I'll, I'll grab some new people. Uh, Toki, if, if you're uh, if you're in game or whatever, uh, feel free to send me a message anytime. I'll get you in there. Oh, uh, I'll actually uh, send. How do I ask for a guild invite? Like, or like, do I request the guild? Or do I no, no, you just uh, you just message me again. I I have. I like to think of myself as like a benevolent dictator in this Discord and in the guild. Uh, there is no moderation. This is what has got me in trouble. But it, I, I believe in that in like a uh, a fundamental level. I don't I don't think that the internet is a place to squelch the opinions of others, benevolent especially. Dictator is just a big king. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean. Like the guild, ever like everything in the guild and everything in the Discord begins and ends with me. Um, and I know that that maybe seems like a. This, it's not like a power grab thing. It's like, I'm really cool with it. I just don't know how to message you. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Just hit me up in game. I'm at, uh, in game uh, name. I'll put it up on stream there. I'm going to take the. Uh, sorry, let me just type in party. Yeah, it's cool, man. Like, fuck. What, what you're saying, dude, it's, uh, it, 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 it's like, it's shocking to hear someone else articulate in a clearer way exactly how you, uh, uh, it's a unique experience for me in this game, so. That's cool. Likewise, man. Um, oh, I, I, I'm sorry, like, literally, yeah. UI is confusing right now because I haven't been very familiar. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll DM you my name. I'll DM you messaging Okay, cool. I, I knew the long and short of what you were about to get at. Um, <laughs> this is, uh... I was literally just rereading through the passive trees and I was like, what the fuck am I looking at again? Oh, uh, dude, yeah. Well, because I, I, from 2017 to 2020 uh, was when I was serving. And then I got medically released after spinal, stomach, and knee surgery when I fell through a frozen river carrying a machine gun. But uh, I... Uh, I missed from Legacy League until Heist. And so the last time I played the game, there were only four acts. You know, there was none of these new crafting mechanics or whatever. I remember sitting down for the first time and I missed seven leagues. And uh, I was like, holy fuck. And like the, the degree to which I participate in trade leagues is like astronomical. Um, and I, I was actually so overwhelmed. I knew for my benefit, I had to go SSF for the first league. Because if I get into trade leagues, I bypass a lot of the inefficiencies or learning curves that would naturally come with time because you can just do that with money, right? Uh, and I was like, if I actually want to be a better player, I need to sit here in SSF for a bit just so I can actually interact with these things and find out how they work. So that was a little frustrating, but um, I, I definitely know the feeling of having to, uh, you know, not play it for a while, coming back and being like, holy fuck. Yeah, man. Like, like this, this is, is I, I think, think the fourth time, time I've done this in the Path of Exile, and I do a lot of other games as well. But, but um, I don't know, my, 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 my general, general like, like Operatus, more memorandum, kind, kind of to hop around a lot. Mm. That's, that's how I've always been. So, so I have a system. Do you have ADHD? I even have to like clear it with my wife. Yeah. What was that? Do you have ADHD? Uh, ADHD, have you been diagnosed with that? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I, I just moved around every single year of my life since I was, uh, since I was born. My parents were always very mobile. So mm. I just got very comfortable with adapting to new environments very quickly. So, uh, like, it, whereas most people feel less uh, comfortable moving with something they're familiar with, I just, I just kind of keep going. So yeah. kind of do my thing. So, yeah, I, I have a very. See, it's 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 interesting you say that though, because I have a very like I went to I got recruited to boarding school for high school to play football, and then I moved to South Africa to play rugby when I was eighteen, and then I moved down to the states and I started going on tour with like electronic music artists when I was running a company. Then I moved back to Toronto. Then I went to the military. So I lived all over, right? Uh, and PoE for me has been the constant. And like maybe, it, I'm, so I, I get like the underlying thing, but I guess it was just the reaction to it was different. For like me, the PO, like I can never jump around games because I feel like having in, in my personal life jumping around so often 
right? Like that's sort of what like the solace I have in PoE is. But that being said, if I didn't have the community around me, right? Like the people to play with and stream and blah, 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 I could never play PoE. So from what I'm, I take from what you were saying, you just didn't have good people to play with. And maybe that was the missing factor. But I find it interesting that, um, you know, the, the underlying things of what we're saying are so similar, but the reaction was so different. Anyways, get back to what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so like, like basically, basically for me, for me like, um, I, 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 it's less, less what, what I do, I do but, but but like more so like who I do it with, exactly, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so like when I have people working on a project, project that is outside, outside of a video game, game like it's, it's all a game to me. It's just it's enjoyable to be part of something that's with like-minded peers. So like as a result of having to hop around a lot of times in order to kind of keep up with my you know my sort of appetite for curiosity and appetite for enjoying the things that I want and constantly wanting that variety. Got a lot of I like a lot of spicy food. You know, so mm. I'm, I'm, I'm Korean, Korean, a lot of spicy food, food variety, spice, spice of life, that sort of thing. Right. Um, I have these systems for like onboarding myself and like everyone in my life knows these systems. So my so wife knows that she's not bothering me when I'm playing these games uh, mm. because like I have, I have this schedule that I've written down on my calendar that she can actually reference of like what days I'm supposed to be farming, what days I'm supposed to be looking for investment opportunities. And these are considered my office hours. So even my kids aren't even allowed to bother me during this time. So, so like I have, I have a whole like routine for how I'm going to onboard myself back into it, but it's not really going to start until like I figure out who I'm going to play with. So like now we're, I'm dealing with this right now. So, so yeah, it's really cool to meet all you guys. Happy shits. So, uh, how are you guys? Word. <laughs> Hey yo. I'm back. Welcome back, sir. Wait, where are you, where are you from? Uh, I am from Korean American Balinese. Balinese? Recently. Yeah, I just recently moved here, so uh, my children were born here, so I'm technically a Korean American Balinese 1.0 generation. And my children are Korean American Balinese 2.0 generation, technically. Wait, no, I'm, I'm a Kitas older. But uh, no. what's uh, Balinese nationality? What country is that? Oh, Indonesian. Indonesian, yeah. But oh. like Bali is a very kind of like, they have a very different, they have a different uh, religion. They're Hindu as opposed to the country being Muslim. 
um, and they have a lot of cultural differences just and also it's like as a tourist destination um, they have their own sort of like economic production uh, plans their own strategy so they kind of like to see themselves as separate so I've gotten used to kind of calling myself Balinese as opposed to uh, Indonesian interesting but I'm pure like uh, pure Korean blood if pure is even a thing so to speak uh, but my kids are half white so you know there's a lot of mixing we're a global family. <laughs> Amen, brother. Globalization 101. Globalization 101 breeding. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, you are very, very uh, enthusiastic about things you like and, and when you speak. That's kind of nice. Yeah, man. I eat a lot of spicy food. It really gives me a good oh, kick. I love spicy food, man. Yeah, you man, know, that's the enthusiasm we're talking about. <laughs> no, no, no. My English is kind of trash because it's not my first language, but uh, I try, you know? Oh, what's your first language then? Croatian. Oh, damn, man. Like, is that is that language much more like, where is that language spoken from? I mean, like, English is much more kind of in the chest. Korean is more like in the diaphragm. <sighs> Thai is like in the nose. Like, where is Croatian come mm. from? Usually? I, I don't know. I just know that when I, I, I'm speaking to my... <laughs> uh, that's rude. Uh, I don't know. I just know when I speak to my like Canadian friends and like people from US, they say we roll our um, letter R, you know, like it's R. So it sounds like a fucking machine gun going. Ah, uh, so like English speakers can be right, but you'll be like right, right, yeah. It's like it's right. like a Slavic Slavic language, so basically same as Russian, Slovak, Slovakian, uh, Serbian, Bosnian, shit like that, you know. But you guys still use the the Russian Cyrillic as well, right? No, that's Serbia. Croatia uses Latinx, or however you say in English. Wait, like can you say that again? I want to look this up. Latin fucking letters, the normal, the global one. I don't know how to say it in English. Latin. Okay, okay. Yeah, just the normal ones. Oh, but Serbia. Cool. Uh, Serbia uses Cyrillic and um, lat Latin writing. Writing. Oh, I learned some um, some of the Cyrillic because uh, I have a lot of Mongolian friends, and they Mongolians use Cyrillic. Use Cyrillics? Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, they use the, uh, the, the the Russian Cyrillic, or I don't. I guess if it's Serbian, then you know it makes uh, sense because yeah. proximity-wise. But also, Russian Cyr uh, Cyrillics and the Serbian aren't the exactly same. They have like 80% of the same letters, but uh, Russian has um, added some more. If that makes sense. Oh, I see. Yeah, I know. That, that does make sense. I mean, like, it's the same with uh, Korean, Japanese, and Chinese, where uh, Korean and Japanese have a couple of different, like, like expressions of the same language that have um, kind of moved off into their own writing systems. Uh-huh. But we still share like a lot of the same words. My Korean is uh, right now, if I do scale of one to ten, uh, comprehension is at seven to eight. My uh, my speaking is somewhere around like five to six. And if I was in Korea for about three months, it would probably bump up about one to two on a scale. Wait, wait, so depending on how long I'm there. So were you born and raised? Uh... Where are you at right now? I think you, you sound like you're... you're well, I was born in Los Angeles. I was born in Los Angeles. So I have like a, a really like, you know, LA, K-Town kid kind of a accent mixed with a bunch of other stuff. Um, but uh, Korean was my first language. And I just like, I mean, my white, uh, my white wife is, you know, only speaking English. <laughs> and uh, ever since my grandmother passed, I haven't really been speaking as much Korean because she's who I speak Korean to. So that's been about four years now. So that's why I haven't really been able to like practice very much. Like, you sound you sound more American than Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he just comes in and out and just like with most outrageous shit sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Always think of uh, belts with a random uh, random truck. Uh, America. Soldiering yeah. on. 
<laughs> God damn. damn. Oh, sorry, Weaver, you were saying? Uh, I lost track, man. I haven't had sleep for a couple of days. I'm trying to grind the challenge. I think I was asking about... Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, you sound more American than uh, Japanese. But then Korean, right? So, like, I've got so used to uh, hearing lots of Korean speak English, so I kind of can kind of, kind of guess where, like, people are... Like, where, where you're from, sort of, by, by accent, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Like, um, I'll tell you what it is, though. It's, it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what it is, is I used to have more of the Korean in me. Um, but there's two different factors. The first is, is like my grandmother passing and not being able to practice as much. And then the second is, um, uh, is, is just finance, man. Like, the more I speak the language of finance, the, the more and more I become fluent because really, that's like the language of finance is a, is a very universally coherent language for like the English language in general. And like it kind of helps you like work out the kinks and the accents and stuff. So it becomes a lot more like, you know, native, so to speak, uh, by speaking finance. And, and you know, I kind of see it as like a programming language. Um, so it, it gets it gets more comfortable and my accent starts to smooth out according to that. Plus, I have the additional benefit of like my my wife, who's who's like white American. So I got I got some of that in me. joking um uh, okay youtube I, I just took my poop i'm gonna go have a cigarette now um and uh, uh grab a coffee and then we'll get back to it uh we have two open slots in the group here guys what we're doing um is uh harvest memory rotations uh it's free to join the only thing i ask is that if you get a vivid vulture um just to give me those but you can keep all the other beasts uh we're also keeping track here uh for data collection's sake and for next league uh to find out the the most effective use of early league crafting which obviously has a a rapidly compounding snowballing effect with respect to uh, revenue streams, um, as well the you know material cost of these things uh, parabolically uh, grows after about a week. Um, so uh, again, we'll be able to draw uh, the mathematical like the averages and the, how this actually translates to in-game relevant knowledge for most of you. I I'll distill afterwards, but uh, we're also keeping track of how many beasts, harvest beasts specifically, um, that each group member is getting uh, from. Uh, uh each uh, memory here uh because I, I haven't found any um amalgamated source of information about this and uh i have the um you know stubbornness and uh, uh no lifer uh, mentality to uh do this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times um so uh for anyone that wants to join we do need two more spots so while i'm smoking and uh grabbing a coffee if anyone would like to join uh i'll leave my character name up here on the screen uh it's at discharge goat um because i'm also very very humble um and i'll see you guys soon all right cheers sorry to cut you guys off there on discord all good, brother. Very very hungry. shit you never go hungry if you're full of yourself baby bang bang So it's like, uh, go ahead. Uh, it's like uh, a Balkan country with a uh, with sea actually. <laughs> it's like it's I like, actually. Sorry. Sorry, no, go ahead. Balkan uh, country. It's like opposite of Italy, east, going east. Let's say it's like that. If you don't know what it is. So what what did you want to see, Toki? Oh, I was just saying that, like, um, so there's a lot of Slavics uh, in Bali, like, especially since the war. Um, there's quite a lot of them coming around here, and I hang out with them a lot, and uh, I'd be smoking with them a lot. And I, I learned that, actually, of all the different people I've been around, when you, you smoke some weed and you smoke a cigarette, you get, like, this nice little interesting, like, you know, spliffy cross, right? Uh, and, like, that, that's, like, it lights up the parts of the brain that are very Slavic. Like when you guys speak, those are the parts of the brain that I feel like it really lights up. About like two joints in and one cigarette. Because I realize that if I'm tr like, like they're all trying to teach me, you know, like the, the, the language. 
or their language is. And, and I'm, I'm like struggling. But then as soon as I have two joints and one piece of cigarette, then all of a sudden I feel like, like where the electrical signals are firing in my brain, it makes a lot more sense because it drives them more to the back and then like a little bit more to like the top, the back top of my dome. I don't know. Well, that's what I was observing. <laughs> but wait, Slavics from what country? Uh, actually, like um, my wife has, um, let's see. Well, my wife has some Ukrainian. I have a lot of Ukrainian friends. I have a lot of Russian friends. Um, and frankly, like uh, Lithuanian. Oh yeah, yeah, Lithuanian. Okay. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the extent of my experience. Ah, but here's the uh, here's the deal. Uh, Croatians and Lithuanians cannot speak to each other and understand each other in their native languages. So it's oh. very it's very uh, different. Like only uh, Croatia, Serbia, and Bosnia like share a language, and I guess Slovenia, but they fluctuated and. Um, Accepted new words. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's weird, but yeah. So Lithuanians, I do not understand. On Russian, there is certain words I can understand, and Ukrainian, there is there is some traditional Ukrainian language that not even them understand. To be honest, it's it's uh, really different. I didn't know the language is so broad like that. That's interesting. What oh, about yeah. the what about the ge genetics? Uh, what you mean gen genetics? We're all tall, like what? pale as they get, and um, have a big drinking capacity. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> if the, if that's what you mean by genetic, like everybody can drink, and yeah. Well, I feel like every single person that I meet, depending on like where their genetic structure comes from or their genetic culture comes from. Um, I have like a certain feeling of like where the electrical signals like to travel in their body more often. Does that make sense? Hmm. Like, you know, when you're trying to again? understand someone and like, so, you know, when you're trying to understand somebody that you like, don't normally like, like a certain culture that you're not as familiar with. And yeah. like, you just like, you're trying to listen very carefully. Like, do you ever like feel like there's like heat moving out throughout, throughout your body? Right. Okay. Like, do you ever watch that, like, just for fun? No? <laughs> okay, whatever. Like, well, sometimes I smoke enough to the point where I start watching where the heat goes in my body, and I've noticed that certain groups of people tend to trigger the heat in certain areas more often. Wait, can you feel this only when you're high, or what? <laughs> no, 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 no. When I was high, I was in a perspective that made me interested in observing the phenomenon, but you can observe it very easily when you're, like, sober, like right now. Wait, I got a, I got a little bit off point question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What college did you go to? Like, what's your, ma what's your major? Oh, I didn't go to college. You sound very psychological. Like you have a fucking major in psychology. Uh, my um, family's all in academia though. Like my mom has like doctorates and this and that. So like maybe it's just like the upbringing. Could be. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, like you can blame my mom. <laughs> Her. We'll just call it like that. Well, I'm interested. Yeah, so, what do you? Can you? Can you clarify a bit more on the on that 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 body heat sensation? Yeah. So like, about? like for example, right? Like um, when you when you're like sometimes like for example, um, let's do uh, something with a lot more range, like like more intensity, so it's easier to notice. Like when you're angry, right? There's like a mm -hmm. heat that shoots up. And so these are these are like not just like oxygen being pumped, but it's also like the electrical signals in your body, and like that's literal energy or heat. Like, and you feel it as warmth, and you start getting like sweaty and stuff, right? Just like a computer trying to cool itself down, you know? Like in the same way, our breathing gets heavier. That's the quote unquote fan, oh. right? And then like our blood starts pumping. That's like the liquid cooling device, right? That kind of a thing, right? So like if you if you see where the heat goes, then it it like kind of show because what you're doing is you're calibrating to the dominant like vibration or the dominant frequency or the dominant energy in a space so if there's a group of people from a specific culture they're all going to start resonating on the same vibe right like this like slavic vibe or this ukrainian vibe or like this korean vibe or whatever and so as you start interacting with them more as you start to try and understand them your body is basically just entering a state where it's trying to adapt and understand the the vibration or the vibe of the people and so then you're 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 starting to notice like where the energy starts going in your body 
And that is basically your body like taking in and resonating what their body is doing. So the way that your body is used to moving the energy around is going to start feeling, uh, there's going to be a divergent path where you're going to start moving it around more like them. And that's where you can kind of observe it and see where it goes. And, you know, like the phenomenon itself, like is different, different from like culture to culture, groups of people, like certain parts of the brain light up more than other parts of the brain. Uh, when you're talking uh, to certain groups of people or like, you know, certain cultures, certain belief systems, certain religions, stuff like that. So like, it's like vibing in energy, right? Exactly. Right. You know, like if, if exactly like if there's like three rocks that are dropped into a puddle and then like, you know, you like drop one last rock and that last rock is you, right? All the three rocks that were dropped before are already putting out these like waves and ripples. And like, you're just, you're just going to absorb some of those and it's going to change your wavelength according to all those other rocks that are dropped because they're the majority. Damn. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but yeah, man, like next time, next time you like take a, a couple of hits and, and like, you know, you're just kind of in like this like vegetative, like self conscious like observant state then you can kind of like as people talk you can see where the heat moves in your body and like i don't know it's not the easiest thing to decipher in the world but like you can at least have some basic pattern recognition versus from one person to another you know sounds like an experience man i'd like the, like the experience of it i think yeah is, man is that enhanced with psychedelics or, or what Oh yeah, absolutely. Like for example, if you take like some, um, some like LSD or like some mushrooms, like it, it'll just bring you to a altered state, which gives you more contrast between your normal state, which allows you to gain more insight due to the contrast into various phenomenon in your body. And so it's actually an optimal time to be able to observe these sort of, like it's optimal to observe these sort of phenomenon during those times as well. So like if you do a psychedelic and then you smoke a joint and then like, you know, maybe like a little bit of nicotine to focus your, your brain, you know, give it a little bit more of that like focused, like sharper energy, then like you can kind of like, like observe phenomenon in a, a less like I'm in this massive wave being taken by it and more so like, uh, oh, this is the specific thing I wanted to observe. Did she talks today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it also yeah, helps yeah. to like listen to classical music because that generally gives you a lot uh, of a wider range um, of like feelings, a lot of a wider range of emotional expression. So it kind of gives you a better track to be able to like manage, you know, your your state when you're in kind of a sort of like uh, I don't know, like a very like chaotic divergent protocol. I mean, isn't that the reason why uh, it's good to listen to classical music while studying or some shit? Yeah, and like for babies too. Like when when my wife was was pregnant with my kids, like we would just like listen to classical music, and it would kind of level her out because you know otherwise you know she'll say and do things that make a man think like, is there something wrong with me or is there so there's nothing wrong? You just need to like create a better track for her heart rate and for the baby's heart rate. You know, like the beat helps. Well, I guess more like the melody and like the sound waves. I don't know. It's not the beat. Yeah, yeah. Hip hop's cool for that. <laughs> hip hop. Yeah, hip hop's great. Like if you if you disagree with someone and you put some hip hop on, at least you guys can both nod to the same music, and it, it creates a bridge. <laughs> I think like like uh, it's it's a it's a broad spectrum, right? People people vibe with different music, but yeah, it's just generally music whole umbrella of music is just the power of that, that that's the whole like the power of music that, that whole umbrella yeah exactly like it's it's like packaging and indexing a consolidation of a culture into a sound that we can literally just spit in oh that was close that was close <laughs> <laughs> Stop like what four, 12 hours in the last uh, five days or something jesus christ and i th i thought i was being a fucking insomniac <laughs> my brain's pretty half fried right now like even when 
like when when I was with Belton, when we were doing the the beast data thing, uh, like he, he Belton repeated like two or three times, and I thought I got it, but <laughs> I didn't get it. Ah, oh. brain's half dead. I love how he almost lost it when he started screaming at us. At that point, and I just got it was my, and I just got here like it was my first run, and I was like uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, like I honestly, I think I uh, ran into his his video like two two weeks ago because, like, I I was in and out of the TFT guild. I was just bulk buying when like when League died, I couldn't buy anywhere else. You know, it, it was just it it would just make me angry. Like going through three fucking hours of uh, messaging me uh, messaging people for one single item and nobody replies. So I would just go there to bulk buy, and then when I saw a contro controversy, and it's like the only game I'm uh, still playing to this point, so why not? Controversy? The what? What game was it? Controversy? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm only playing this uh, this much. Ah. Let's just say it like that. I don't know. <laughs> You're saying controversy oh, yeah. when you notice the controversy. Oh, controversy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Controversy. Sorry. And then when I got in, there was like crafting guides and like money making guides, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm in." Noise. That's cool, man. That means that we're both starting on the same league together. In this uh, in this oh, crew. In this crew, yeah, but uh, <laughs> on league, no. I'm a terrible player, but uh, but I played uh, uh, for a long time. I'm you know uh, I always come back to Poe, and I always have to relearn it from from zero again because my brain has a tendency to delete what it's not using. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm complete noob, but within about two three weeks time, I'll acclimate. <laughs> You're a fast learner. Usually, people who forget yeah. things quickly usually also are fast learners. Yeah, I guess that's that's the luxury of it. Yeah. Easy come, so easy go. <laughs> it takes a lot, but once you uh, once you stick to it, it'll it'll stick with you, for sure. All right. Yeah, I I still have. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was saying that I I still have like a lot of the information, uh, in my mind. It's just like it's not anchored to anything. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's just floating around there. Exactly. Like once I once I click around and I like experience the the new UI elements or you know the the, the actual things, then all of a sudden it'll start like reattaching, and then I'll be like, oh, okay, right, this is all this and that, and that's connected to all this and that, and then like then I'll figure it out like that. So that's I'm just I just need some anchors, but for that I need to decide what my starter build is, and that's going to be a whole other thing. Honestly, I'm a I'm a try a bow ice build, like a bow a cold damage build. Oh, and an ice shot? Ah, uh, yeah, probably. But uh, bro, that's exactly what I was thinking because they have the new Val ice shot. Uh, not even because of that, because uh, I realized how good cold damage is. Um, like and oh, just with the heat being shiver? able. No, no, no! Just like being able to freeze a boss. Oh uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because let's be honest. Uh, I don't know, I don't think so. They changed the... Oh wait, it's Frost Chrono and then uh, Heat Shiver, right? Or was it the other way around? Okay. Wait, Heat Shiver... Let's see. Uh, it's been a while, man. I... I... Took a break since, uh, late... I finished Calandra League pretty quickly, and then, uh... Just... Been busy... Oh, I, I didn't uh, like Calandra, I don't know. I just didn't feel like playing it. Calandra was, a uh, yeah, it's pretty mad. Uh, people are saying like it's I really amazing, it's amazing, but I really didn't like it. I what really enjoyed Delirium. I oh, loved yeah. Delirium. All I did was simulacrums all day long, and I loved Delirium. Blight. I loved doing Blight because I didn't know about Blight until I went into Delirium, and I was like, holy shit, there's power defense and PoE. I want to play this shit all day. So I just did simulacrums and tower defense, which is basically just like a several different waves, and I just sit there killing everything. 
It's like, I don't have to go chase after it. It's coming to me. <laughs> yeah, true. Like, Delirium is the first league that I actually managed to sit down and uh, farm the Headhunter. Yeah. Oh, nice, man. That's actually the, the same thing that, that uh, Pancake Splint was doing. That was his first Headhunter, like, ever. And that was in yeah, Delirium Yeah, mine league. also, mine also. And, like, the next league, I double cor corrupted one and got Malevolence increased effect and both strength int uh, increased attributes. So I was that like, was really what? fast for my brain to input, but I, I what? <laughs> okay, so I double corrupted a headhunter the uh, next league after that, you know. Oh, you know, double. You know what's a double up. corruption? What is that? So there is a um, you know Alva in incursion. Yeah. Okay, so there is a um, locus of corruption now, which is a level three uh, zone that allows you to double corrupt an item. So it's it's. Valor times two on the same item, you know? Oh, nice. So you get but, two uh, different implicits? Uh, yes. And, oh! Uh, yeah. But also, there is a downside because you can... Uh, your item can literally just poof, like, disappear. Uh, it can yeah, go okay. rare. It can just color sockets white. It's, it's really... It's fun. So, wait. It's it's like it's just another corruption then. You're just like doubling the risk, but like potentially like doubling the reward. Yeah, 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 basically. I see, but you have to like go through the whole temple thing because I did I avoided um, that mechanic because I didn't know what it was all about and it was too much for me to, to process. Uh, yeah, basically, but temple is not not really hard. It takes like two minutes to go to where you need to go if you're clearing okay. everything. But people. Well, now I have motivation. To go watch yeah, a YouTube yeah. video so I can input it. <laughs> but before I was like, can... uh, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to travel. Can they just come to me like flight and simulacrums? <laughs> yeah. And uh, now you can actually, when you finish the temple, the whole fifteen incursions, you can make it um, an, a map and you can sell it. And uh, from what I saw, this league, those corrupted chambers were going for for like up to divine, I think, or something like that. Don't hold my word for it. That's another thing. It's divines, not exalts now. That's like oh, the, yeah. the primary like like currency. Yeah. They su switched that. I think Kalanza. I think. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Oh, I gotta I run. I uh, I'm pretty hot. All right, man. Now, so. All right, I'll man. Catch you guys next time. Good night. Catch you later, bro. Yeah. Enjoy your rest. Rest in pieces. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, but yeah, there is a. Yeah, so, there is a so I shot, man. Yeah, 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 no, I got it all. Like, I'm, thank you for telling me, man. But yeah, no, dude, no, no. Ice Shot, man. I want to fucking do Ice Shot. Like, I love Ice Shot. Originally, I wanted to do Discharge. And then I, I realized that, like, Belton is, like, his thing is Discharge. And I was like, well, I mean, like, I, I can just watch what he does. Then, like, you know, like, the whole point is I want to see what I can do. So, um, so, so I decided, like, what, what's another skill? And I was looking through all the new Val skills. And I was thinking about doing, like, uh, like something, something like, uh, what do you call it? Like, I saw that, uh, um, what what is that? There, there's that new gem that allows you to auto cast something, like the bow skill, like mana um, arrows or something like that. Oh yeah, I I saw that, but I didn't really. Pay yeah, like mana charge it. arrows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so it, it's just like it just like helps to automate a lot of like you know the actions that you would have normally have to do. So I was thinking trigger bots, and then I realized, oh wait, wait no, 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 what what if I just like switch over uh, to Val ice uh, ice arrow because. Or the eye shot because I, I love eye shot. It's like my ASMR. If I'm gonna farm, I want to hear the clinking. The clinking oh. makes it feel like far farming just is that much more tolerable when I can hear that. It's the it's the hell so of I, ice explosions for me. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying. I just love yeah, yeah, to yeah. see that big ass explosion everywhere. No, it's the sound for me. You see the sound, the clinking, you know, the yeah. the cold damage and the freezing and the clinking. Like that's my favorite thing. The shatter, oh, yeah. the shatter sound. But you, you do realize if you start that build, I only guys I saw uh, do Rain of Arrows into Ice Shot later on. Because I guess uh, Rain of Arrows is the easiest skill to level with uh, bow wise. From what I saw, oh, I don't okay. know, man. Like, well, I mean, like, that's that's probably feasible. That's reasonable because it's, I'm not going to exactly like start doing any of the fancy scaling stuff, so there wouldn't be a lot to move around. Yeah, I guess. But I think I'll do the. Okay, so. I think it's Raider variant, I think. The one that gives you spell suppression, uh, chance to avoid el elemental ailments, and frenzy charge generation, whatever. 
I think I'll do that variant. Oh. Oh, okay. I was gonna do the dead eye variant, and then I was gonna move into the totems until I scaled the build, and then I was gonna just be like, you know, I was just gonna shoot arrows myself once it scaled. Yeah, yeah. But apparently, like they had the change where the arrows return uh, on that node. I forgot what it's vengeance cascade. Uh, might be. I don't know. I I don't really yeah, play so build builds in like, general, but uh. Oh, okay, okay. Like I'm I'm big on like the decks the deck side of the tree like uh, assassins. Like dead eyes, like you know, basically like anything with a bow or a dagger is my thing. Hmm. Fair point. Yeah, I was. I, I, I also like the witch, but you know. Basically, I was deck, mostly though. a duelist <laughs> slash marauder uh, player, but uh, I'm expanding oh, my okay, horizons. Okay. You know. <laughs> I see. Yeah, actually, my first character was a champion. It was a dual strike champion. Oh my god, it was so bad, but like it was so fun. <laughs> And everyone in my guild was like, bro, why are you playing that? It's like, this is garbage skill. And I was like, but dude, like, look how fast it goes. But I wasn't doing damage for shit. And it was like a name lock build. So like, you know, I just sit there name locking. But yeah, man, good times. This is my first build ever. Bro, my first build was a Morohi Urki Earthquake. Uh, I think it was Berserker or some shit. It was the most scuffed build I've ever, ever played. <laughs> I swear, I, I think I still have that character, but I didn't touch it since, and it's like 85. It's peak 85. <laughs> peak <laughs> like, 85. Yeah, with like. Mine was peak 82, I think. And like, I couldn't pass all deaths man. or some shit. Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, I, like, I like that. <laughs> and it was like, damn, t uh, fucking 2000 deaths? What am I doing wrong? Why is my tooltip only like 30k? Like, yeah, damn. Minus, minus yeah. resi, like what the fuck? <laughs> this is this is exactly why I've grown to appreciate the witch, you see, because my guild was telling me like, dude, this is this sucks, don't do that. And I was like, give me something good then, like please, I want to farm, I'm stuck. And they're like, okay, then why don't you do flame blast, ignite prol proliferation. And I was like, okay, so then I built a witch, and I grew to appreciate the witch just because the witch gave me this opportunity. And so I was like, I actually started to, to clear some of the, the game's content and started to kill some of the bosses. So I have a special place in my heart for the witch. But right mm. after I went straight into Assassin, Deadeye, all that stuff, like like anything that's dex wise, that's what I prefer. Yeah, like I'm trying to make a mapper that's like just fast for the next league. I just want to do maps, you know, and I don't know. I don't uh, mind doing bosses, but... Uh, this league, I've done a Righteous Fire character, and I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it's like, it's cheap, but it it's able to do 90% of the content. And, yeah, uh, Righteous Fire. And I'm Good just trying to reliable. do some fucking maps now. <laughs> but fast. Yeah, man. Like, are, are you going to do totems, or how are you going to scale the ice? Um, no, I'm going to do... I'm going to just do with a bow and quiver and hope. <laughs> See what I can do, you know. I don't like totems wow, nor mines nor traps. I like to do shit myself, you know. Oh, I see. Okay. I like, tried minions me, once like... in a private league, and yeah, and it was harvest league, and I don't know. I mean, it's fun, oh, but I, okay. I I just like to go and do shit myself. Yeah, yeah, agreed. That's why I don't think I can permanently do totems. I'm just gonna do it to like you know help me scale in. But I do enjoy a small amount of. Of like uh you know like like no just pure macro like you know uh running like a, a blight and just standing there while my minions do stuff i enjoyed the necromancer a lot um and like the totems like they're just like tower defense you know you just, you just have you just have towers i used to play a ton of tower defense man <laughs> but but like that's my hope like i could just enjoy that for a little bit until i get enough currency to be able to like build out something where i can just like brute force by shooting the arrows myself yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm just hoping for like a uh, great boss killing performance because uh, Val Ice Arrow, I shot is is, I don't know, man. I shot's not that great at single target, you know. But so there is a, hopefully this will change it around. I know that also that uh, it's not the best for a single target, but um, I think I'll give the barrage support a chance. It's like a gem, you know the barrage uh, skill skill. Yeah, like, it, I'm gonna have pretty decent single target with the totem. But if I were to cast it myself, uh, I think I'm going to need some items. <laughs> yeah. Because I did barrage support for Ice Shot back in Delirium League. 
and I just couldn't scale the the build well enough like through the mid game because uh, I just needed to I I don't know I just have a tendency to want to juice everything because you know time is money <laughs> so I, I needed something that could like bridge the gap so that's why I ended up getting going for like a, a what do you call it a a wander so that I can map faster yeah so yeah that's that was kind of the story back then but this time I'm gonna build uh, totems to be able to like bridge me. I'm so gonna that's, just do uh, Reign of Arrows until I get Hyrie's Ire, I think. I think, I don't know. Because Hyrie, I, uh, Hyrie's Ire does a lot of yeah. flat calls. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, uh, oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. And yeah, okay, yeah, I remember that. I used that, I used that before in Delirium League, and I used the Void Fletcher, I remember. Oh. Uh, yeah. and, and I think, I think it was, I think it was, like, it was good, I was just too squishy. And the single target was still lacking. Like it was fine for mapping, but but like I wanted to also like do bosses if I felt like it. Have you ever seen a a, a slayer <laughs> doing tornado shot? <laughs> uh, actually, I think I did in the last guild that I was in. Uh, someone played a lot of different tornado shot variations. Dude, back in Legion League, uh, I used that to do. To farm for my cyclone because it was like cyclone was the shit in Legion from what I I remember, and it's uh it was using this elder bow called Hope Threader that uh, deals damage to you. All right, silence, so, foreigners. Daddy's back. Well, that's very. Uh, <laughs> nationalistic <laughs> of you. I'm just joking, boys. What's up? I don't know. I'm literally just talking about League League what play play. Next league and... Oh yeah. I was, I was explaining, explaining to Luna, I wanted to see what this charge is going to do. And, uh, and, and see what it's capable of this league. And then, then I realized, realized that, that like, you're, you're a good charge guy. guy. So now I'm just going to watch what you do with it. And then I'm satisfied. So I think I'm going to go ice shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, did, did discharge is, uh... The, the, like, without patting myself. If there were one thing in this game, then I would be the most, um... Uh, confident in saying that, like, I'm I'm that dude. That like, it would be discharge. I played it every league for uh, 24 leagues. I've written 13 guides for it, um, and it's yeah, it's like that would be. I would be. I would be the like again, not not to be arrogant here, but I would I would be the foremost authority on discharge for sure. Yeah, man. So as long as I get to see what you're able to pull out of it, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll That's really what I'm worried about. And of course, you know, any, any guy with a certain amount of confidence should know how healthy and amount of skepticism. So I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I could, I could like, I'll do it. And then I saw your game today, and then I saw your videos, and I was like, ah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm also in 41, I'm in 41 mirrors of gear, so, uh, including the greatest item. I don't know if, I, are you, are you in game right now? Uh, I can be. Okay, just look on stream quickly. This is the most valuable discharge item ever created in the history of Path of Exile. What's your replay of stream? Uh, but YouTube has a 30 second one and there's no way around it. Okay, if anyone in chat wants to join, we've got a couple spots here, guys. I can get back into the Beast Rotas. What time is it? Uh, 10.20 in the morning. Time is meaningless when you have no life. I'm what you call timeless, baby. So ahead of my time, my parents haven't met yet. Shit. Maybe white as hell, but this is the Prince of Persia over here. Shit, my blood type's khaki, baby. <laughs> okay, let's put this spreadsheet back over here. Good, man. Yeah, good. I'm glad. I mean, that's the point of it, right? That's obviously a pretty, that like, you know, 
the flask crafting is very like it's one of those things that any any player with any level of like you can do it if you are a new player if you're an experienced player if you have a lot of currency or little currency it is a ubiquitously beneficial uh like thing to employ which i think is why it's resonated with so many people but with respect to complexity and overall margin return uh it would be you know in the lower quadrant of of things that i, I can help people with so you know you have videos like that where they're in depth or whatever and it maybe exposes people to the uh to a way of thinking that they they previously were uh somewhat skeptical or or avoidant of and then you know then they you know maybe jump from that video to like the plus two amulet crafting um and you know they build up their own confidence and their trust in what i'm saying as, as being you know legitimate or whatever and uh you know from there um you know the this this the sky's the uh ceiling so yeah i mean there, there's reaction like first of all it depends on the specificity of the craft which is why if you notice my videos are an hour long because I don't focus on one implementation of something. I focus on uh, like the precipitating underlying factors that make that work and how somebody can adapt those to do it themselves, right? And so when you talk about flask crafting, here are the reasons why certain flasks are more expensive. Here are the different manifestations. Here are different three different approaches you can take. And so even if there's six different types of flasks, right? Now there's eight different types of suffixes and here are three different ways that then becomes six times eight times four. And so what is perceived in a normal video, maybe as a one crafting method, actually becomes uh, eight, eight to 32, uh, 100 and, uh, you know, 96 different uh, manifestations of a single craft. Now you put that within the context or framework of understanding that each one of those has individual merit on a build by build basis. And that mage blood is one of the most ubiquitous items in the game with respect to people who can actually afford high end crafting or high end items. Uh, and then you get a pretty basal understanding of what the potential is. I yo I I put my videos on myself to fall asleep. No, oh, no, no. I I I actually put them on myself because I know what I'm going to say already. So my mind, my mind isn't waiting to hear the next thing. Like there's no interest, but it's also like it puts my mind at calm because otherwise my my mind races and I think of new things to do. But when there's sound, it, it's like it's you know lulling. It's like uh, I remember reading a thing that's saying people that have high anxiety tend to watch the same like TV shows, like comfort shows, like Friends or The Office or things like that, like comedies that are light when they try to fall asleep because it, it occupies their brain in a way where they don't feel anxious because they already know what's going to come. But it, it, you know, your brain focuses on the sound of the noise in the same way that people have like, you know, whale sounds or uh, sleep sounds or things like that. Um, but I, I like without without any level of now I'm a pretty arrogant person, but without any level of self gratification like listening to myself on those videos actually does put me to sleep so no uh no no harm taken there yeah, yeah for me i i just exhaust my brain so it shuts off and then i and then usually exhaust it with music oh, oh bro i tried <laughs> i was up for 30 hours yeah, yeah damn it. wait sorry guys, so guys on discord can you just yeah, give me a second yeah i can you guys just be quiet for a second uh i want to make sure this is not um Sorry, people on YouTube, are, are you saying that there's an echo? Is that still happening or am I reading something from uh, previously? Before we get going here, I'll make sure that because obviously I don't want to address that once we get started. Oh, Tokyo, you have Also, as a finance guy, by the way, Tokyo, did you see the name of the guild? It's still happening. Okay. Oh. You like that? Yeah, I do. I really do like that. 
<laughs> and you, do you know what my my main character's name is? Vol Street. <laughs> oh, what is it? Vol Street. V A A L Street. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> oh, man. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay, apparently. Um, do you guys, I'm sorry, I'm pretty bad with computers. How do I make it so that uh, Firefox goes to my headset so I can hear Discord through my headset and that way it doesn't loop through the speaker so that YouTube isn't hearing it? Let's see, belt in. User settings, maybe. Let's see. Um, you don't, you don't need use the uh, support on the application. Uh, no. Um, my computer is uh, from 2016, and for some reason, when I use the app, it, um, and PoE takes up like fucking, <laughs> when I go look at like processing power or whatever, for some reason, when it's run on the, it just, the two things seem to be conflicting um, all the time. Yeah, so I, I want to have, like, the game volume right now is playing through my TV. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Hello? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello? Yeah, yeah, so, so like, like I, think I think you can do it in the app, app as opposed to in the browser. browser. Maybe we'll all open the app Wait, get in channel? Yeah, one sec. I gotta buy, make these trades first. I don't fucking know what my password is. Maybe that was why, actually. Maybe because I forgot my password.
Hello, hello, hello. What up, pussies? Shit, can't hear anything now. Er. Ooh. Hello, hello. Oh, what up? We back, we back. Proper. Okay, perfect. I think I'm gonna settle this. Let him not see speak. Mm. Okay, nope, default doesn't work. How about now? It's a... One, two, three, four. Yeah, can you guys hear the people on chat uh, on YouTube? Oh, let me turn your volumes up 100%. <laughs> okay, try now. Hello? Oh, there One, we go. Two, three, four. Oh, that, looks like, that looks like it's registered. I'm you... reading you. I don't hear echo anymore on your stream, by the way. I know, but that, that was the whole point of doing this. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I see no replies in chat, so I'm just trying oh, to yeah. help out, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's good. Just so you know, I can never befriend the help. <laughs> I'm just joking. What did you say? <laughs> no, 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 repeat. Oh, I said, I said, I appreciate it, but just so you know, I'll never become friends with the help. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, okay, so right now, guys, we're averaging. This is actually much higher than I would have thought. Um, we've got uh, the first one was three. Second one. Um, actually, let's do this so it's automated. Uh, So we are averaging uh, uh, should I invite you back to the party? Yeah. There you go. We're averaging 3.1. Uh, drops per so 3.1 harvest piece uh, for the people that are in the party so that's actually huge because there's only uh i think there's 10 different harvest piece that means that each one you run you have a 30 percent chance of getting a, a vulture uh which by itself is five divines and then if you're averaging three uh we'd have to like do the average cut or the average price of the other beasts but it would be somewhere around a divine so that means um yeah that, that means that like how, how long would you say it would take us to run those white ones the three maps like roughly five minutes that means that yeah. the, the average return would be somewhere between two to three divines for each party member um irrespective of there's a vulture obviously i'm taking the vultures for crafting sake but uh that's actually really that's very uh obviously this is a very preliminary data but that's that's quite quite profitable one may say well the, it's certainly much very higher promising certainly much high, higher than what i, I would have thought and it was how much are you paying for the the Einhard missions uh 5.5 to 6 divines each uh, on my end i have made uh like the vivid vultures i have 13 vultures i've already got 65 divines of vultures uh from the first uh uh fuck i can't remember how many i just did i'll keep track more specifically now because i just bought a bunch of maps like their memories I, I wasn't tracking for myself because I, I i already know that the distribution like there's a set amount of beasts right you get nine beasts no matter what each memory um and they're equally weighted so uh, finding out what the average return on, is on that is not something that you need to develop any kind of empirical data for because um, you just basic arithmetic there um oops did i just destroyed chat where did chat go there's chat okay uh so we need two more people oh shit make me party leader uh fuck i'm not the party leader wait melancholy Okay, let me send out a blast on Discord here. Ooh, streamer safe mode. 
I didn't know they had condoms for Discord. Okay, uh, should probably start using those though. Why? Yeah, yeah, I made a Twitter account yesterday just so I could t reply to Path of Exile things, and I had to create a bio. And so my bio is six times um, Reddit POE or POE subreddit uh, lifetime ban award winner, four times Twitch lifetime ban award winner, uh, respected and well liked by TFT Reddit and Twitch mods everywhere. Uh, discharge go burr. That's my about. And for some reason, Bex has yet to reply to me. With such a sincere. Well, I not. mean, if we're doing bios, you might as well put uh, undisputed champion of the discharge. That's true. If we're not being arrogant, of course. Yeah, yeah. undisputed, uh, undisputed revelation of your girlfriend's incognito browser history. Yeah. And don't forget hideout handbook. That's true. I was gonna to refer to it to like as like the HH, and then I, I googled it, and apparently HH online stands for Hail Hitler. I was like, "Yep, we're not gonna do that anymore." <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, apparently that's like a, a 4chan like fucking or 88 or something. There, there's some kind of like you know alt right neo Nazi symbolism given to well, obviously HH is just uh, the initials, but you know, given Damn, given, given the undisputed champion of your girlfriend's incognito browser history. <laughs> no, <laughs> and then you put HH and then people will be like, wait, what? And then you put, then you put the link, they click on the link and they see the, the hideout helper. And then now it's just this uh, very helpful piece of documentation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, or it's your girlfriend dressed up like a maid <laughs> cleaning my kitchen. <laughs> also uh -huh. very helpful documentation. The hideout helper. Yeah. Belton, what's your Damn. job? <laughs> I mean, Shit, I was solo self-bound until I met your girl. Now it's all handbooks, baby. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, two more people. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by this banter. At everyone. Ah. Like you're having a rough time with this banter, let's be honest here. Oh, I love banter. But no, it's actually like I'm really happy to have like voice chat because... I think a lot of what people perceptibly view as me being angry or aggressive or toxic or whatever um, is like I was in like I played football in high school, then rugby in, in South Africa. I was in the military. I played hockey growing up. And like I noticed like Aussies and like some Americans, um, Canadians, like we kind of have this like sort of uh, British too, where you like insult your friends, kind of like banter. You know what I mean? Or like mm -hmm. you walk up to your buddy, you're like, yo, what up, pussy? Like gaining a few pounds, are we? Like, how's the hog of a wife doing? You know, and like, I noticed like a lot of people, um, you know, perceptively from my side that are like Eastern European or Southeast Asian that maybe just don't understand them. They read it for like verbatim. They think that like, I am like the, this like war criminal of, you know, like the war criminal <laughs> that like, well, you, that went fucking yeah, south. yeah, like I, I literally put out a thing. You know, the reason they banned me from Reddit was because I was like, if I ever find out who's a mole in my guild, I'm going to build a locker and stuff them into it. And uh, they thought that this was a death threat. They, they literally Honestly. quoted they quoted it as a death threat and i was like i mean fuck like you're just proving my point like i am now ordering four lockers <laughs> uh it's not even eastern europeans or asians i think people just became weak and uh snowflakes this is true this is why croatia has it's all of the of, um, that's why yeah. croatia has all of the coastline right fuck you sir <laughs> Americans have gotten incredibly sensitive. Yeah. Yo, yeah, thanks, so, Slobodan. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a streamer, so I don't care about this whole woke culture. Dude, I am a streamer and I don't give a fuck, but that's why I'm so staunchly like <laughs> defensive of that shit. Like, I don't, uh, you know, I've lost my, like, source of income, like, six times in the past year, but that is very, I mean, you know, quote-unquote source of income, obviously. I couldn't survive on this, but... um perceptively at least right and, and but that that is very very meaningless to me uh, you know juxtaposed against the uh uh what i think to be a, a you know pe people are going to keep being like that until someone someone isn't right like the fact that it is completely acceptable and has become like the normative behavior to just completely like kowtow and box to um you know the sensibilities of of others and like com constantly pandering to the um you know subjective uh ranges of other people's emotions like i don't even respect myself that that much right you, if you if you are if you are that entitled to think that i'm going to change my outlook or my my operational uh day-to-day -day function on the basis of 
um, how you choose to perceive it. Like every person in the world has the right to be offended, but there's not a single person in the world who has the right not to be. And I will argue that to the death. And, uh, you know, if you want to bring up externalities about my character traits or my background, like we'll go toe to toe. Like you fucking ineffectual neckbeards. Let's fucking throw hands. Yeah. Sorry. Getting a little hypey here. <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. That's why I stuck around on your videos because you're a uh, killer real and direct. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you know, it's no sugar coating it. Yeah. You know, I'd rather be disliked for who I am than be well liked for who I am not. Because when you start to obfuscate those two things, uh, it becomes very hard to tell who uh, is actually supportive of you and who is actually a friend um, and who, you know, is just someone there based on the optics of this character you create. And there's no, I, in, in my, I've gone through some stuff in my life personally in the past where, you know, I've struggled with mental mental health and drug, drug problems and things like that. And I think the biggest thing that is a predicating or a predicating factor to that is, um, you know, a, a sense of um, or lack of purpose or, or a disconnect between who you see yourself as or who you want to be and, and like the way you carry yourself, you know, like when your sense of self is being largely dictated by external externalities rather than, um, you know, your internal core values being reflected. And so like, that's why that stuff's so important to me. And uh, again, why I'm happy that we're talking on voices. I think it's a lot more obvious that my, you know, <laughs> like, I don't think that talking to me when I, when I sit down, I'm like, what's up fucking foreigners, daddy's home. Like, <laughs> that's not you then going, that's not you then going and at everyone to 350,000 people. Belton confirmed a racist xenophobe. I was like, bitch, I am an illegal immigrant on Twitch. I am going on my Twitch burner account right now. And I am hiding from the goddamn Twitch INS. <laughs> I am waiting for my fucking dream application to go through. <laughs> Don't you talk to me about being foreign. Uh, okay, well. But yeah, well, I, like, I don't know. Like, none of my friends and friend group, we all use that kind of banter. But uh, I see when I meet new people, I can't really be that way because I don't know how um, sensitive they are, you know? Mm. So, like, you don't have to apologize by saying foreigners. Like, man, my best. My oh, no, I, was, I wasn't apologizing. I was just saying that, like, uh, from the other per person's perspective, right? Like, it, somebody who's not uh, yeah. hearing me say that and I type that in chat. Right. Uh, like, for example, the other day I was like, I'm making a new discord channel for more experienced players because frankly, most of you are retarded. Um, there were three people who sent me a message. They're like, I'm unfollowing, unsubscribing, and I'm removing my thing. Like what an entitled sense of blah, blah, blah. Cause they thought I was actually like putting them down. Whereas I was just kind of like trying to make a joke of like the fact that there's 200 people discussing like, you know, how they're going to make their first two chaos. And I was just like, I want to have a more, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. and, and so like, that was just sort of a, yeah, I would never apologize unless I felt sorry for what I do. And I think I, I stick by my. No, morals. no, no. I didn't mean uh, literally saying I'm mm. sorry, but you said uh, that was a joke. That was a joke. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do realize why people are doing that. But yeah, it's it's like whatever. If if they are gonna hate you, they're gonna find a reason sooner or later. If that makes any sense. Yeah, oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I had to pull up my Rosetta Stone to understand that atrocity of an accent, but that's okay. What did you say? <laughs> I said I had to pull up the Rosetta Stone so I could understand that atrocity of an accent, but it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Learn how to speak yeah. American, okay? <laughs> Yeehaw, brother. I don't care if you're well-read. I care if you're well-read, white, and blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> don't worry you're gonna get it used to the accent well you know what actually the, 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 I, I take a look like, uh, i'm a lot more comfortable on youtube as well because making that joke uh, do, do you guys know i got banned from twitch the first time path of math hosted me with 1800 people and somebody told me they were like greetings from japan i was like oh yeah i used to you know i used to judge uh, an asian girl myself i was like she's beautiful loved it but the only problem was you know when we'd have sex and I would go doggy style, she would get hungry. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. And one minute later, boom, pulled down her, you know, stereotyping racial remarks or whatever. Like, it was obviously very clearly gestural. Um, but, like, Twitch is kind of hot trigger on that. Whereas on YouTube, I came to find out before I switched over to the platform that the primary recruiting source that ISIS has is YouTube. And I was like, you know what? If, if, if ISIS can comfortably recruit on YouTube... And, and I was like, and I get if I eventually get banned from there, I was like, maybe that's where we'll hang up the hat and say, James, maybe it's time to to address our own behavior. But like, until then, we'll we'll, we'll keep making our jokes. Um, 
Yeah, but then everybody's got to worry about what you're going to do with your Discord posse. What, what's my Discord posse? Well, you see what ISIS does after it recruits a bunch of people. What what does Belton do after he recruits a bunch of people and doesn't have POE? Oh, oh shit. Well, he gonna, we do the same thing. We do the same thing, baby. We look for some good head, you know? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> shit, I'll be getting brains in the backseat like John F. Kennedy, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Lead I was about to, to the be a hella diplomatic, but this is the way we can go. Yeah, sure. Why not? Currently averaging three piece. Fuck, I'm trying to write an everyone Discord message to recruit here. Shut the fuck up. Stop making me banter. All right, currently averaging three bees per memory. Three harvest bees, I should specify. Three harvest bees per, per memory. Uh, discharge goat. I also found out the other day that I'm born in 1991. That uh, that was the year of the goat. And uh, I was it's like, the year of the goat. I was <laughs> like, I was like, yo, you know what? I'm not cocky. It's fucking astrology, baby. It's, it's been it's been foretold. <laughs> like shit, y'all are just stargazing like fucking Carl Sagan. <laughs> not insane. <laughs> it right. was meant to be. God damn it. Yeah. Nah, as it was written. Uh, well, to an Indian name. It's the metal goat, actually. <laughs> so it's not just the goat, it's the metal goat. The metal goat? Shit. Put that chrome. Oh my god, dude. mom, I'm famous. I'm on this streamer's screenshot. God damn. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, yeah. It's funny too, because I'm famous for being in your mom's screenshots as well. <laughs> well, that might. Be true, <laughs> god damn it. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, you know, actually, you guys want to hear a funny story? Uh, and it's going to make me sound like a terrible person, but it's, it's pretty funny. Um, you know, I mentioned I used to work in nightclubs and had a bit of a drug problem. Uh, so I kind of would do super stupid shit all the time. But anyways, I've been dating this girl, really good looking blonde chick. And uh, uh, I, her brother, she had a younger brother, one year younger than me. She was the same age as me that I would go out with all the time. And it's kind of awkward because I was dating his sister or whatever. And so, you know, he was like, I don't want this to ruin our friendship. Um, and so him and I went out this one weekend and we just got fucking destroyed. I was up for like two days doing drugs, drinking, whatever. And it was Thanksgiving like four years ago. And he's like, oh, you know, why don't you come with us to have Thanksgiving dinner? And so he's like, uh, he's like, my sister is coming later on. And we go there and he goes in his room, his passes out. I start sitting in the kitchen with his mom. And, uh, she calls up to me and she goes, you know, you, you kind of look, remind me of uh, Jim Morrison. I was like, oh yeah. And, uh, so she starts massaging my shoulders. Anyways, I was so lit. I end up fucking my buddy's mom. Um, while she's making th Thanksgiving dinner in this kitchen. And then the girl I'm dating, her daughter, then shows up. And I have to have Thanksgiving dinner with my buddy and my girlfriend's mom, who I just slept with. And it's just the four of us sitting there. <laughs> I was like, you know, just this fucking retarded. Uh, I mean, so technically, you had, you had experience. It's like the family people. likes you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he runs in the family. Yeah, and that, that's that's what we call uh, no, it's not like southern incest, that's like northern incest, you know, but it's a borderline. <laughs> Shit, is this Jurassic Park? Because the that DNA sharing just became made me a monster. <laughs> oh. Um. Damn. Oh shit, I wrote my name wrong. <clears throat> Discharge goat. See, I can grab people. Sorry, this is taking so long, guys. I, I can grab people from, um, like, just trade or global or whatever, but I very uh, uh, highly am skeptical that they would be uh, transparent about what they're getting and stuff. Um, and for the data's sake, that would obviously be uh, an uncontrollable variable that could skew it uh, or the legitimacy of it. Um, looking for... Oh, there we go. There's one. One. Poison RF. What the fuck? Poison RF? Yeah. I kind of like the sound of that. I don't. Well, Jesus. considering the, the update where where they... Oh, man, I forgot what it was, but it's something where they convert... Uh, like, any chaos damage you take converts to healing. Mm hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's a new unique amulet. Yeah, so I mean like considering that, like could be pretty interesting. It just gives you like several layers of defense that you don't have to worry about and also kind of like scales your damage a lot more smoothly. Or just but how, I don't know how the conversion would work. Portals. I don't know. I saw it, but I don't, I'm not sure. I saw both that and poison SRS type shit, but that's with the with the Chayula sword, I think, or some shit like that. Sorry, what builds are you guys talking about? I, I don't have any experience with poor. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a man and die five times out of I was, six. Like, I was like, were you guys gearing out at the swap meet? You know, poison you know righteous funny? fire, more like poison righteous fire. <laughs> While are we at the, the topic of being poor, I think my whole build is the price of your feral's fur. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, it's a, it's a foil for Pharaoh's first. So, uh, uh, without the corruption, it's 75 divines. With the corruption, it's probably about 300. Um, I'm wearing about 41, oh, yeah. 41 mirrors of gear right now. Fun. I have a total of one teleport scroll on me. I'm okay. I have 14 exalted orbs. I literally stripped all my characters and gave all the items away because I usually quit leagues about, like, uh... Like two months in, so I just gave it to everyone who's still playing. Fair enough. Yeah, so in standard, I'm pretty broke, but I never play standard. I just like running around in my hideout until the league starts. You know what I do in standard? What's that? I go in, I bitch about how there is so many remove only tabs, and then I just leave. Oh, yeah. I feel like I would, I could understand that. Cause that's exactly what I'm dealing with right now. I'm just looking at like, all this. Goddess, stuff goddess like, this voice. Way too much. All right, let's shift gears back to the game now, just so we, uh, like, once we get into the rhythm of it, um, uh, da, 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 rhythm of it, um, uh, you know, we can start talking about other shit, but just so we can get going here. Uh, all right, okay, so boss. thanks, guys. All right, so. Yeah, a couple more stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Primal, wild. Hey, you still got room or is it uh, full? Uh, we just filled up, but people usually leave once every 15 minutes or so. So you can hang out and chat here and then just uh, as soon right. as one opens up, we'll get you in there. All right, thanks. Yeah, no worries. It's all night. Okay, so I'm gonna mark down the names again here. Um, okay, so Weaver, uh, we we lost Weaver, right? Actually, I guess the names yep. of the people are not important. I can just uh, check because the I can just change it to whoever's filled in that spot. So Barnaby is gonna take over for Weaver, Barnaby, and then uh, who else do we have here? Poison RF is new also. Poison RF, and he replaced RU. Yeah, Poison RF. And I think the rest is the same. Yeah. Okay, Barnaby's ready, Bot's ready, Poison's ready, Belton's ready. We're waiting on Melancholy and is gay. Oh, I'm ready. I, I, can you just type it in chat so I can see? 
I can I I can't connect your voices on Discord yep, to yep, who's it's in good. Here. Yeah. Everyone's good? Uh, his game might be AFK. Mm, yep. If he is, uh, who is it that was popped in and asked if there's space? Uh, me. Uh, some dude. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Sorry, he answered. Okay, let's get it, boys. Here we go, one more time, everybody. All right, you guys can talk about your, uh, whatever, third third world nonsense you were talking about. Yeah, damn. <laughs> the original jokes, you Americans. Every person that I speak to from Canada or America is like, damn, you live in Croatia, that's ter third world. Uh, uh, okay. We are the 17th best country in our region of Former Iron Curtain Europe, you swallow your words. <laughs> According to Bratislava like? today, we are the number one emerging nation in our <laughs> continental region. <laughs> we have the number one best hookers in Europe. <laughs> no, that's Prague. That's Czech Republic. Uh... Get your facts straight, man. <laughs> Don't you know me? I'm streaming from the Tate's house right now. <laughs> Did you guys see Andrew Tate on South Park? They fucking added him. Oh no, I didn't see that. I love South Park though. I think it, it does the best job of like actual yeah. parodying, uh, like in, in a very like it, it, it undercuts the seriousness and like the actual um, commentary of, of what they parody by like the absurdity in which they say it. But it, I think in terms of actual insight. Um, it's probably one of the, the best uh, satirical shows ever made. Yeah, definitely. It's one of my favorite uh, cartoon shows. And yeah. Uh, yeah, they made Andrew Tate have like this weird ass name and a weird ass accent and shit. Okay, so now you guys know how I feel about you. Yeah, <laughs> damn. <laughs> like every time we talk, all, all I want to start singing is my favorite song. I'm calling Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> I saw a meme that like. Uh, they traded off uh, Andrew and Tristan Tate, but they got Donald Trump in return. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> MAGA, baby. <laughs> you know what's funny, too? Like, obviously, you guys can tell I'm joking. Back in the day, to, like, parody this character that I'm doing right now, I used to wear a three-piece suit while streaming, slick my hair back, wear sunglasses inside, and chain smoke. And I would play, Amer <laughs> I would play America Fuck Yeah every time I crafted. And people would call me your, your, your average stupid American fucking whatever, and they didn't realize that I'm Canadian. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I gotta, I gotta do that too. I have long ass hair. I gotta slick that back, buy a fucking pack of Marlboros, and you know, drink Jack Daniels on stream or something. Yeah. I'm sure all three people watching will love that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Including my family. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking, really. Alrighty. Oh, sorry. Wait for Barnaby. Wait, 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 wait. Besides, as there's there's as many offensive jokes as I can make, there's no way that anything I say will be as offensive as somebody whose name is Barnaby Jones in a video game. <laughs> you know that guy's like a grand wizard. <laughs> oh, I got a vulture. Vulture, perfect. Yeah. My vulture now. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't actually call them vultures though. I call them viewers. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you one viewer then. <laughs> Shit, that's you not know, the first. That's not the first V I got from your family. <laughs> well, fair point. Thanks for defending my country then. <laughs> because God knows there isn't any other reason you should be here. Uh, yeah, I got sent there with NATO because uh, I thought it was Latvia. <laughs> oh. No, I actually have a bunch of Croatian buddies. Um. 
I, I always find it funny because I like all, all of your last names end in itch, right? I see. Uh, or is it Serbians? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, both. Yeah. And like, I, you know, I make my jokes now, but it's whatever. Like, I think it, when I was younger, it was a little bit of like a, a defense mechanism kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's like when you get uncomfortable, you just start saying like sort of absurdist shit because it's it's kind of like you don't have to be real that way. Um, but because I, I think I've mentioned this before, I, I got recruited to like an international boarding school to play football when I was in high school. And so I was constantly around uh, like people from across the world. And so I had like like little like my first actual roommate when I went to boarding school was Korean. His name was uh, uh, Sun Jung, uh, uh, wait, sorry, uh, Sun Jung Cho or anything. So anyways, uh, and then my next one was Saudi Arabia and blah, blah, blah. And so like I have for someone from like the West in within the Western canon, a pretty good like some of the random things I know about different countries I can make like references to sometimes. Um, and uh, uh, that, that's always just sort of been a part of it. But like in, in real life, when I get drunk, though, it's like the worst shit. <laughs> it's so much worse. It just is like, well, don't, don't get drunk on stream because you're going to get banned on YouTube. Yeah, no, the last time I got drunk on stream was like uh, 2016 or 17. And uh, I deleted 80 mirrors of gear on standard using ball orbs, including th uh, three relic legacy, like relic from Legacy League, Calm's Hearts, of which there were only 10 in existence. Um, as well as two alt art Vols devotions, of which only ten were ever won from a race. I don't even know how many of them were left in the game at that point, but it was at least. Damn. Um, uh, yeah, it was uh, alt art demigods, uh, like six or seven of them. It was it was pretty bad. Um, oh, that's fun. Yeah, 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 but I was also on a fair amount of drugs at the time and blah blah. <clears throat> so th these days, I'll I, you know I get my kicks by, um, you know, being an adult, right? So. Anytime, you know, I'm on a dating site, people are like, so what do you, what do, you do for work? I'm like, well, you know, I get, I get all geriatric and yell at a bunch of 15-year-old kids on a video game forum that I run about, um, you know, how they're being irresponsible with their activities online, not taking, uh, you know, their gaming career too seriously. And I'm really worried about their, you know, financial <laughs> salvation and, and emotional well-being, given their, you know, clear disconnect between, um, you know, action and, and, and the desire for, for, you know, self and upward mobility and, yeah, so I, I think of myself partially as you know a mentor, partially as you know a counselor, and <laughs> a teacher, uh, and so what is it that you do? Oh, you're a doctor. Oh, that's that's cute. I mean, you know, don't don't feel like you know you're punching, you're you're swinging up here. I think I see us as equals. <laughs> anyway, so it's been a few years since I got laid. <laughs> Damn, that's all right. Trade leagues, tra trade leagues in Path of Exile, solo self found in real life. <laughs> I mean, ain't that the way? Definitely, definitely. As a man, I never have to ask directions. <laughs> God, I wish I still had booze left so I could fucking do uh, Drunk Harvest Beast. That would be great. <laughs> but I finished mine this morning, so, you know, and it's already kind of worn off. I'm only at a buzz right now, so, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like 10 in the morning for me, so I'm just going to judge you as if it's 10 in the morning for where you are, too. It's actually not 10 in the morning. 6 p.m. now, but, like, somewhere in the morning, I drank the rest. Oh, bottle. yeah, well. Now you're sounding American. Yeah, Bud Light's my blood type. <laughs> Let me guess. You're from UK. No. No. Shit. I would guess where you're from, but there's probably too many goddamn syllables. Learn how to speak American. <laughs> I'm from Finland. I'm from Finland, mate. Oh. <laughs> Finland. Yeah. Oh, that's that There's makes that makes sense because your girl was quick to finish too. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. All right, guys. Sorry, I did drop for a sec here. Jokes. Uh, uh, banter. Pause. Uh, everyone, bottle up. All right. Actually, that's kind of a funny pun there, given what we we're just talking about. <laughs> Yo, uh, discharge goat. Yes, sir. Take these five divines that I make for a sacrifice. Good. Put you to work, baby. Pimp, pimpin' since pimpin', pimpin'. Pimp. Right. <laughs> Path of exile, pimpin'. <laughs> uh, pimp of exile. Vivid. Uh, yeah. What are the other ones? Primal and wild. There you go. Oh my god, I got three vultures from that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that was a five divine me uh, memory that I just made. Uh, that's 20 divines of vultures. No, you got four. No, I'm saying plus the one that I just got there. That's 20 divines of vultures. Yeah, I got one more for you. Oh, do you? Fuck, five. 25 divines of vultures. Fucking hell. 
What? I. Wait, who, who's talking? Sorry, can, can, will you say? Will you guys say I? Can you say your name in game? Because I, I don't know. Melancholy has a. Okay, sorry, I thought that was bot. No, no, no. I'm the Slavic. You know. But yeah, I kind of like be... to think myself as American, since we we have a uh, my dad owns so many fucking guns, it's unbelievable. Like fucking forty different ones. So you know. Oh, nice. Democracy. Like get drunk, shoot, smoke, you know, you know, basic American shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I spend about half, like, I've got, I've got a place down in uh, the States, Florida, so I grew up spending a lot of my time there as well. And Florida, you know, Florida's, like, the Florida, for, not for the Florida, from the news Florida, but, you know. Yeah. One of my favorite, one of my favorite memes that, like, I ever came across in the past several years, it was, like, take your date of birth and then uh, enter it onto a Google search after oh, yeah. Florida man. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me actually try that now. Uh... <sighs> okay, uh... let's see here. I can't really find my exact birth year, but uh... On October 1st, a Florida man passed out drunk in the drive-thru of a Jensen Beach Taco Bell. And with his foot on the accelerator, that's that's pretty tame for Florida. It is. I actually had one before, like with my birth year, with like alligators or some shit, <laughs> but I can't find it right now. Uh, okay, I just gotta wait for. Okay, so we got bot. He's got one. Um, and then we gotta wait for Barnaby here. Can somebody tell Barnaby that we're on Discord and then ask if he'll join us? Because they're making this a lot easier. I'm just entering the data now. Okay, uh, bot was one. Um, you poison RF one hellion. Uh, but, but, but melancholy is three. Uh, is gay is one. Florida man birthday January twentieth. Florida man tried to hide from the cops by going underwater. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, mine says drunk Florida man tries to use taco as ID after his car catches fire at Taco Bell. Alright, that one's better. <laughs> the incident... Florida man blames us. Go ahead, you first. <laughs> no, 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 nothing. I was just saying the date, but yeah, no, no, you can read. Florida man blames demons after beating pregnant girlfriend for playing Xbox Live. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> you guys be quiet for a second. I'm just playing with. Uh... Wait, what's the Google search I need to write? That um, uh, gem like uh, what what is it called? Like lens strat you posted on YouTube is pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Um, sorry. We got some pretty good profits. Okay, zero. All right, good. So in my class, we had these, um, what is it called, like, optional classes that, like, you need to pick, but you can, like, choose from Jeez. between, like, certain uh, topics and shit. And I picked, like, Germany. My friend said they would all pick Germany. All six of them, they all did not pick Germany, so I'm fucking alone in there. All right, you got some kinda experience of... with that? <laughs> it kind of fucking I sucks. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of your own fault. Yeah. Sweet. 
But I, I, I thought I, they said. Well, you could say he did not see that coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and let me guess, you cannot um, back out from the class. Nope. Well. Yeah. Guten Tag. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> I don't know any German. What is that? What is that? Like a, a German rum and tug? Welcome to the yeah. Guten Tag. <laughs> yeah, something no, like that. Hello. <laughs> Have a good day, brother. Alright. No fucking well. Well, the class they pick fucking sucks ass, so, you know. <laughs> what do they pick instead of German? WordPress. The what? WordPress. It's like writing websites and shit. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, honestly, even though I hate both, I'd rather pick uh, German. Yeah, same. That's right. uh, mostly why I picked it. I would file a lawsuit that it's discriminatory that they don't teach American. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do teach English, so, but like, that class was so fucking easy for me, like, you know. <laughs> Since they only like in the English classes, they teach like basic words and shit, you know? So. Past, present <laughs> type shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some third grade level shit. So I was just kind of sitting there on my phone looking at Path of Exile fucking uh, modding and shit. <laughs> fucking present simple. Hell yeah. I know. Been there. She yep. gets angry. She gets angry when I don't come. Uh, I mean. Pause. But yeah, you know what I mean. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Wait, so everyone stop moving, Barnaby. What? Oh. Barnaby, stop moving. These are white maps, so we don't need damage. Uh, whatever you need to do to increase your mobility, do that. Because if you're not within range, you're going to miss the beast. Hey, stop, stop attacking, stop attacking, stop attacking. Uh, somebody in chat was. I know it means good day. I was just trying to make a joke. Uh, <laughs> um, Visibly frustrated. YouTube chat. So, somebody, I'm going to have to switch out, Barnaby, I think. Um, yeah, this is actually unacceptable. Like, I mean, is the time between them. He, 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 like, look at that. He's half the map behind us. Uh, who is it? Mankey, message me in game. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to YouTube. Uh, Drew Mankey, if you want to join. Or anyone, whoever messages me first. Too slow. <clears throat> Get him out of here. And so there's no, 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 like malice in doing that. It's just it's a complete waste of the spot. Because if you're half a map behind, then you're not catching anything. All right, anything. I'm a. Uh, I am. Uh, I just joined. Who's this? Yeah, Rizzler fangs me. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Ooh, man. Okay, so just to clarify, Rizzler, you know we're doing the rules and stuff? Uh, kinda. Isn't it isn't like just follow you and kill shit, basically, and give you vivids? Uh, One. follow, kill shit, give vivids, make sure you bottle at the end of each memory so that there's no beast. And then at the end, if you don't have a vivid, you can keep everything else, but I need you to report to me how many yeah. harvest beasts are dropping so I can build the data set. That's actually right. more important because if I don't get a vivid, it's five divines, I'll live. If somebody misreports how many beasts they got, um, sure. it fucks up the entire data set. Actually, I need All to right. ask Barnaby. So I just uh, let you know, like, uh, of all the beasts I got after the yeah, map. Uh, only ones that, that, that are harvest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the, uh, I like the crab minion just spazzing out in spawn. <laughs> Can you see Barnaby? I don't think Barnaby's a non-streamer listening voice. Uh, okay. Um, so everyone's good, everyone understands. Oh, do, uh, Rizzler, do you have a beast capture beast on you? Beast your herbs? You can grab those right now if you don't. And make sure that your beast area is clear of harvest beast. Uh, yeah, 
let me check. Zero Could good. Do that yeah. Reg X with Primal Wild Vivid. Check your bestiary right now. Make sure you don't have any in there. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, because if you had like two in there that you didn't know about and uh, then you report to me an additional two, again, it throws off the data set. Uh, Barnaby got zero twice in a row, which is not so outside. Primal and which one? The one that's typed in chat, you fucking retard. <laughs> Primal Wild Vivid. Oh, okay. shit. Or this. You want to donate a uh, road? Yeah, that no, doesn't seem like I have any. Okay, hey, cool. Um, somebody, somebody's just giving me a memory. I'll reinvite you in a sec. Uh, for anyone that Twitch again, we're gonna be rotating people in and out constantly. Uh, Canada's America adjacent. How dare you? If that's the case, then I'm your wife's husband adjacent. Huh. I'm just joking. Like a pro golfer anyways, baby. Three wood. Uh. I'll be dang. Who, who's just speaking? Sorry, I might have to turn you up on my end. Uh, me. Bot Apex. Bot Apex. Okay, great. Thank you. I was about to, I was about to excoriate you for supplying me. Who's talking to me? I know. <laughs> It's like when you when you it's like when you ask somebody, hey, uh, would you like to go for lunch or dinner? And they reply, yes. When you give them two options, they say yes. <laughs> but you know, uh, let me educate you about technology because I know you're old and stuff. Well, just because you uh, build computer chips as a child in your warehouse of your country doesn't mean you're an expert on the topic. No, okay? no, no. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> when I talk on Discord, it shows a green circle around who's talking. You know, uh -huh. so if you just pay close attention to who's talking on Discord, you will see. Everyone in my circle's got green, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair point. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I thought. Try try to step up to the big dog. Uh, down. <laughs> uh, okay, where who do I invite here? Uh... Rizzler. Rizzler. Yeah, Dan yeah, Rizzler. Oh wait, what happened? Did I actually leave? No, I can't, dude. Uh oh. Stop leaving. All right, can everyone there. confirm they have ears and eyes? Ears and eyes, confirm. Everyone confirm they can use them. Lost... <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. My bad. Uh, everyone's ready to go, though? Yes. Okay, cool. Yep. <sighs> Sleepage. Don't yawn, you fucking casual. <laughs> Casual? I've been up for fucking 16 hours, brother. What do you mean? Just be... 16 hours. I remember my first beer. <laughs> At the beginning of the league, uh, in a 75-hour window, I was awake and rolling Harvest Beast for 71 of them. <laughs> to make, to make uh, the, the mirror things. What the fuck happened here? Oh. Right, that's ever a Croatian's excuse historically. We don't know. <laughs> no, the, well, sorry. When, when we're doing maps like this, though, um, these are the ones where you just let me like. Uh, sorry for uh, who's joining here, Rizzler and Poison. Um, if yeah. it's a layout that's non-linear, just follow me on those cases. Like uh, Museum was when we were encountering earlier, and like Museum, obviously people are going to spread out uh, in all sorts of directions. So if there isn't a clear linear path, then just uh, keep your mini map open and. and uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll direction relief. Um, aside from that, though, these are all just low-level white maps, uh, so there is little uh, in terms of damage that's necessary. Um, move speed, uh, I can move very, very fast. So uh, if anything, just try to keep pace. And if, uh, if you need a minute to adjust uh, to put on some better mobility skills or attack speed or anything like that, that's uh, completely fine. Just let us know. Uh, but once you I confirm, gotta... once you yeah, have, once you confirm, you know what's going on. Um, the entirety of the like the validity of this methodology is on the basis of us doing it with some regularity. So, uh, in between each one, like one minute tops to report to bottle, trade me the vulture, and we'll keep going. And if so, I have an infinite amount of currency that we can keep doing this with. Um, and so, the more we do it, the better our data set will be. So, uh, that's beneficial not only in the contemporary, but also will be the foundational information upon which uh, we begin the next league. So. Uh, it is relatively important. Um, back, 
Stop being serious for a sec. Uh, all of you are pieces of shit, and I hate each one of your uh, nations of origin. Now continue. <laughs> nations of origin, goddamn. Everything until that part I could deal deal with. <laughs> Ma. Okay, let's see. Uh, so do everyone do a check right now? Uh, Rizzler, I'll reinvite you in a second. Just got a sale. That was the third yeah, map. I got one primal. Um... Him one for you. Yeah. Okay, Rizzler's one, uh, and he's replacing Zero. Barnaby. Rizzler. Rizzler type stuff other. Oh, yeah. party. All right, so let me pull the data up onto my TV so I don't have to tab out. All right, we got uh, melancholy zero. Both apex zero. Uh, Body apex zero. Poison RF one. One. Yeah, pink section. This is very helpful. And gay. A one. One. Okay. And who's so, the last? Oh, it's okay. That's everyone. All right. Let me clear my own. Good, good reporting there. Well done, does. This one uh, sucks, eh? This memory. <laughs> oh, that was only the second memory, that's why. Oops. Oh. Sorry, the second map, my bad. That was the third one last time. Yeah, the last time that was our final map, I guess, because when you use the memory, it, uh, it chooses a random path, so I guess it just went. All good, all good. Okay, let's go. Rizzle. What was the I'm one thing I said? No, no, it's not acceptable. You have one map to adjust that. If you're that far behind again, I'm going to replace you. I was very explicit about that the last map. You needed a minute to address your move speed. Very straightforward about that. Like, they're, they, we're, these are, Rizzler, sorry to clarify, these are like tier 3, tier 1 white maps. In no way will you need any kind of defensive back eight, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it, it, if you need a minute to change your tree to stack attack speed or to put on Quicksilvers of whatever or whatever it is change anything like you can switch up to a fucking pure move speed set It'll be completely the same um, sure. But uh, yeah, the, the one thing that is the only two things you need are to be able to keep pace because there's a um, If a beast gets killed and you're outside of like two screen lengths away You won't get it which fucks up the data and it obviously also lowers the potential for net profit, right? Um, yeah, sure. I'll try to get some movement uh, Find some movement boots in my inventory uh, next time. Yeah, yeah Okay, so like the next one, just just so you know, like this is the, the last warning though. If you're outside on beast kill again, I'm gonna have to replace you. So, well, I'll give you I'll give you a minute between, but make sure you're. For some context, I have 221 percent move speed and a seven per, seven attack per second shield charge, so I can All move right. quite quickly. Uh, and definitely, if you're relying, like I know a lot of people use like. Play dash on those cooldown loot skills. Uh, make sure you're using one that is um, spammable, like whirling blades or shield charge or um, yeah, yeah. Beast here. Where is here? Oh shit! I thought that was the boss room. My bad. Oh, good thing too. That's a fucking bristle matron. Or actually, that might be a bramble bag. So this is the third map, right? This is the third map, yeah. So sorry, I'll just add it. If you guys got any beast there, let me know. I'll add it to the number you already gave me. Apologies. Uh, I got two, actually. Okay. I got none. Blood got two. Poison, I've got two. Melancholy, one. 
Poison RF two, uh, Poison RF two that map. Okay, three. Melancholy got one additional melancholy or total. Oh yeah, one. That, I, never mind. Total. I had zero before. Yeah. Okay. Right. Roger that. Brizzler. Uh, zero. Okay. So just one previous. Roger that. Thanks, guys. Okay. The memory being applied. Bottling my beast. Uh, Brizzler, you, you take as much time as you want, but just uh, uh, make sure make sure that you got it ready to go when you do say you're ready. Yeah. Sure. I'll um. I switched out my boots right now, and I'll get some rings for that uh, dash. I mean, you, you, if you just put on a fast, like a 1.6 uh, uh, attack speed claw, uh, a shield, and then put shield charge with faster attacks, like enhance, you'll be able to keep up. Alright. It, uh, it doesn't mean much. Uh, shield charge, as an FYI, is the best move speed. And if you don't have a lot of scaling with that, like our attack speed or whatever, because shield charge scales off the base attack speed of your weapon, your global attack speed modifiers, and your movement speed. Uh, so if you have like Onslaught and Haste, uh, those both double dip in terms of its mobility because it improves your attack speed and your move speed. Um, I don't really have chi shield charge right now, but I'm going to go buy real quick since I do have a shield. Okay. I mean, there's a Lily here right next to it. Yeah, oh, yeah, there is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Rizzle, young naive man. I just searched your name instead of shield charge. Okay, I shield. am retarded. Okay. <laughs> All right. I wish I was a doctor so I could say the same thing and instead of it being an insult or slur, it would have been an observation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not insulted. It's not a twitch. I'm, I'm, I should not be banned. It wasn't a slur, it was a diagnosis. <laughs> okay, there's shield charge. Do you have a faster attack? Yeah. Right. Do you have an enhance? And an onslaught gem? Or, or do, you have a, do you have a mage blood? No, I don't got a mage blood. Oh. Peasant. I hope this poverty yeah, doesn't rub off on me. Who, who's talking right now? Really, really uh, quiet. Uh, I'm not. Oh, dice. Okay. okay. But, like, I, oh, I, I know. You, I know you, dice. I remember you from the comments. What's going on, brother? Good. Um, so are you running low damage? Cause like I have this fucking character. I don't know. Are you running low damage or no? Uh, so I don't know what you're asking, dude. We're just trying to like we're just running because the harvest. You're in white maps and you want to be close to the beast. Like, are you, do you guys have low damage or? Do you oh yeah, no. I'm just telling him because I, I'm keeping pace because my move speed's so high. He's just not able to keep up right now. So I'm telling him if if he can't improve his move speed, I'm gonna replace him. So I'm just trying to give him stuff so he can move faster. I think, yeah, I think I should be good. And okay. if not, then you know I'll uh, give my spot to someone else. Yeah, well, you won't give it to someone else. I'll, I'm gonna forcibly remove you, shame you, and then you know, think what about do you mean what forcibly? you're doing. I'm willing. You. No, 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 no. We're not shifting narratives here. It needs to be punitive so you feel the shame. All right, fair. fair. <laughs> be shunned. <laughs> yeah, who's your favorite rapper, Big Shun? <laughs> uh, Nah, I'm just busting balls, but it, yeah, it, it is important, though, obviously, to keep to keep pace. And when there's people shifting in and out all the time, um, yeah, you just got You have to have like a clear set line of of universally applicable standards, and that way it's uh, smooth. Just be faster, god damn it! Things she's never said. All right. Uh, the thing is, too, Brizzler, in case you've never done these Harvest Memories before, uh, the Harvest be okay, the harvest Beasts are actually identifiable. So, like, they're a 3D model within the game. I can actually tell where they are when I see them. So, if people are far behind, um, I'll stop and, like, try to get you guys to catch up. So, uh, as you can see here, when I go, like, in full sprint mode, I'm obviously far ahead of you guys. So, right here, this is a Harvest Beast. So, I can stop yeah. and wait for you here. It's more so, like, that case that we have with Barnaby, where he's half a map behind trying to find us. Yeah. That, that That's the problem. So as long as you as long as you can kind of keep pace, I don't. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll wait for you guys to catch up to ki to kill the rares, but um, just yeah, that's fair. yeah that's just fair. don't be in a position where you're, uh, uh, you know, two screens behind and so far behind you don't even know which where, where, which direction to go. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, word. Otherwise, though, like let's see. once we get into a rhythm here and everyone understands what's going on, we can pump out a full memory once about every five minutes. Um, and again, based on the preliminary data that we have over, uh, you know, 15 of these or whatever, 
Um, it is averaging just over three beasts per uh, non-memory opening party member. Uh, to find out the average of that, obviously we just take the total amount of uh, harvest memory beasts, uh, find out the cost of each one, and then divide that by the total amount of beasts there are. Um, and it, but it would probably be pretty close to two point five to three divines per memory for each one of you guys, right? So, um, you know, the faster we do that, if we can pump these out every five minutes, that's even on your end. We're talking about thirty six to forty divines an hour that you guys can make doing this. So, it's in your best interest to uh, to keep pace too. Yeah. I guess so it doesn't I matter what that. I level, what area I level the beasts are in. Yep. Okay. So you're going to do the strategy in white maps, basically? Yes, it's actually better to do it in white maps because Krejcik Chimerals uh, have a low item level requirement to show up. But there's certain beasts, like not harvest beasts, but like the normal ones that show up, um, that have a minimum uh, item level requirement. And so the lower the lower level that you can run where... Oh, sorry, pause for a sec. Holy cow. Uh, where you can um, get chimeras to show up, and obviously on maps, I think it's upwards up until uh, I believe it's tier four maps. Uh, at, at tier four, then there's a new, which I think is item level seventy two. There's a new like a uh, uh, pool of beasts that get introduced, which obviously dilutes the the overall pool of beasts and makes it less likely to have a chimera. So tier four or below means that your uh, uh, is the optimal yeah, setting. I hope the tier 1 maps at least are good this time. I really hate the Atlas dispatch. Mm. Yeah, but I've yet to explore that myself. I only had 4,000 hours to play this league. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. I only got like 500 hours in this game. And that's All right, Cesar. So now I know that it's a clinical diagnosis. You go sit there and you divide 4,000 by 24 and tell me if you don't think that's a literal <laughs> number. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you played this? You played this league for 160 days? <laughs> I mean, technically, <laughs> if you consider knights. I may be a bit clinically retarded. I do have ADHD, so you know. Yeah, so do I. And the highest highest level that can be medically diagnosed. So <laughs> try to victimize yourself in a different way, bitch. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just. Maybe I'm just different kind of retarded, you know? No, no, it, it, it's true though. Like I, I, I get the difficulties of playing this game with ADHD. Um, Fuck, you know. I know that there's different ways in which sometimes you hyper focus on things, and sometimes it's hard to kind of gather around it. For myself, um, if I'm not like in like a group rotation like this, if somebody were else were running it, it would be like incredibly stressful for me uh, yeah. to try and micromanage what's going on with other people because it's like that uncontrolled variable. Uh, which is like why I, I tend to gravitate towards not positions of power, but where I, you know, ma managerial yeah. roles or, or whatever, because it's like a, it's a way for me to like kind of control that environment or at least shape it in a way that it's easier for me to interact yeah, with. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I don't use ADHD meds, but I use OCD meds. Like, oh, you'd be a lot better at the one. game if you did. <laughs> Pro probably, bro. I need that Ritalin, dude. But like, I mean, weed, bro. Weed is like, yeah, that's all I need. Oh yeah, oh, I mean, weed is probably counterproductive to ADHD. Uh, neurochemically, how ADHD works is the the firing of neurons in your brain uh, don't create dopamine as they would with a normal person. Dopamine is one of three pleasure receptors in your brain that is, uh, you know, the good uh, norepinephrine, uh, dopamine, and serotonin. Dopamine is like for task orientation. So even something simple like making your bed in the morning releases a small amount of dopamine, which uh, is why certain things become habituated because it tells you you're doing something good. The reason why people yeah. with ADHD are so categorically scatterbrained all the time is because the, the firing of neurons in their brain doesn't happen and build those bridges that would normally tell people that they're doing something that is productive, um, which is why every single ADHD medication supplements uh, dopamine. It doesn't matter if it's amphetamine based or not. Uh, some of them are not. Ritalin was actually developed initially for school children um, who are struggling with attention problems. Um, and so because of that, it was developed with a, a, a lapsed release time uh, that was conducive to a school day. Um, now, obviously, as ADHD or the understanding of, of the diagnosis evolved over time, um, people realized that, you know, having something that lasted for the framework of a four hour window while kids were at school was not only embarrassing for students because, you know, they would called like Belton, James Belton, please come to the nurse's office to take your medication. Uh, but also for adults, that was not conducive. So this is where Adderall then came into the picture, which is dextroamphetamine, uh, and it was meant to last an eight-hour window, which was, again, more, more so for a full day, where you didn't have to redose it. Um, yeah. As well, people would use it at work. Now, uh, Adderall, uh, originally, 
Um, there's a, they do have the XR. I got a vivid vulture. Oh, good. Uh, Adderall, when it was re originally, um, it had a high propensity for abuse because it would enter your bloodstream right away. So people, uh, because dopamine, um, uh, or, or any, I mean, any uh, amphetamine-based thing, like the chemical composure of, uh, you know, uh, dextroamphetamine or lisdex amphetamine, which is uh, Vyvanse, which has a, it's actually slightly different because it has a, a lysine molecule attached to it, which um, is a pro-drug, which means your body needs to metabolize the, um, the drug uh, for at least you know an hour, hour and a half before it'll enter your bloodstream. Because what was happening with Adderall was people were taking it for eight hours. And if you work in an office, for example, right, you take it at like say eight in the morning, by 4 p.m. it's worn off. So people would start snorting them because it could enter their bloodstream again. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. And then that's why they made Vyavans. Now you have things like Concerta that are, that's, that its chemical name is methylphenidate. So it's not amphetamine based, but the one universal thing that these all attract though is dopamine because it builds those bridges in the brain that allows for more meaningful connections for people that have um, actual ADHD. Now, obviously, there's certain people that just have, you know, I'm not saying that there's not necessarily an underlying mental illness there, but there are, you know, certain people that can be misdiagnosed with these things. It's somewhat of a subjective um, uh, diagnosis from whatever psychiatrist or mental health expert you're seeing. Um, and that's where problems tend to arise. But again, weed, though, for in a lot of cases, is actually probably counterproductive to the uh, uh, an underlying neurology of what you struggle with. Yeah, right, hold well, up. Cocaine, I need to, uh, on the other uh, hand. No, I mean, that's why, that's why I, I, that was, I've been to rehab three times for Coke. I used to, like, I, the first time I, I did Coke in my life was off the stripper's ass with the DJ named Afrojack. I used to organize <laughs> electronic music Good. concerts. And uh, it was like, it, it was the first time I did it, it was like I found home. You know, other people would get really um, chatty on Coke and I would be completely at peace. Um, yeah. You know, and, and, and exactly. I came to find out later yeah, on. Exactly. That, um, All right, hold up. I need to buy some uh, chaos. I'll give you the vivid vulture after that, since I'm all out of chaos. Jesus uh, Christ, is this the fucking UN? Here's for it. Let's see, uh, just I, I want everyone to know this is where my 25 cents a day are going to United with. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I, I expect to get a Christmas photo of you with a little bloated belly and a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, guys. Uh, okay. How many uh, vultures was this? Uh, sure uh, let me see. I saw I got, match, I got so. three. Nice. That was actually, that was a really good uh, memory. Or I got uh, three, uh, in that one I got three vultures and three bristle matrons. Damn. So that's a uh, 19 divine memory on my end, plus two vultures from you guys. 29 divines off that memory. Sick. The last two of them, I got zero, though. There was not a single good one, so it levels out over time. Um, blah, blah, blah. Are you doing the Excel chart? Yeah, I am. I'm just entering the stuff first. Sorry, get, get me talking about ADHD meds, and you'll see why I'm on ADHD meds. <laughs> <laughs> There's two people who know about the chemistry of, of drugs very well, and it's addicts and chemists. <laughs> All right, um... Rizzler. All right, so sorry. Can somebody read out to me the the, the values you uh, tried? Bot Apex three, Poison RF one, Melancholy two, Is Gay two. Rizzler uh, didn't say anything. Uh, increased area effect, powerful minions, Crimson Flock, and Patriot Plight. Shut the fuck up! What kind of data is that? I want a <laughs> number. <laughs> Jesus. Number. There is no number. Hey, hey, Timmy, how are you liking the fucking fair? I like turtles. Nice to see <laughs> that you're doing well. <laughs> Look at the group chat. Everybody else put a number. These little goddamn it. I feel like I want to kick you from the group, but I feel like it'd be a hate crime at this point. <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can do that, right? Which... No, I'm, I'm just I'm busting balls, dude. I remember the, okay. This is why I explicitly asked you understand. Okay, this is actually the last time, though, Rizzler. I know we're clowning around here, but come on. You've confirmed it a couple of times now that you understand what's going on. If you don't, ask questions. But if you say you understand, make sure you understand. So this rejects right here. You type that into your beast window, beast area. And when you do that, it'll show uh, the beasts that are from harvest. If it's vivid vulture, you give it to me. Otherwise, you get to keep it. But I do need to know how many of them there are. Because what we're tracking is how many harvest beasts are average on average showing up for a member of this group. Okay? So I don't need to know the names. I just need to know the number. If there's not a vivid, if there's a vivid vulture, I need to know that. But if there's not, I just need to know the total number of beasts. One vivid and one primal. Okay, last time I'm going to say it, I need to know the no total number of beasts. 
All right. Yeah, sorry. I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> I have one number. I don't care what class. One number. Uh, two. Two. Okay. And you traded me a Vivid Vulture? Yeah, I'll trade you one. Right so you did get a Vivid Vulture? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> so for each of those beasts, you're going to want to use the bestiary orb. Take it out. Right. Give him any vultures. All right, Rizzler, Rizzler, Rizzler seriously, though, they, like... If, 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 if we're doing one more memory, I'm not saying a word. If you don't do it, prescribe to this. I love you, and I'll help you get better. But I'm gonna instantly replace you. Okay? Yeah. Not, I can't. Not the day, okay. okay. Anyway, hate crimes. Anyways, <laughs> what, what's the extra chromosome like? I'm <laughs> oh, just kidding, buddy. No, it's cool, man. Like I understand this is not like a normal way of playing. Uh, and so if, it, if it's foreign to you, it's, it's obviously probably a little bit overwhelming. Um, yeah, but totally get that. It, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not a, a malicious thing. It's just, uh, for the sake yeah, of the collective, we need to keep pace here. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so, I so Rizzler, your total was two or three on that last one? Uh, two. Uh, you, you mean Primal Wild? Yeah, two. I'm, yeah, last one actually one. Sorry. Okay. Fuck, dude. <laughs> How many total beasts did you get for, in our last memory? You traded me one vivid vulture, and how many remaining? He says, he says last memory, and that's including the last three maps. Our yeah, last three maps, two. Okay. Okay, Joe. Was that the underlying information you're missing? Each memory is three maps total. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and you only say number after those three maps. Yes, I'll oh, say. Okay. okay. So every time we start, I will say bottle. Right. When there's three maps is done, I'll say bottle and report. Right. So that means okay. what you do at that point is you use the the things where you bottle each beast. Take all of them out so it doesn't stay in your bestiary. And then if there's a vulture, you trade it to me. And then you tell me the total number of them. Understand? Yeah. Okay, Understand. got it. Cool. So right now your bestiary should have none of those beasts in it, right? Yeah, definitely. They don't have any of them. Cool. Okay, good. It's okay, we're not angry. See, this is why bullying is, should be brought back to schools. Through shame, <laughs> we improve people. I, I, I can't remember where it was like originally said, but I, it was a meme for a while, and it was like, some of you have never been punched in the face before, and it shows. <laughs> the, the first thing that comes to mind every time I read Reddit, or like somebody gets like all salty, where they're like, hey, Belton, can you help me crafting this? I'm like, yeah, sure, and I tell them, and they get like upset about it. Like, I'm like, you did it wrong. They're like, fuck you, man, you fucking asshole narcissist. I'm like, dude, you asked me a question, I'm answering it. It's like, every time I just want to fight, like, we need to bring bullying back. <laughs> There's too many. Oh my fucking god, Sanctum, god damn it. Alright. I hate that it just sucks you fucking in immediately. I was thinking the same goddamn thing. That shit needs to be. <laughs> that shit needs to. Right. I, mean, I mean, not anymore, but like, you know. If Sanctum no, ever comes to no, court. That's funny, because your girlfriend right. loves it when she sucked him in. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, this is mapped up. Where the fuck. Oh, it's down that way. Sorry. It's top left, I think. That was a weird layout. Normally, it cycles, it, it, uh, circles to do itself. No, I'm, gl I'm glad you're being a good sport, though, uh, Rizzler. <laughs> yeah. I mean, terrible player, but good sport. Definitely. What <laughs> to say you're a fucking slow, man? <laughs> No, but it's, yeah. you know, it, it's, there's never, I never have a problem with somebody uh, who needs help, who asks for help. The only time I ever get frustrated and will, like, remove people is when I'm like, all right, do you understand everything? Yes or no? You can take as much time as you need. But, like, once you say yes, the expectation is that's yes. Right? And I know a lot of people that's like, they just want to say yes because they're worried about holding a group up or whatever. I don't care if you hold the group up. I just, I need to be kept with the appropriate information. Um, and so... If there is ever anything that's confusing, then it, there's an equal chance perhaps I'm just not explaining it properly. I'd rather you do understand. Um, but once you say you understand and you actually don't, that surpasses just in-game stuff. And that's you just, you know, disrespecting the question. Uh, yeah. that, you know what I mean? And so yeah. for that reason, as well as the efficiency side, it's like uh, as long as you're straight with where you're at, never a problem. But the second, um, you know... Uh, you're given the opportunity to, to state things in, in a transparent way. And, and I'm not saying you specifically, but in a broad sense, and someone decides not, makes a conscientious decision to lie. 
uh, then they should be treated in kind, which is, you know, if uh, if I'm not worthy of your respect and time, then uh, you're not worthy of mine. All right. Yeah. All right, let's go back to making fun of each other. <laughs> That's the trail. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go for now, but uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for letting me hang. Nice to meet all of you guys. Is that who's, who's, sorry, who's speaking right now? Toki. That's Toki. Okay, cool, brother. Yeah, it was good chatting with you, dude. Toki, man. Likewise. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, some dude, uh, maybe like uh, breathe through your nose uh, and get some oxygen in your brain when he's talking like that. It'll help. <laughs> <laughs> catch you later, guys. All right, peace. All right, let me open YouTube now. What up, YouTube? What are viewer count? Um, oh, you know, my YouTube view count's always low. But I kind of like that about YouTube. It's a lot less stressful. Uh, and YouTube's a much better platform with respect to freedom of speech and overbearing. And, um, you know, I, I don't make any money from streaming on YouTube. My, like, my, my YouTube streaming literally is not monetized at all. I feel like, at all. Uh, so I, I can listen to music. Um, you know, I can kind of say what I want. I don't have to worry so much about subs and, and stuff like that. And so, uh, it's just a lot more of a relaxed environment for me in that respect. But, um, you know, the, the primary form of interacting with PoE in most games in general is through Twitch, right? Like, you're never going to get hosted by anyone on YouTube. People aren't generally going to YouTube browsing to see who they can watch at that time. Um, it's mostly through... Uh, people that are exposed already. Uh, <laughs> Come back, sorry. Uh, but I, I'm fine with that. Like, uh, with respect to like people, people are always like, "Hell, that you could attract way more viewers or whatever." I, I. Obviously, it's important to me that what I'm doing is um, is moving directionally. Like you know, like if if I'm trending in the right direction, that's that's affirmation enough that I'm doing fine with the content. Uh, it's far more important to me to build a community, um, the right community, over than the big community. You know what I mean? Uh, if like if my jokes or my abrasiveness or my behavior or the duration of my videos scares away certain people. Um, even though, uh, you know, uh, in a short term sense of monetary reward, that might be like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. That's not the way I see it. Because what's, I think, more important to long term success in this and in a lot of things is your ability and your consistency to stay with that long term, right? And if I use a surface level or vapid metric of, um, you know, judging whether or not I'm doing well, such as the success of a fucking, you know, how to make currency guide within a one week framework, and I completely disregard the fact that, it, by making videos like that, I get people who are playing the first three days of the game that are going to sit there and inundate me, asking me, you know, how can they check the rate of chance orbs or what my league starter build is going to be, and they ask me that fucking six times a day for three months to the point that I don't want to play the game anymore, and I get stressed and anx anxious, versus, you know, if I slower, if there's a slower organic growth, but the people that are there understand the, the good intention with, behind what I'm doing and, you know, are, are mature enough... Um, or, or at least are ambivalent enough to, to let me be myself because I, I let them be themselves, right? And, uh, oh, here's a vulture. And uh, I'd much rather build, um, you know, a community that is grounded in the second sort of, uh, you know, paradigm or sort of zeitgeist outlook or wherever than um, the first one uh, because I think that, that way leads madness. And uh, I think the one thing that I've noticed because I've played this game for like 10 years uh, so I've, I've seen people come and go content wise. I've seen why they've quit and why they haven't. And, you know, I think for a lot of people, the reason why, you know, they play the league for like two weeks and then they quit and do something else is because they just can't deal with like the, the community they built around themselves. Um, it's why like people that love crafting have crafters. People why, who love trading have traders. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, even people like Path of Math who, who I like, you know, <clears throat> Um, who told me like, you know, he, he, he used to watch me when he was learning and he became like so proficient at it and he loved doing it. Uh, he couldn't do his content on that anymore because there were too many people who were watching. And so he had somebody who was doing his trading for him off screen. And it's like, I would never want to be in a position where I've created 
a community around myself um, where I can't actually do, you know, present the core competency of why I have that channel in the first place by virtue of my short sightedness. Um, so I understand that a lot of people, a lot of the criticism comes through uh, people that don't have obviously that long term outlook on it. And uh, not that I don't understand, I just don't care. Yeah, to those that matter, they won't care. And to those that care, they don't matter. really doesn't like this map. Where are you from? <laughs> All the other maps were fine, but it's not like uh, bad rubber banding. It's just like the door mm. in the boss room. That's about it. Okay, uh, report. Bottle and report. Uh, uh, two. Any vultures? Yeah, one. I'll bottle that up and uh, yeah. I'll or take it. That's that's always the priority one is the vulture. That's the reason why I'm doing this. And then I need to know the overall beast. Yeah. So. You don't mind if I, uh, you know, go sell my uh, div, right? Since um, I ran out of those uh, beast thingies. I don't know. What you're I talking. can sell you chaos. Yeah, it's just. Oh, you can. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just, just um, I can uh, just two hundred for one dev. Two hundred. Fine. Yeah. Now I'll go buy. Those things real quick. One second. Uh, so what's your in game? A Rizzler Fang. There we go. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. That is an right. exceptionally low count across the board. You guys also listening to um, some music while playing? Uh, I don't know. No, const constantly berating you guys is enough stimuli for me. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. I'm just <laughs> to uh... Some metal, low, low volume. You know that background ambience. Yeah. You do you, man. All right. As long as it's not preventing you from uh, hearing me you know, when we're doing. No, this. definitely not. It's um, your volumes at like 150 for me, and my uh, Spotify volumes at like 10 percent. How can how can this guy, I, a Russian guy, I, he asked me to buy something. I said, how many do you want? And he replied in Russian, I said English. And he replied, I don't understand English. How do you understand I don't understand English? And then trade and not understand how many. Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yes, bleep. Man, you guys are great. Stop. Stop, continue. <laughs> <laughs> I overall like the uh, Path of Exile community. Cool. I, I think I my experience when you chat with people like this they're great. Oop. Um, dealing with people on forums like Reddit or through Twitch chat, oh, yeah. uh, a lot gets Reddit. lost in care. The one thing with PoE that's somewhat unique, I think, to to many games, uh, is that you have a global community playing on one server, and so there's a lot of um, cultural or uh, communicative issues that don't necessarily translate well over text, right? Um, you know, like if I talk to someone who's like from um, Singapore and I'm like, hey, what's up, you fucking peasant? And like, you know, some people are like, oh, my God, like, what did I do? You know, or like I've had people message me before, like, I'm really sorry, man. I'm like, dude, like <laughs> I make fun of people I like, like you're my homie. They're like, oh, I thought you hated me. I'm like, no, you know, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. I just call my friend artists, retards, and they call me retards. And it's all fun. Well, you're allowed to because it's your in group. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna call a random dude like 
fuck, fucking retarded and shit. Like, no, no, I, I was making, I was making a joke that like you know how black people could call each other the N word. That's why oh, you could. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> God, I'm fucking retarded. That shit flew over my head. <laughs> well, I mean, you kind of laughed too hard at that joke, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> just a little bit too hard. Just, just, a, just a smidge too hard. That's alright. If you can't laugh at yourself, what do you got? Okay, I got two vultures there. That's good. Nice. <clears throat> it's funny because at this point, this isn't necessarily just... I mean, aside from, there's sort of a three-pronged way, which is beneficial. The data collection uh, for myself to craft... Um, oops, and, uh, sorry, the financial benefit, and also, uh, it's very much like an existential need to do this right now. Like, it's literally impossible. There are not enough vultures or any of these beasts available to do any kind of meaningful crafting, and which is sort of interesting because I don't think I've ever played a league before. Like, when they announce the new league, there's always, like, a window before the previous league ends, and people tend to, like, craft or go after whatever is being changed, right? So in this case, like, plus one arrow is being removed, right? Um, or onslaught on hit or, and shit like that. And, um, you know, the fact that there's, like, literally no way to craft these right now, it's, like, the, the sheer act of taking the time to do this could, it could be, like, so game-breakingly impactful. So it's, it's good that yeah. you guys are here. Um, okay, so numbers, again, were zero for everyone but bot. Oh, no. Uh, yes. Uh, zero for everyone except me, yeah. Sorry, Rizzler, what was yours? Uh, mine was uh, two. Two. And I got three on that. Yeah, and I already, I already got the vulture from you, right? Yeah. It's also like good to be here since like uh, none of my friends uh, play this league anymore. Really? So you know, oh, always yeah. fun playing with people. Honestly, I was done with the game for like like last week, but I saw he needed help and nobody was replying, so I was just like, "Fuck it, why not?" Mm -hmm. And now, despite his best intentions, I sit here and patronize him about how he needs my help. Yeah, I'm just here to soften y'all skulls yep. a little bit with my uh, autistic presence. Yes. Well, you're not. You're just. You're filling out my uh, diversity uh, quota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think it's all fun in games until I put you into a commercial for my stream. We donate twenty five percent of our profits to the retarded. Well, I better save the money than sometime. God damn it. Yeah, I better, I better get that cash. <laughs> I mean, I need to go buy myself a shield line. charge gem, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here supplying people with chaos because they're fucking broke and I'm broke. I got them. Mm -hmm. Hello. I once again ask for your financial support. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Bernie Slanders. <laughs> I am once again asking for your vivid vultures. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go yet. To be honest, though, man, you should be asking to lose your V as well. <laughs> right? Yep. And go, go, Power Rangers. Fear Lord, I like that name. If I ever had a title as a dictator, I would like it to be that. You are well for the end. <laughs> Hello, Mr. President. That's Fear Lord. Damn, the shield charge is very fucking nice. It's Land? clunky on some maps, but on maps like this, it's fun. Yeah. The did you know that this was a fine capture? No, I did not. <laughs> well, now you do. Yes, this is actually my first league in like two years. Bro, what's with the people and coming back this league? Like, I don't know. I just uh. Mostly because I've been busy as fuck, you know. But like mm. now I'm like, finally I can play again. I started uh, again like three months ago, two months ago. I don't remember. I mean, three months ago was this league start or four now? Oh yeah, well two months then. Yeah. Are we talking about how prematurely we were born or what? I actually oh. was born prematurely, like oh, really? uh, 20 days. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, 20 days is not it's premature, bro. It's three weeks early. Less than three weeks. I mean, it is early, but it's not like a... Yeah. You wouldn't have to be put in, like, an incubator or anything like that. My brain isn't too damaged. 
No. Just a bit. Well, in fact, I think past the age of like 25, you, you start to experience a uh, neurological deterioration, don't you? Fucking sanctum. So I, I would think, good. based on how old are you? I'm 18, I'm turning 19. Yeah, I was going to say, based on your voice, you sound like you're 125. So you're probably the only one in the chat right now who has not experienced neurological damage. <clears throat> Yet. Hello? Well, how old do you think I am? Uh, I, I don't know, with a conversion rate, like 60? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what on? Uh, no, like, I don't know, 35, 40? What? Actually? I, but I don't know. I, honestly, all you sound like to me is the gardener. You sound 25 to me. Wait, aren't they Mexican? Aren't they Mexican? No, I don't know. Aren't you the Mexico of Europe? No. <laughs> We're the LA of Europe. Say what you want to say. Oh, nice. Bunch of shitty child molesters. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I loved, do you guys remember, I don't know if you were here when the whole TFC thing was going down. I was explaining why people like streamers, even if they were responsible for RMT, why they wouldn't speak out against TFT. And I used an analogy of like the relationship that celebrities and politicians have to Jeffrey Epstein. I was like, where there's a very obvious guilty party and people that maybe necessarily weren't necessarily involved in the actions, but because, you know, that's a big person who held parties all the time, knew all their friends, they would have interacted with him. Right. And I was like, if they are guilty, obviously they're not going to say anything because then they, you know, it, it brings attention to them and frames them through with the reference of that person's behavior. And I was like, and if they're innocent and they start saying things to defend him, it makes it seem like they're covering their own ass, right? And I was like, so either th either way, I was like, if people speak about Jeffrey Epstein, um, in the same way that if people speak about TFT, whether they're defending themselves or not, um, it's a lose lose situation for them. So I was like, I don't expect anyone to because there's nothing for them to gain from it. And then TFT took that out and used it and reported me for calling them. And Imp Empyrean, MP, came into my Discord and messaged me. He's like, I heard you call me a pedophile. I was like, how the fuck is that what people took away from that conversation? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry. We are now. I'm going to have to dip after this uh, memory. Thank God. That's so all right. We'll take, we'll take a five minute break after this one then. So I can have a cigarette um, and uh, take some more Advil based on... My preparation for Grizzlers questions. God, I wish I had cigarettes right now. I only have snus. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't have that either, God damn it. <laughs> I thought that were we talking about personality again or? Uh, both. <laughs> Charisma Black Hole. Can I join yet? You can join, Jex. Uh. Should... Zero beast from me. That's okay, it's not done. What'd you say? We have another map. Uh, two oh, beasts for me. That, no. Listen! Okay, no. sorry, 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 sorry. I fucked up. I was talking to Riz. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Fuck. I, uh, that should be shit five minute break. I was like, oh, is No, I said after this break? memory. Each memory is three mapped. If you guys need me to call out one, two, and three, I'm sorry for assuming that this was a, a numerical undertaking that all of you could accomplish, but I will do so. Huh. I will be your human abacus. Can you please say that again, but slowly? <laughs> hey, can you say it in caveman terms, please? I, I don't quite understand. <laughs> zog Zog, number one good. <laughs> 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 me play RF. Me watch Big Duck's video. Oh, me heist. Chaos Orb good. James, League start build. Who's that Wookie? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank okay, you. now I understand. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's alright, I've been taking some uh, foreign language classes. Well, they're paying out. Hell yeah, they are. Big beast here. Yeah, it's either a matron or a rambleback. Or if I still have zero after this one, I'm gonna be just disappointed. In well, you're, if you're gonna capture them, it's usually gonna be. Uh, if you guys weren't aware of this, there's nine total beasts. The first map only drops two, the second map is three, and the fourth map is four. So you're, if you don't have one after the first two, there's still almost twice as many beasts to come. The third map is where the the vast majority of uh, total beasts will come from. Hmm. Good to know. 
Play Nottaville. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we had one vulture through the course of those three. I got two beasts, two but beasts? no vultures. Uh, yeah. Just type in checks, it's easier for me to... Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. just to look at that. Let me know when you write it so I can leave party, so there's a slot. Okay, yeah, yeah that, this is bot speaking, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, bot, you're good. Two? I'm gonna leave party. Okay, thanks, bot. I gotcha. Yo, can I join? Yep. Okay, we got one from... Uh, who's who's uh I, I don't know who's speaking though that's uh, jex jex okay yeah it message me in game my uh, character name is discharge goat uh boys i'm gonna leave you for now but uh i'll be back later sounds good homie see ya Here. that was fun buddy take care uh okay so jex uh oh, you're not in party yet uh, i'm not in party yet i need you to dm me so i get your name uh, uh, talking in A20 global chat. Well, this is the perfect time for me to go take a piss. Alright. Beer beep. Okay. Can I reload on some of these? Uh, the guys that just joined, you, you're familiar with the board in? Running three maps and trading you vultures and what were the other ones? Uh, we, uh, so I need you to clear your bestiary each time after every three memories. I'll say bottle and report. And then just let me know how many total beast harvest beasts you got uh, using this rejects here. All right. Where is the chat? Two seventy seven ping is not bad from Asia. We're doing we're doing white uh, white tier one to tier three maps. It's not like it's as long as you can keep pace with me. That's that's all. If, if you're lagging too badly to, to keep pace, uh, then we'll have to re replace. But otherwise, you don't need to do anything. Damage is not needed. Defenses are not needed. None of, none of that. Oh, shit. I don't have any chaos. Somebody, do any of you have chaos? I can buy for divine. I have to, because I have to bottle nine beasts each memory. So I'm bottling nine times as many as you guys. So I didn't uh, account for that, actually. I can go buy like 10 div work. Here, actually, because I want to have a cigarette, so why don't I, let me give you one of you guys a divine, and you, or actually give you two divines. Can you grab two divs of chaos for me uh, while I smoke, and then I'll bottle those when I get back and get going? Uh, who, who is that? Buy a bunch. Sorry, who's that speaking? It's uh, anything, anything? Whatever. Okay. Thanks. whatever my name is. Yeah, yeah. No, just the, uh, it's hard to connect the uh, the voices to who, who's speaking again. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Um... 429. Just need to re invite whenever I get done. Yeah, gotcha. If people will trade me chaos. Yeah, chaos should be pretty easy to get. It's actually really easy. I find chaos to be the easiest thing to sell, like to if you put up a sell order. It's just I get overwhelmed with the amount of people that hit you up at once because everything funnels towards the cheapest price, right? 
So you're never just going to have one person message you to buy chaos. If someone's messaging you to buy chaos, it's 50 people are messaging you to buy chaos. Because everyone, the confluence of... Yeah. Uh, what's your uh, go-to brand on cigarettes, Belton? I'm Canadian, you wouldn't know them. Uh, I rotated you out for one rota uh, for Necro um, Rizzler, so you can set up uh, uh, set up the, sh the shit you need to change to keep pace. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing these all day. We're going to be doing them infinitely, so don't worry about the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever, but because uh, I, I know you had to change up some shit, so that will give you some time to do that. Alright. Uh, do I'm just buying a couple more memories while we have this break here. And I... We've been going for like three and four. I've got a bunch. Uh, well, not a bunch bunch, but... What are we talking about? Sorry? Memories. Oh, buying. you do? Yeah, I'll buy them. Uh, sorry, uh, again, though, when you say I, I or me, I, I, I need to in-game name. I don't know who's talking. The Necro guy. Necro, okay. You guys can invite me back to group. Right, uh, whoever's party leader, just promote me. I actually got enough. Uh, I just got chaos change buying the memory, so I'll have it up to the bottle. How many do you have, Necro? Sorry? How many, sorry, how many memories did you see you could tell me? I've got nine right now. Oh, you have nine? Okay, so you have all of them. This uh, chaos is not going very well. That's fair, I got it already. We don't need it. Oh, okay. Let me get the memories out. Sure. You will have lots of vivid vultures by the end of this. Yeah, well, we've done uh, <clears throat> I've been, I think we've done about 15 or so, roughly, and I've got uh, 29, um, nice. which is more more than are available on the entire market. I, I got, I'm willing to. I don't know how familiar you guys are with my. Like when I when I set my mind to something, I will literally do it for like a hundred hours until I get what I want. Uh, so I, I'm probably for for those of you who want to be here, I will do this until it's not feasible to do it anymore. Which will largely be dictated by my currency. But people have been messaging me to buy these other beasts the whole time. 
uh, like for the Divine Age, by the way. Oh yeah, sorry to not mention that. Wild Hellions are a Divine Age. I've got message for them six times. So those are the ones, part of the ones that you guys are keeping. So for every Hellion Alpha you've got, those are a Divine. Uh, what else was I getting a message for? Wild Hellion Alpha for one Divine. Uh, Hellion Alpha and Bristle Matrons for over a Divine too. So those, those ones are obviously liquid enough to even be selling at this point. So for each one of those, straight up div. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, you want your two div back? No, no, I, I counted that in the price of the. Uh... Oh, oh, good. So I, I give you five. They're they're five point one to five point three each, and I knew you had the two divs still, so I just put forty five for the nine. So it was forty five point two or whatever. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, no. you keep it because uh, I pay you forty seven for the nine of them, which is five point two for each one. Uh, but I gave you 45 in that last transaction because you already did two. Uh, not that I care about the two divines, just for the sake of for like <laughs> extending this process as much as we can. Uh, 9 plus 12, 21. Okay, so I have 19. I, 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 I alone have 41 divines worth of just matrons and alphas from this. Which is actually pretty nuts. So, not including vultures, there's like... Um, are you gonna are you gonna set up a Discord channel so we can fill rotas for uh, Einhar's memory and then just like pump out like, uh, the beast? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, are you in my guild or no? No, I'm not in your guild, oh, okay. but I'm in your Discord. Yeah, no, I, I do all that stuff through guild. Um, we have a pro like a guild channel, and uh, I wouldn't Online. like I, I'm not TFE. I don't present myself as a community tool. Um, if there's people that want to rota beast, I'm going to bring them in the guild and use that to funnel into mirror crafting and split sharing the currency there, which is our guild function. Um, it would be directly opposed to my interest to have it set up as a universal channel, but I'm being transparent about that. <laughs> That's also not the intention of the Discord, though. Um, but early on, I'll have uh, the officers in my guild, which are like equity members in crafting projects. Right? We do like distribution of tasks. So like I do the crafting and the currency stuff and like other people, like I'll funnel money to them. Like I'll buy the memories and then five of them or six of them will run it at once. Then they'll give me the vultures um, and like we'll get two groups doing that. And then that way I can just craft in perpetuity. That's how I was able to pump out a mirror worth of, uh, or five, sorry, five mirror items the first week of sleep. Um, okay, I'm going to go for that cigarette now and we'll get started. Okay, guys? Yep, sure. Cool.
Yo, can you guys go? Can you guys invite me when I go buy this shield charge? Oh, maybe I have one. I want a shield charge with the rest of you. I have no clue if you were uh, serious or not. No, no, that's serious. I get, I, I uh, get a shield charge with you guys. That's what we're doing, right? Is shield charging? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that you're memeing me. These are my shield, shield charge shenanigans. No. No, I want a shield charge too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's be, fun. Then I could be cool with you guys. <laughs> Gotta replace my... Uh, what a uh, movement speed modifier do you have at max? Oh man, um, which tab is it under? I always forget. It's at defense. M? Where's the M's? Movement speed, ninety-seven. Nice. I don't we know if that's a... good or bad, but it'll it work. It is. Yeah, I got a <clears throat> one hundred three max. Nice. So. It'll it'll work with the shield charge. I got the shield charge now. Good, good. Very nice. It feels slower. Oh, wow. Sorry guys, just to, yeah, to heads up, I'm making a coffee as well, so I'm going to be, uh, in case anyone wants to um, go to the bathroom or do whatever, I'm probably going to be about uh, eight or nine more minutes. Yeah, sure. Can someone invite me back to the party? I'm not in the party, unfortunately, so. Rip. Yeah, I don't know if uh, any of these muted people are. Yeah, Sorry. what was your name though? It was like anything. Eight hundred characters. I'm sorry. What's your name? I'll I'll PM you. Oh, there you go. Thanks so much. All right, now I'm going to need an invite back in. What's your name? One moment. Oh, I was... I messed that up. I was uh, going to type in group before I did that. Oh, I should be up there above, though. Uh, melancholy. And I received, thank you. So what are you guys playing next week? Uh, or are you playing? Not sure. Not sure yet. We'll see uh, the, what the uh, new build guides are going to be. Should be pretty good. But not sure yet. I really want to try, um... What the hell was her name? Duelist? I think. Nice. I haven't, haven't played that class ever, so... Yeah, I told but myself you... I wasn't going to look at anything for next league until I finished challenges. And I'm 39 out of 40 and hating life. I just, That's fair. Uh... 
I don't do that stuff. I just, you know, just yeah, I you're try doing, not to. You're doing it right. <laughs> You're doing what a sane person ought to. Let's have fun with it. I'll make some tea while we wait. Sure thing. Oh.
goodbye. Goodbye, whoever that guy who left. I don't. I don't remember. I'm not gonna lie, my brain cells might be dying. <laughs> That's not have, good. I don't think they're coming back. I've drank pretty heavily two days straight. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's fine. Your poor brain. Nah, my brain's already fucked up enough as it is. <laughs> Alcohol ain't gonna make much of a difference, <clears throat> if I'm gonna be honest. But that's why I usually don't play Path of Exile when I'm drunk, so I don't gamble all my cards. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking wasted. I'm like, hey, I could make a headhunter with this one doctor card. Nope. <laughs> I could not. You could sell it for, uh... And Einhar Memories and farm them for Vivid Vultures and... Yeah. Take your profits and, you know... <laughs> Gamble more. Gamble more. But no, that did not happen. Unfortunately, I fucking bricked that shit. <laughs> uh, guys, who are we waiting for? Yeah, we're waiting for Belton. a Belton. He's making oh, coffee. Okay. Oh, alright. Uh, are you guys still in the party? No, yeah. I... I was buying and selling things while people were AFK, so I'll need an invite eventually. Yeah, same. M Melancholy could use an invite again as well. Well, I'm sure when he comes back. We'll figure it out. Yup. Alright. Ready, boys. Start with that. Alright. I, uh, got my, uh, movement fixed. Me thinks. Bought some, uh, better boots. And skill gems. Which is, uh, nice. Uh, I got a report. Okay, Isge is a 1. Need a reinvite. This is Mecro. Yeah, same unless it's full. Then you know, I'll wait. Melancholy was one. Poison RF. 
two. Put in chat. Oh shit! What happened to the group? Everyone leave? Yeah, I uh, was buying memories and. I just got a hundred and fifty so. divine fee, guys. Nice. Damn. That's a lot of divines. Hey, YouTube, YouTube, we're getting 150 divines here. I feel like this guy thinks that the fucking ring is costing him a hundred. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah. You might as well accept it. Did somebody say they were leaving? Uh, okay, alright, so we can get, uh, what's his name back in here? Where's he at? Rizzler? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Let me, uh, send you a message. <laughs> I got some, uh, movement boots, some movement skill gems. I should have more mobility now. Alright, sorry about the break there, guys. I, just, I had to enter a couple of DMs when I was inside, dude. Nah, it's fine, dude. Uh, it's a
Both the, uh, yeah, both the harvest beasts are good. Did I uh, keep up a little bit better? Yeah, yeah, you're good there. Hello. Perfect. Thanks, bud. Yeah, no problem. You know what's funny too is I'm not even using my speed quicksilver. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is good. Wait. We are friends now. One, two, three, four, five. We're good. We got all the harvest beasts here. Oh, I think it's a vulture, vulture. Vulture. You don't have to worry about the boss on this map, it takes too long. These are like tier twos yeah. anyway. Uh -huh. Yeah, and the boss uh, makes me like the rooms trying to enter them, makes me rubber band for some reason, I don't know why. Just to remind you that if you die in a tier one white map. <laughs> if I die in a tier one white map, I'm gonna. <laughs> Don't even need to finish mind. that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, good. That was a good memory there, boys. Uh, just check for your. Uh... Okay, so bottle and report. Move on. Someone explain to well, I enter this stuff and just type to pharmacy how it works. But it's not a guarantee. You just need to know a number. Uh, we're supposed to report. I got one uh, wild hellion alpha. I, I don't. I don't need to know what you got. I, unless it's a vulture, I just need to know the number. Um, because we're tracking here. If you look at my YouTube in a sec, I've got. A, we're doing um, the amount of beasts that drop in a full group what the average is for uh, people that are participating in the memory that didn't open it themselves because that way we can calculate the based on the average price of beasts for next league whether or not it's better for people to individually run memories or to uh, split farm it's like early on for yeah it's just data collection so that being said uh, the vultures I, I'm taking on a financial sense 
but for data purposes at the end of each map or at the end of each uh, memory, I'll say bottle and report. Uh, I need everyone at that point to take the um, bestiary orbs and bottle the harvest beasts that they have using the rejects I typed there. And then just tell me the number, the, the total number uh, of all wild, primal, and whatever, because that will be the amount of harvest beasts that dropped. I got it. And you just want us to trade us the vivid. Trade just, yeah, the just trade me vivids, and, and then I need to know the overall number. So, Melancholy got one. Can somebody read me the numbers here? Melancholy has one. Rizzler has one. Isge has two. Necro has one. Necro, oh, sorry, who did Necro replace? Poison RF? I have no idea. Well, Poison RF is no longer the party, correct? Hello? I, yeah, is there I someone in our party with the name? I'm, I'm tabbed out. Is someone in our group named Poison RF or no? Nope. No. Okay, there, that's all I need. Hit Necro. Uh, sorry, what did Necro get? One. One. And Bot, how many did you get again? Uh, he is gone. Farmaka got one. Okay. And nobody got any vivid ultras? Nope. Yep. Nope. Perfect. Well done. That was a quick little report. Yeah, the faster we get that process done, like that that's uh uh that's gonna be where our efficiency kinda comes in. So the quicker we get at that, we can bang these out like every four minutes. Practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Some, or you know, just born perfect like me. You know, like me. Only two kinds of opinions: the wrong one and mine. Can't leave for this two deep trade. Uh, you can leave. You can if you need to make. Actually, we can do that uh, at the end of each memory. If you need to go trade, just say so. And uh, I, I yeah. don't need two deep. At the end of the league like this, uh, it's uh, pretty bare bones sometimes out there, so I try and get all of them when I can. I have like, I think 121 tabs of stuff for sale, uh, and I've made sure to go through on anything that's over like two or three divines to make sure I'm like lowest on market, right? And I'm still, past couple of days, it's been like, I get trade messages like once every three hours. I was lucky today, though, that I, I hit that double corruption on the um, Dialas, because I got 200 divines for that. That's enough to... Damn. You know how much uh, shiny, mage blood, shiny mage bloods go for? Uh, yeah, I have one. Uh, five mirrors on the standard and uh, about 1.5 here. So, 750 divines -ish. That might have gone up, though. I think that was our last one. Do you think it's worth corrupting one? No. Oh. Because you can you, you can put a shiny well No, I know it's no it's not. I ha I have one. A shiny one or a corrupted one? That I dropped. No a shiny one. Mm. But I wanted to YOLO it <laughs> for the end. You know, did I tell you what happened with mine? Uh, I have I had a beast supplier like throughout this whole league because I didn't use TFT, who just ran these all day with a team, and he would often like when I was mirror crafting later in the league, he would just spot me and I would give him items to sell while I was offline, and we would just go on that way because he knew I'm like oh he'd watch my stream, he knew how much money I had, right? Um, so like I would give him like say omnis or like double corrupted omnis or, um, you know, uh, original sins or whatever. Because uh, he was out in, uh, he's in Singapore or whatnot, so our hours were opposite. And, uh, anyways, I gave him shiny mage blood and a bunch of other shit. Um, my my foiled headhunter and four original sins, um, as well as a double double corrupted omni with percent attributes and curse. And uh, he ended up getting banned while I was offline <laughs> with all my stuff. Yeah. Um, it, it wasn't it wasn't for RMT, It was for. Um, like when I would trade him beast, like the, the trade would go <laughs> instantly. Oh, yeah. uh, he got he got banned for uh, automating too many actions or something. Yeah, that fucking 
sucks. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter for it. Like, if, if you're doing that, it's... Uh, the beasts are very... Like, you'd be buying them and selling them right away, and that would be probably getting funneled along somewhere else. Those accounts are not ones where people have, like, too much invested in. Like, they're not... That's not... It's not like he would have lost an account that has, like, 40 out of 40. He's just sitting in his hideout on an arbitrary character flipping these things. Uh, it was more so the loss of the items that I had that was... And not to say it's not, you know, annoying for him, but... You don't do things like wholesale beast flipping on an account that has... Yeah. Okay, that's all of them. I want that to be my life. Just flip items. I fucking hate flipping. Not like it. Not like in um. Oops. Shit. Sorry. I hit the wrong one. Uh. Not in like theory. Like the the idea of flipping doesn't bother me. The, the gap in knowledge is how the entire economy works in the game. Like, um. But uh. I hate the like. I I can't run trade like. Flipping is largely predicated on running certain trade alerts to observe underpriced things as they come up, right? Um. Or to like go out there and look for those gaps. If I come across something while I'm looking like over something else and I see that it's severely mispriced, I'll buy it. But to proactively do that, um, it requires so much attention and active participation in what's being posted. It's like impossible for me to do. It's like it's like currency flipping, right? Like currency flipping is one of the, probably the easiest and most like if I sat here all league with the amount of time I play and just flip currency, I would have 20 times the amount of money I do. But having to constantly deal with people DMing you like every six seconds and like kicking people from group and making sure the ratios are right and all that stuff constantly like you know up the, like the amount of micromanagement it requires to do that is like an absolute nightmare to me that's why i like crafting shakes it's like you do it at your own pace you price it yourself you know I what i mean yeah. do you not have a skill you don't have it's like come over get over here get over here get over here fucking run away from three red beasts um all right i took this shield charge off yeah no if you can't but just make sure if there's red beats make sure you're in range of the capture and we can meet back up after don't don't run up the opposite way um shield charge and flame dash yeah yeah i i have shield charge and lead slam but yeah make sure you have a uh like an object passing one as well the flame dash or i'll just put the flame ba dash back on yeah yeah it's easier that way One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't need two more. Oh, is it a vulture? A vulture? I think. Is it a vulture? Can't tell. Who does that totem? It's the most annoying skill I've ever seen. That little fucking hyper attacking totem. Oh, it's uh, Arakali's Fang. That's what I'm playing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm also playing Arakali's Fang, but I don't think I have a totem. Whatever that is, it's making it impossible to identify the beast. Is there any is there any way that you can use a different weapon? So, because like, um, you can tell which ones are harvest beasts by like the three D visual of them, like their actual character model. And I can't I can't tell what they are with the that that like red circle going around them constantly. It makes us a lot slower. I just won't spawn them. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't spawn them either. Then. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, it's it's fine. It, it's not like you're doing anything wrong. It's just it slows us down quite a bit because when it's a regular red beast, it's not, not only is it like we have to slow in a lot of cases actually detrimental to kill those because then you just have to, have to bottle them up and remove them we're still going to kill them in case of chimeras or stuff like that but um what we're primarily doing is just chasing the uh the um the uh the harvest beast right so when i can identify when i can identify those at quick glance it's uh it's much easier um, seventy-five, fifty percent. All right, map number eleven, Rizzler. Don't link. Yep. Hmm? Can somebody uh, explain to him just to report a number, unless it's a vulture? Uh, Rizzler, how many did you get? Uh, two. Two. And uh, next in line, farm. Okay, he linked it. Melancholy, how many? Two. Two. Necro. One. One. He's gay. Oh, fuck. Cool. Okay, thanks. And how many do you have? Uh, two. 
Perfect. Yeah, it's actually that's a lot faster. I'll just do I'll just do a verbal call out like that because then I don't have to whatever and move along. Easy. Easy. Let me bottle my own here. Actually, I'll open the map for you guys. I'm not spawning anything. I'm just running. Yeah, same. Hey, can you? Can somebody? Sorry, type to him. Up. Can he hear us? Is he in Discord? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, you can, okay. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool, dude. What we're doing right now is not like a normal way to play the game. Uh, it's just the rules that we're setting up, like these things that we're doing, um, is just ways to make this faster. And it's also because we're collecting data. It's not like something that would be expected if somebody didn't know. Um, so it's, I'm not, we're not saying this in, in like an angry, putting you down kind of way. It's just a, letting you know what we're doing sort of thing. Oh, no, sorry, but... Yeah, so don't, don't worry about it, dude. I guess I'm going to get my daughter's slow playing. <laughs> so, yeah. Aww. Yeah, don't worry for me. I was like, it took me so many maps to actually figure out what the fuck was going well, on. Well, let's hold him to a better standard. What is he, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to make him feel better. Yeah, I know. It's okay. I'm just busting your balls. All right, here's one of them. That's a, a little bit of a watcher. This one, the first map has two. Uh, just explaining how these work, guys. Each memory is three maps. Because it's beast, it doesn't actually matter what tier you do them on. So we're, these are low tier uh, white maps, like running normal. Um, oh, watch. Uh, uh, Vulture, Vulture, Vulture. Come on, come on. Check if you guys capture this. It's been a while since we've had one. Boom. All right, we're done with this map. Um, anyways, the first the first map of the series has two Harvest Beasts. The second one has uh, three. Uh, and the third one has four. Uh, so what I what I have with that rejects, I keep my beast area open on the bottom tab where it's captured beast, and I have it typed in constantly. So that's why I was saying it's important for me to see the beast, so that way I can stop, call out when it's a valuable one, make sure we're all in range to capture it. And then once we have either the two, three, or four that are associated with the map, we can just move on to the next one. Is there like a hotkey for um, beast theory? H. Oh, okay, thanks. I'll actually keep that open then. Uh, H, and then you have to re redo it at each map, and then you can press Control F, Control V to have that rejects typed in. Alright. Do you need to re retype it so it can load the updated version or not? Uh, sorry, I didn't catch any of that. I'm gonna have to turn you up on Discord after this map. You need a little quiet for me to hear right now. Control C. Um, for the visit yari do you need to type it again for the filter to update the the list update yeah yeah the yeah like each time you open it again you just gotta you have to enter it or it's just gonna show the previous piece so press h oh. you have to open the tab and then press Control f Control v and it'll it'll enter it again but make sure you have the rejects copy pasted that way you get then that way you guys will be able to tell if it's uh, uh if you've captured one or not Gonna keep this on then. And the, yeah, the reason why I'm leading, aside from the fact I move faster, is because I can I can call it out based on the visual of the thing, um, and then we can move on. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We're good. Did anyone capture a vulture there? Nope. 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 Three beasts that map, no vultures. That's too bad. Wait, that's impossible because that was. Oh no, it was the vulture in the first map. 
maybe in the first map. I was going to say that map only had three beasts, but I think the Vulture was actually the first map. Uh, beast here, capture beast, control F, so This last one has four. Two. Three. Rizzler 2. Zero from Necro. Zero Necro. Alright. I'm calling three. Two. Call three. Is gay? One. Got it. See how fast that is? Look at that. Now we. Also want vivid watchers or just bolts. Bitch, I've been here for like 45 minutes and asked this now. Uh, just the vultures. I just want to be sure so I'm not accidentally scamming you or something. You no, 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 it's just, it's, it's just funny. It's just funny. I'm just busting your balls. Wait, I have a very fundamental foundational question to the operations of what we're doing. <laughs> Despite this being my 30th time doing it, it is now the appropriate time to ask <laughs> this very basal question. <laughs> yeah, can I know uh, what the culture look like? So... Oh, you want the reject? Just that. It's in, it's in the Discord chat. I can actually call out every time. I can actually just call out every time I get a vulture uh, myself, and then that way you guys can just check in that moment, and then I don't need to, at the end, I'll either know if you do or don't, right? And that way at the end you can just tell me the number, right? And that way it's easier because you guys just have to report a single number instead of saying two with one, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So everyone, when you enter the map, go to bestiary and go to the captured beast. Control F, Control V, and then that way you can just quickly access it throughout the course of the map uh, to check. Okay, bristle matron. Gucci. Yeah, we're getting a lot faster at this, guys. I think we can get these down to sub five minutes each, including the reporting time. Um, and if that's the case, I'll I'll do that. I do a little data collection Still here. Still missing two people. Okay. Hopefully that's not a visit. No, it's not. Beast one, I think. Pretty sure that's a Hellion Alpha. Scratched, not. Now, one of the reasons we're bottling these two is oh, peace, 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 peace. Matron, pharmacy, hurry up. Pharmacy, hurry up, hurry up. Latency, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm just telling you, and just with no, yeah. with no malice. If if you're, if that happens consistently, I'm gonna change, change it out. So you don't need to attack or do anything aside from keep up. The one thing you need to do is keep up. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. One. Number two, it's a shitty one. Primal Crush Call.
This is the second map, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So there's like three in this one. That might be a vivid Abarak. Oh, here's number one, Matron or Bramble back. Matron. Go for a Divine each. He captured that. Number two. Another crush clock. Number three. Oh, every single one of the primal ones has an almost zero value. Yeah. I got ten div off of one of these. Why? Gives you random currency. Oh, you got like sorry, you got. Yeah. I uh, sorry. I thought I thought you meant like somebody bought it from you for ten divs. No, no, no. I just roll. I roll all the ten random currency ones, and it gave me ten div. That's lucky. I'm almost certain that's a net positive loss to that over time, given the price of rare beasts. Probably, because rare beasts, rare, rare beasts are uh, sixty to a divine, so they're four chaos each. So that was that would mean you'd have to make uh, twelve chaos on average every single time you did that. I just rolled them if I found them. Oh yeah, no, no. I'm just saying. Just, for consideration if you're ever like at a league start situation where currency is valuable um yeah. that being said rare beasts aren't going to cost 60 to divine at a league start people often overlook the uh opportunity cost or relative uh, potential loss of rare beasts when they think about harvest uh, crafts or beasts sorry beast crafts Bramble back. That's the one that levels Awakened Gems. That's a Primal. Two Primals, fucking garbage. Here's your Wolf. Yeah, that's a... Eric Wolf Alpha. There's your 7C Cobra. There we go. That's the last one. Do map um, tiers affect uh, beasts at all? Like, how yes. rare beasts you get? Um, not, no, it's not. Well, so certain uh, beasts require certain levels, like minimum levels to spawn. Um, yeah. But the, typically the only ones you're going to want are Harvest Beasts um, and Crazy Crap Merrells in terms of actually target farming them. Like things like Fenimal Plague Arachnids or whatever are valuable, but um, and they're worthwhile, obviously, but they're not something that you would ever like expressively go out there farming for, right? And Chimerals, um, are Chimerals are a low-level... Sorry, say this audibly to me, guys. Uh, Rizzler, report. Uh, three. Three. Uh, Pharmacia. One. Melancholy. Zero. Uh, Necro. One. Isge. One. Good to go. Awesome. Good job, guys. I would say we're doing this probably two to three times faster than we were before. good <clears throat> is this the a team for uh beast farming next league <laughs> we're the a team and something something i don't remember that movie too much you're the please hold them back a great team <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, if you guys do want to get in on this, um, it'll primarily be done through the guild, since most of the beasts will be funneled uh, into mirror crafting. Um, the way our guild works on League starts <clears throat> uh, is we do like distributed like divisions of labor. So some people would farm beasts, some people would uh, go do del whatever it is. Some people will buy the rare beasts. Uh, stop! Stop! Hold! 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 Gonna pick up with a little explosion here. Um, and then once there's enough currency, then um, I, I obviously participate in this and then do my trading shit. Uh, once I find a good base or we have enough vultures or whatever it is, um, I then start crafting uh, whatever mirror base we're working on or if it's a large scale opportunity of costing, or sorry, large scale um, uh, uh, fucking calculated risk thing, like say double corrupting um, awakened empowers or whatever, where it's obviously easier to do if you can scale up the, uh, like to offset RNG, like you know what I mean, when something's a net positive EV, but obviously variants can make it either good or bad in the short term. Uh, with enough currency and enough people contributing, you can offset that individual risk, and then each one of you can take advantage of the, uh, you know, mathematically assured long-term profit of it. Um, so all of that goes through me. Um, but the way that we do it on a, on a distributed basis is it's purely contribution. So if, if we did a craft that was, let's say, cost 100 divines, and we sold it for 500 and you paid 20 divines. So you paid 20% of the cost, you get 20% of the profit. So everyone has their, um, uh, you know, er everyone has an equal uh, incentivizing role in, in doing that. Um, and then we also transfer all funds through the guild stash because uh, guild stash is on the POA website, keep logs of everything that goes in and out. So in case people ever forget there's any discrepancies, um, then uh, uh, there's, a, there's a record of it always. Plus we have a, a, a shared Google Doc uh, in a private Discord channel where we uh, talk about, like we in, ever, everyone has access to it and everyone self-reports what they put in uh, and stuff like that. And then again, the, the guild stash thing is a, a way in case there's any discrepancies in that value, we can just double check. But uh, it, it's, it's also like um, a trust thing in like building, like when you're talking about mirror items and like, you know, potentially if you've got like say 50 divines in the first week, you're probably not gonna wanna trust that to some random stranger who says he'll, he'll like, trust me, bro, I got you. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And uh, it's much easier for people to like build these relationships and uh, understand that the other person is not like, to, to consider that the other person might have some mutual investment in it, given that you're on like the same team, right? So that's why we do everything through a guild. Um, that being said, though, if there's ever a situation where we can't fill in spots in the guild and you're unable to join our guild because of playing with friends or whatever, and we're done this map, um, you can obviously join in the rotations. But uh, you know, it's, it's likely it would be a rotation and not something like this where it's just one person and everyone else is just pitching like that. But that's actually not that big of a deal early on because the memories won't cost nearly as much, obviously. That's fair. Like if you're if you're uh, not split farming these or, or doing this in a group right now, you're never like, you can't justify the cost. Early on, you can run, you can run them solo and still make good money. Hail. Especially actually, wild bristle matron is incredibly valuable early on, because vivid, like don't ever start a map without me. Whoever did that, don't ever ever go until I get there. I open it for you guys first so I can bottle it because I need to do that other shit each time so I can track it. Um, don't ever go before I get inside, please. Uh, ooh, that's a vivid watcher, I think. Uh, yeah, if I open the map, um, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm ready. Like, uh, I'm ready. Like, for example, at, at the end of each rotation, I'll open the map. And then I have to bot and then I have to enter your guys' data, and then I have to bottle my beast. Um, I'm doing that, opening it for you guys first, so the ones who are overseas or whatever that have the ping, uh, your loading time won't like you know what I mean. That way, it's when I enter, we can go. Um, yeah, I just uh, follow you and wait when you're. Yeah, 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 no, it's it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but like don't. If I miss like a vulture because somebody went without waiting for me, I'd be pissed about that. Uh, that's the fuck. Yeah. Okay.
We've not seen very many vultures this year. Not, not even the last two. Well, actually, no, we got one last last run. Uh, one total. Uh, zero so far. We're at eight out of nine beasts so far in this one. Uh, Harvest beast. And we got another matron right here. Here's the ninth one on me. Bottle and report when we get back to town. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, we're at... I'm out. That was weird. That was a hundred percent. Like you guys saw that 3D model, right? That was a hundred percent matron. I swear to God, if this one that's amazing, saying that I only got three of them, that's the missing one. That's a vivid watcher. Fuck. A little annoying. Sorry about that, guys. That was my fault. Uh, that was the the worst um, four that we've ever had. Definitely. The uh, we we got one. Oh, sorry. No, we did get two bristle matrons. Uh, two. Good. All right, sorry. You guys need to say it verbally because we're all in voice. Uh, Rizzler? A two. Uh, Pharmaca? One. Uh, Melancholy? Three. Necro? One. Is good? One. Thank you. Look at this fucking efficiency, boys. Ooh, and we're dang back. efficient. Hell yeah. And look at that. We're back into the next one. I bottled my beast as we were mapping there. So you can... <laughs> Efficiency, definitely. Hey. Took off my weapon so I can't spawn spiders. Thanks. Yeah, same. I'm just here to I'm just here to fucking leech like a rat. Yeah. You're the real vulture. <laughs> Definitely. Sorry this way guys, that was my fault. I kind of faked you out there. Look out. I like to think of myself less as a vulture, more as a research assistant. <laughs> This sounds like a this sounds like a, a Joseph Mangala excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Wild Hellion Alpha and uh, shitty Primal there. I'll actually I'll say that I'll I'll make a habit of that too. I'll let you guys know which we get each, what we get each map, um, so you know whether it's worthwhile to look or whatever. And I'll bottle them in between each map as well, so that way I can see. It. Ooh. Look at us getting fucking like a goddamn squad over here. This is something beautiful. Your vivid vulture. Is that a vivid vulture? Yeah. Oh, vivid vulture. All right. Check the rejects when it's captured. Okay, it's captured. Nope. Nope. I got one. Nice. There we go. That's good. I guess the last three uh, ones I've lost. I'm down 15 divs in the last three. So the three of us hitting that fucking covers that entire loss. Hey, you, I'm sure you guys have noticed it as much as I have. Uh, probably playing the game, at least if you're observant of it. Um, I almost never get things in equal pattern. Like, let's say something was a one in five. I almost never, ever, ever will get, like, if I do, like, 50 of them, a situation where I will get it, like, w approximately one every five. It'll be zero for, like, 15, and then I'll get three of them in, uh, in, like, five, and then zero for 10, and then, like, one the next five. And so it balances yeah, out to me. You'll get your 20% eventually. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I almost never observe anytime I'm tracking, like, individual results at a time situations where it's, like, patterned in any kind of way. It always seems to be. Same thing with sales. Like, Sometimes I log in, uh, and I, I, you know I'm playing for like two hours, and I don't get a single message, and then I'll change the zone, and I'll get like 15 fucking DMs at once. Yeah, I hate that. 
Yeah, when I was farming uh, seven years, uh, I got like two in like uh, 15 maps, and then I just got nothing for 30 maps. Like, it's so uneven. <laughs> when you, you were farming for apothecaries, you mean? And Yeah, I was farming for apothecaries. Yes. I, was doing I was like, times. only this man would go into a map with the most expensive div card in the game and farm the one that's 130th the cost in intent. Watch me farm <laughs> scroll cards. <laughs> Like a fucking apothecary drop, you're like, damn, wish that was a fucking yeah, seven years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, let me just, uh, let me just uh, recycle that shit. That ain't worth shit. <laughs> I just want the double vulture memories. Oh, is that a vulture? No, fire no. pro. Two in uh, Hellion Alpha and uh, Rex Matriarch so far. Oh, third one, uh, Primal Cyst Caller. So one more Harvest Beast on this map. That one's especially useless. Vulture! Check it up, boys. That's the last one. Rejects it. And... Nope. 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 Yep. Hey! Hey! Fuck it, hey. So, I got fucking two vultures. We got five vultures out of that one. And three from you guys, two from me. This guy just listed a memory for 12.5. Dude. <laughs> Chips. Delusion on the chips. Okay. All right. So uh, trade me the uh, vultures and uh, give me an audible. Rizzler, how many? Uh, one. Pharmaca? One. Melancholy? Two. Necro? One. Is gay? Three. So kill. Open trade with me for the vultures when you just said. So consistent, I always get one. Okay. That's good. Steady. You want a vulture at a map? I don't know what that was. If you got a vivid vulture, trade it to me now. Like, sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Actually, I'm thinking second here to turn you up. It's a little too quiet. You see that vulture? No, we're not. Fuck, I'm not. What? No, I mean, just uh, like the item. The oh. Thought you wanted me to like find a specific vulture to link you. Um, so there were three vultures reported. I'm missing one from someone. Greetings. Who is the third vulture? Not me. Yeah, not me either. Hello, Bueller. The first vulture, two people said they got it. Second one, somebody, one person said they got it. Missing one vulture. I think the f the first one was just me and you. No, there were two people who said I got one as well. Okay. Melancholy got one and traded it to you. Not sure about. It. Yeah, I got one from Melancholy and Isge. Pharmaca, no, uh, he's gay, he traded me his, Melancholy traded me his, Necro, okay, so nope, okay, just sworn I heard three of them there. Uh, that was probably my fault, sorry about that. Hello? Let's get... I'll be right in there, just bottling my previous ones. I'm fucking... Retarded. I was the third person with the vulture. I hadn't removed it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All 
because I counted for 33. I was like, what the fuck? I thought I already bottled my beast. I hadn't. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's uh, definitely my fault there. Man, we're going to have to report you to Belton. Yeah, that's true. Actually, you should report me to TFT for scammering you. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Belton scammed my feelings. Please blacklist. <laughs> if only we could, but we're all banned, I think. <laughs> no, no, no. So, like, TF the TFT, that's something they would do. Uh, we've heard you scam someone's feelings and we've deemed this to be too toxic. And then they're gonna put like pics of proof on their next band message. <laughs> Those were the dumbest fucking uh, clip proof messages. Like there was actually nothing there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's also too the one where they say that it's uh, evidence, this is why I allegedly got banned from Reddit, uh, of me threatening and trying to dox someone. I was talking in my own Discord. I was like, if there's ever actually a guild mole, I'm going to fly to his house, stone him to death, but before I do, I'm going to build a locker and shove him right in it. Because that's the most fucking backwards pussy-ass behavior I think I've ever heard of. But the thing is, not only did I not send it to a TFT mod or to another member of the community, it wasn't even like, I was talking about like a hypothetical person in chest. Uh, it wasn't even like, you know what I mean? It was like, it, it, imagine. Oh man, that's a felony. <laughs> no, you're like, you're like, yeah, I would kill a terrorist if I ever ran into one. Oh yeah. And, and they're like, whoa, this guy's fucking. But you know what I mean? You're, where you're not saying that this person's yeah. a terrorist, and I'm gonna kill you. It's a, 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 a fear, like a, yeah. I fear for my life when he said that he's gonna shove me into a locker. Well, that's Every your day I live hypothetical fear. junior high. <laughs> Every day I live in fear and constant anxiety. My age says legal, but my mental state says Epstein. My mental state is flatlining. I like my I treat my women like blackjack. Over sixteen a pass. <laughs> Vulture. Let's hope. Let's fucking hope. That's both. Maps done, check rejects. No vulture again. Vulture, no vulture confirmed. Hey. Sorry, I had a phone call. That's good. Here's one matron or Harry too. Is the big one a matron? Uh, it's other, but yeah, it's a matron there. Yeah, I think the big one's a matron, the smaller one's the ramble there. Oh, it sucked me in. Sorry, yeah, I fucking for... hate that sanctum shit, dude. It's annoying as hell. Yeah, I just haven't been doing it. Last time I did a Sanctum was like a month ago. That's it. That's about all I've been doing. I'm 16 out of 17 on that challenge. It's keeping me from hitting 40. I did that. It actually didn't take me that long. It was, uh, I think, I went from uh, 21 challenges to 40 out of 40 in uh, four days. The uh, devi Deviant Deviation took two days, though. Like the last two of those. Two beasts down. Gonna well do some harvest together. Group harvest? Uh, no, I, I, there's no specking into it, so it'll be like 20 life force. <laughs> Unless you spec into harvest, it's a complete waste of time. Done. Double primal. One matron.
I always click on Einhar. Trying to get into a portal. There you go. There's some money. Only an alpha. Ooh, that's a crit camera, I think, actually. Is it jumping? Never mind. Hey, there's your vivid vulture. Vulture! Is that two of them? The other one was some other. At least I think so. Old church check seen, rejects. Never seen him double. Spawn. Nope. Zero. Nope. Oh, I can't keep up and check at the same time. Press H for left control V. I do it constantly. I'm the worst of the player. Yeah, <laughs> H control F control V. You can do that while still controlling your mouse foot. Uh, Yeah, I got you a vulture. Perfect. So I got two vultures and nobody else going? So that's uh switch up. I, I feel special now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means I got two and then there should be two coming for you guys, four vultures this time. Good shit. Yeah, that's a pretty good profit off of five div. Yeah. But you keep in mind there were like three in a row where we didn't get a single vulture and that's a loss of it's six divines each one on market. Sometimes you can find them posted between 5 and 5.5. Is Gigot Vulture too? Oh, nice. One just came up for 12. <laughs> Are you? I think you're looking on Standard. No, I'm I'm looking on Sanctum League. Or you're, you're, oh, you're running a trade alert. Not like you're not saying the cheapest one for 12. Yeah, no, well, someone just listed one for 12. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just, I just watch it and buy whatever comes up for 4 or 5. Uh, do I have to do any kind of damage or any amount of damage to get a beast or does it not matter? Why are you asking these very fundamental questions like two hours later with your dumb ass? No, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> Alright, I was wondering because you told me that... Uh, you you, just, you, have, to be, you have to be in rage. You have to be in rage. <laughs> can you imagine yeah, like, Can you imagine you were here for like 20 runs in a row and I hadn't given you the pertinent data yet? Rizzler, what you're going to want to do is sit in the hideout and that's how it's going to work. No, you're good. Yeah, buddy. you've been missing vultures this whole time. Yeah, I've been missing. <laughs> yeah, I was just confused because I got zero out of those. Like, no. uh, any beast. He's just catching them for himself and keeping them. Yeah, yeah. no, no I, mean, I can share my screens, you know. No, it's okay. No, but you, no. sh you should also have the observational awareness to recognize that zero has been reported literally dozens of times amongst other people. <laughs> it's possible to get none. That's um, a joke. Yeah, I just want to be safe. It's all. Yes, yes, yes. Are we reporting or we have one more? I uh, I've got one vulture. Up. There were three vultures apparently there, right? But did we end our set? That That's the last one, yes. One. Why do I keep losing the filter, man? Oh, yeah, sorry about the stupid questions. It's fine. Uh, Just put, open a notepad or something like that. Enter that. It's primal, vivid, wild. It's not that hard to remember. You can just enter it yourself. Doesn't even need to copy paste. You just type it manually. It sucks that I, I need to paste it every time I open it. I I still sorry man the language like the uh, I don't mean this in any kind of bad way. I, I can't understand what you're saying. Yeah, oh sorry. Uh, what I meant that uh, it sucks to type it again or in copy yeah. it. Yeah, so open, open, like, keep your game in windowed mode, like I do, and then open a window, a notepad document or something like that, copy-paste it there, so if you lose it, you can just go back and do it like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yeah. They should let you save searches and, you know, click quick search. Yeah. Regex. Okay, so, uh, yeah, ready to report. Uh, rem reminder to 
include the vulture uh, in total if you gave me one. Okay, Rizzler. Zero. Formica. Zero. Ah, uh, no, one. One. Melancholy. Two. Necro. Two. Is gay. Three. Um, we'll do this one and one more, and then 10 minute break so I can smoke. Um, I grab a little, uh, throw a little food on the, uh, microwave or something, too. The Barbie? Uh, no, because uh, that would take too long for you guys to wait. And as I said, no casuals allowed, so. Uh, I'll make my fucking crap dinner like a true gamer. Oh, it's just, uh. And he's super not Australian. Uh -huh. That's one. Use your 7C. Hey, there's your 40 to 50 or 60C. Wait, don't enter, don't exit, don't exit, don't exit. There we go, now you can exit. Hello? Fast one. These are ten currency items. Oh, we're going that way. Oh, sorry. I don't know how you identify the beast so quick. You ever seen me, this? Have you ever seen me roll, a cha roll chaos or run ults? Or roll ults? There, there's certain, like, when, when you get used to doing something habitually in this game, you start to recognize indicators that, like, if you haven't done it quite a bit, um, it looks like you're considering all of the relevant, like, you know what I mean? Like, say you're rolling with chaos, uh, and to the person who's never done that before, it looks like you're assessing six different mods at once every like quarter of a second oh that's vulture vulture um but in, re in reality you're just looking for you know one single mod that always shows up at the exact same order on that item right so your eyes don't actually have to scan everything you can just hold them in place and if that mod pops up you know what i mean yeah uh, you're just looking for the shape of the yeah or like when i the, when i was doing recombinators for example and i would recombinate normal rings People were like, how the fuck did you do this so quickly? And it's because the word Sentinel will pop up if it's going to uh, turn it, a charge on it, right? Uh, and so all, all I do is press Recombinator, and then the name instantly pops up. And so you just look. If it's magic, your eyes dart back over because it's blue. You just scan the first part of the word. And if not, you're able to just instantly move on to the next one uh, because it's very easy to quickly scan that. So it's just things like that. When people are doing something really quickly in this game, it's usually not as... Uh, Kind of like a red herring. All right. Yeah, kind of like pattern nope. recognition or something. Yeah, yeah, what? There's a hideout. Yeah, we're not stopping. This is not a fucking Barbie dress okay. up. Now, come on, man. Let's farm some hideouts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, if, if, if you are so inexperienced in the game that you don't have the hideout that comes from Atoll, <laughs> Wait, let me just get it. <laughs> can I? <laughs> yeah, you can, but if you're not in there by the time the next one starts, I'm replacing you. Just go and pour it out. It'll take you five seconds. Two, three, one, two. Oh, fuck, I need to clear the hideout first. Okay. You Leave have it. to clear it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not joking. I know it sounds like I'm joking. I'm, I'm not waiting for you to do that. That's not what we're doing. It's a toll map. It's the most common yeah, map in the game to farm. Wait. Um, uh, already up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I also noticed you were halfway behind us on the map there, so if you want to prioritize Barbie dress up, you can go ahead and do that. But... Oh, they're hurting me. He's not in yet, so yeah. don't kill anything. 
But also, don't worry about finding that map. Even if it is your first league playing, that is the most common map in the game to farm for pretty much everything. You will... Like, it's not... Like, I don't know how long you've played, but it makes me believe that, that you don't have that hideout, that you're just starting the game. Because if you've played for any... You started last month. You, there you go. You, that is the most... Like, it's like... Um, imagine you've never had any real money in the world before and you found a penny on the sidewalk. Um... And you got all excited because you'd never had any cash before. And then you realize the relative rarity and value of a penny. That's what that is. Man's got to learn sometime. Yeah. Uh, what we're talking about right now, what you're doing right now is, is very... That? Six div. Damn, in, what that? Every time we get a vulture, it's fucking six div. Pipe down, kids. Um, <laughs> the uh, What you're doing right now, Farmica, this is like... The amount of currency that you're generating in this is stuff that people aspire to, to play, play this game for years and years and years. Um, so, yeah, the, the priority shifting towards something like that that's super common is, uh, is an opportunity cost thing. Okay, that's a three. You gotta be the one running the memories, though, because then you get all the money. No, well, that's what the data collection is here, right? Um, on your guys' end, yeah, I'll, I'll calculate the average actually when we take that little short break. At last time we looked, it was three per map. The average sale price of a beast, I think, is just under a divine each, which means based on the speed in which we do the memories, uh, you should be making somewhere between uh, two and three divines every three to four minutes, five minutes. Um, so it's still going to end up being, you know, 30 to 40 divines an hour. Uh, wild matrons are 1.3 divines. Wild hellion alphas are a divine each. Um, Obviously, I'm making more than you guys, but it's not like I'm not looking to do this to profit off you. It's because it's like it's literally like an existential requirement to be able to. And they're, yeah, uh, and they're free fucking ain't hard memories. So, you know, no, no, no. But what I'm saying, like the, the purpose of this on my end is not for the, the profit. It's because if you want to craft with vultures, um, they're, they don't exist unless you actually run them. Um, yeah. And so this is the only way that I can do that in a great enough quantity. Uh, because if you run them solo, it's a net loss, right? So, I'm not I'm not doing it to take the vultures and flip them and profit off of you guys being in the group. You're probably, I would imagine, given the average outcomes, making more money than you would per hour yourself. So you're incentivized. Yeah, and for me, it's not possible to get these vultures that I'm going to be using to craft. Um, so it's a win-win. That being said, early on in the league, if this were the same situation and memories were like fucking 100 chaos, 100 percent, you guys would be disincentivized to be here. But as it sits currently, I, I think that all parties are equally benefited. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, uh, the, the report. No, uh, sorry, there was a there was a vivid watch or vulture there. Did anyone catch it? Nope. Nope. Let me look. Oh, I gotta copy the regex again. God damn it. Keep a note. Keep play the game in window mode, guys, and keep up something that you just have it copy pasted to. That way you can just tap. Hey, I got you a vivid. Hey, who's the I? Uh, Necro. Necro, great. I ran uh, about 40 memories the past two weeks, mm -hmm. and it's it's decent money. It's like 20%. Yeah, it's not. It's not. If anyone cares. Yeah, but the but that's also at scale, right? Um, what I'm yeah. saying is that the person who's concerned about the profitability in this situation is not going to have six divines to run over a two-week period at every at onset. And likely have, you know, if you don't hit a vulture three in a row, it's like that's a 20 divine loss, right? Yeah, you gotta yeah. have hundreds of div to, yeah. to do it. This is a much more sound way to do it. Yeah, well, because in, in this one, I I, I am reaping the... This is kind of like working at a comp, like a, a well-paying job, right? It's like the, the CEO or the, the head of the company is going to make more. They're going to be more benefited. But that doesn't mean that it's not, it wasn't paying you a salary that's higher than your previous job. Plus, like, the person who starts the company takes on all the risk uh, if it folds or, you know, they took on the loans to start it or whatever it is. Uh, the employees are just collecting a salary, so there's no risk on their end. And that's the matrix. I'm not saying any one of you, patronizing any of you, saying you couldn't make more on yourself. I'm just saying, in theory, that's the, the the you know, justification. Damn, Damn my first real job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so far like having really fun, and part of it is, is just talking to you guys. Yeah, no, like, you guys, likewise. Funny stuff. 
it's also it's 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 harder to recognize like when you're just bottling these things up um their actual value but when i assure you when you're done and you line these all up and like you guys should probably have like half an inventory of total beast at this point at least i would think right or not an inventory half a stash tab the ones that have been here for a long time because we've, we've done at least 20 of these so you should have actually no, not quite you have on average around 40 or so each i would think i have yep. seven How's it? oh yeah you just got here i meant the guys that have been here for last while yeah yeah i got um what is it this uh 15. nice but yeah i'm gonna go take a piss and i'll just say that i got two because i did uh we'll wait till the next one because the next one we're taking a 10 minute break all right okay fuck it i'll just wait i can hold it i'm a man yeah it's all good. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Because we're just rushing, we're just rushing, we're rushing the, uh, the harvest piece on these ones, so they should only take like 30 seconds each. Yeah. We can do some Gupka Karakic Camaro farming too. T4 strands. Are you Camaro? There's just no supply of maps anymore, so... Yeah. You know you can do it on T1 strands and just use Orb of Horizon, right? No, I didn't, but I'm glad that you told me because now I'll do that. Uh, yeah, Orb of Horizon, because strand is naturally a T1. Orb of Horizon can only change it to something that's of natural tier. Uh, and strand is a natural tier 1 map, which means you can get any other tier 1 map, convert it to strands like that. Uh, and Chimeral is uh, 68 to 72 is the prime region as far as I have to double confirm. But, uh, yes, tier 1 maps, you can get Chimeros. Tier 4 map is the ceiling, not the floor. It's gonna uh, be fast. Uh, yeah, but in terms of supplying the maps, it's obviously because Strand is a natty T1. And Orbs of Horizon are, like, literally worthless to most people. No problem. Here's a Watcher. Oh, two Watchers, it looks like, actually. Oh, well, nope. Sorry, that was, uh... No, sorry, that was a Krejcik watcher. That's only one. Are there's uh, 100, 100 chaos right now. Probably more than that. I'll buy them from you at the end anyway. There. I like rerolling the awakened gems. I like when you have to go pee the longest it's ever taken us to finish one of these. <laughs> it adds to the comedy of the situation. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is a vivid abrac, maybe? Yep. Clear. Did you take a tally on the last memory? Maybe I forgot actually. We're going too fast now. I well, it's because it's need to go pee. It's a, it's okay if I actually leave an entire one empty, uh, as long as you guys cleared them out of your thing. Sorry, it's kind of my beast. Now, fuck it. We don't have to go fast. I can fucking hold it. It's cool. As long as we don't do like ten harvests, because at that point I will. Die. Well, I told because my mind said this like twenty minutes ago. We're, we're gonna do because I I have fifteen left in my inventory now, so we just an even stack of five. So we're going to take, as I was saying, I want to grab a sandwich, a smoke, and that sort of thing. Yeah. So we'll take a little oh, yeah. short break here. That's good. That's good. Up you go, wow, it is just like a real job. Holy shit. It is. I, I, uh, I mean, this is probably hard to believe now, um, given how I play the game now. But at, uh, at one point, I was like top 10 um, USEU parsing Warlock in World of Warcraft and like top rating guild. 
and uh, number one Greater Rift Barbarian in Diablo 3 and top 20 Hearthstone uh, Legend simultaneously. Um, and back then, I, I used to like, I don't know if you, any of you ever played D3, but there was this guy, Gabinator, who I used to play with all the time. And, uh, you know, Paragon farming, it was like a matter of like going and killing Malthael. And you had to do these runs like once every, they took like eight seconds each. And it was like, if you had like, even like a micro transactional, like inefficiency, you get removed from the group. So it was like, we will have an allocation for urination once every 45 minutes. <laughs> I was like, if you are not, <laughs> if you are lagging or if you GC more than twice, you will be replaced. It was like fucking nuts, right? And that was like kind of what part I think of gravitated me as I got older and stuff towards crafting and stuff in PoE because um, hey, it's money. it's it's so much more efficient. Oh, Vulture. Dude, this guy keeps trying to buy my compasses. Check rejects. And then we're done with the map too. Nothing. I'm gonna get it, I know. Oh. Oh, he got it. Yep. Yes, sir. That one's name Ooze. Ooze Gasp. Uzbekistan? Ah, uh, the vivid vultures. Oh, I didn't look. That was Abarak. That was Ooze Gasp. Great names. One out of four. Primal. Some jewelers. Uh, I think this is a, uh, uh, what you call him? Flame Hellion Alpha? Yeah, or sorry, a Wild Hellion Alpha. I was gonna mix them up. Yeah, that's divine. Here we go, number three over here. I believe this is a wild brambleback. Suffixes cannot be changed. Oh, nope, nope. Misidentified that one, never mind. Has the same. Ah, oh, sorry. It has, it has the same 3D uh, model as the. Probably it's just smaller. Oh, is that a vulture? No, that's not a vulture. What is that? Or here. Over here's a crush claw. Abarak on me. Those other two are worthless. Hit bottle and report, and then uh, see you guys in 10 minutes after that. Okay, uh, I'll show a bottle of mine first. Give you guys a second. What's your average, average cigarette count a day? Mm, uh, depends how interactive I am with Twitch or not. Like in this situation, not because like we have a back and forth. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm much easier for me to be like introspective and, and recognize like what's going on. But when I'm streaming, there's no, I'm not talking to anyone, right? I'm literally just narrating my thoughts for like 20 hours at a time sometimes. Um, and like, because of that, it's like, there's like almost like a built in, like, you know, like the, the cues that you have, like conversationally or verbally with people, um, or, uh, um, you know, like body language or whatever, where they like kind of yeah. signal that they're understanding what you're saying. I tend to over explain and get kind of not anxious, but like, uh, ooh, vulture, nice. Uh, bu -bu -bu. um, yeah, when I'm streaming, it's a lot worse. Basically, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, 
or sorry, it's, it's a lot better on the cigarette side. Uh, I smoke less because I'm, I get distracted by answering questions too much and I get too wrapped up in the, sometimes over interacting with chat. Whereas like being in a group like this, I'm much easier to, especially cause you guys have each other to talk to. Um, it's like, I don't feel like anxious being like walking away and being like, Oh fuck, these guys are going to leave. All right. Sorry. Uh, reporting Rizzler. Uh, one. Pharmaca. Including the Vulture you gave me earlier. Two. two. Yeah, two. Uh, Melancholy. One. Necro. I gave you my one. One. And Gate. Homo. Is a homo. Yo, what is this guy? Oh, two. But BRB, I got two. Okay, there he is. Okay. All right. All right. Here, I'll open this for, uh, for us quickly, too. Belton, what do you think of uh, camel filters? Uh, like camel crush filters or just regular camels? Nah, just regular camels. I don't smoke regular camels or poor people. <laughs> now let's see what you get. Oh, ho, 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 ho. fuck you all. Look at this. God damn. Iron Fortress. <laughs> Very nice. Actually, it might not be worth a lot. Sometimes the foil ones, it depends how common. Because when uniques are really strong, more people submit them typically to be foils, right? Like, there's only, like, three foiled Vol's Devotions, which is, like, a five chaos item. But there's, like, 150,000 fucking foiled Mage Bloods because it's, like, the first thought thing, right? So sometimes they're not even yeah. actually that expensive. Holy shit, it's 100 divine. Oh shit. Damn. The best one I got out of Void Porn was uh, Foiled Expeditions and. Uh, that was decent. 15 divs. Alright. Uh, so it's 2.05 p.m. my time. Um, I'll be back probably within 10 or 15 minutes. Actually, 15 minutes is a better estimation. Um, if you need to go trade or anything like that, that's fine. Just sit right and party. Um, invite me when you're back. Uh, if you're leaving permanently, just uh, mark that down as well, so I know. Thank you very much for the show. Sounds good. And uh, keep in mind, you guys, uh, while I'm gone, I will turn you up on Discord or on uh, Streamlabs, but uh, Twitch or not Twitch, um, YouTube. Is anyone uh, still in here for AFK? Oh, okay. There. Yeah.
right. That's fair. That's fair. Yep.
current shirt. What are you cooking? Oh. Um, <laughs> never mind. What's your uh, go-to seasoning for food? I like salt. Nice. <laughs> Pepper is also uh, pretty good. I know this is a controversial take, but you know, pepper is pretty good. And hot sauce. Any hot sauce, the oh, hotter the better. Oh, fuck yeah. I actually do have this one hot sauce that will, will send me to the ER if I eat more than a spoonful of it. It's, I, grew uh, some, I grew some habaneros this year, and I was trying to eat them raw, and man, they, they're toasty little things. Yeah, I have uh, this Carolina Reaper sauce. Holy fuck, that shit hurts my stomach so much yeah it is inedible uh, my co-worker gave me one of those and i will never eat one of those ever again in my life oh jesus yeah me and my friend uh, ate that hot sauce on chips and uh, we were both in pain sweating and an hour later we both violently defecated it was horrible it hurts you know your stomach so much it's fucking gross and horrible it sounds entertaining yeah, I mean, with that sauce, you can, like, I put, like, one small drip onto my pizza, and that was good. But if you eat it raw, holy fuck, that's horrible. The mouth pain isn't as bad as the stomach pain you're gonna have when you're fighting your inner demons in the toilet. I threw it up. Oh, Jesus. It was, like, a trip, and then, like, I threw it up because I couldn't take it. Throwing like it up body. is probably worse, right? My body rejected it. Yeah. I mean, like, was it uh, worse throwing it up than eating it? No. It was much harder eating it. Because, like, it just kept being hot. It never stopped getting hot. We just got hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. Yeah. And, up and it was over. Yeah, you really don't want to drink milk when... Well, you kind of do, but, like, people chug milk when they eat, like, really hot shit and then just vomit it back up. Yeah, I did that with water. Yeah, I, I drink water too whenever my mouth gets hot. People say that it doesn't help, but it does help, at least for me. Even though it really doesn't make sense why it would help, but it, it does. It's cold. I left for a trade. What happened? Are we still running things, or...? Yeah, Belton's making food. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm, it's... I'm still waiting for the cooking stream. <laughs> Belton needs, a needs like, a cool cooking outfit, you know? Some, uh, fucking Borat, whatever those swim swimming uh, pants are, and then just, uh, you know, an apron, and that's it. And a chef's hat. You... Are you talking about like a cosplay, cosplay cooking stream? No. No. What what is it? It's uh What what is this? Mankini costume, the fucking uh Oh, yeah, with the one that goes over his shoulders. Yeah, and then just an apron on top of that. Hell yeah, yeah, he needs to do that. 100% <laughs> I'm all here for it, dude.
Nice.
what did you make? Uh, what did you make for lunch? Yeah. Alright, what did you make? Ah, okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> How many more uh, do we have? Infinite. Nice. Yeah. God, I fucking hate Excel. <laughs> Had to do that shit for a year. Sucked. I feel like Excel is the unofficial sponsor of PoE. <laughs> Definitely. Whenever you guys are ready to run, you just invite me. Or I can... Anything, Necro, whatever the fuck my name is. I'm gonna pick the simplest name next league. <laughs> Just put a character limit on it too. Just make everyone name themselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. <laughs> thing one, thing two. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Give me two seconds. Shit, sorry guys. My bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't realize I muted. Ooh, oh, 35 chaos. It's 35 lines. Uh, what's up, Twitch chat, or YouTube chat? Um, I was just making some lunch there. Sorry for a little pause. Uh, I'm just going to take a second to eat this. Uh, we've got one spot open in the infinite, infinite um, Einhar Memories of Harvest Beasts rotation. Uh, we just need one more person, um, and uh, we're going to keep doing these. As you guys can see here, uh, it's we've got farming quite a bit. We've got, uh, what's that, uh, 30, oh, I'm getting blocked. Uh, 32 uh, Wild Hellion Alphas, got 26 Vivid Watchers, uh, 24, 33 um, Wild Bristle Matrons, and 60... Uh, 68 bit. Oh shit, these are not. My bad. That's the wrong one. There we go. Uh, we've got 36 plus 9, 45 uh, vivid vultures. If we go look at the market right now, there's like literally none listed. It says 189, but like 100 of those are in a range where it's like they're priced not to sell. They're like 9, 10, 12 the ones. In terms of actual saleable ones, there's like 10 of them actually on the market. So. This was a matter of farming these <clears throat> um, so I can continue crafting stuff and then uh, we'll sell these ones as, as is needed um, to support the cost of sustaining this infinitely. Uh, for the people that are in the party, um, we're tracking the data. 
uh, so that like I'm opening and paying for each one of these maps. Uh, I'm I'm getting given the, uh, anyone anytime uh, vivid vulture drops, um, and they are capturing that. I get the vivid vultures, but everyone gets to keep everything else. And so we're tracking what the average is. You can see here. And so far, here's the data. For, oh my god, that's exactly three. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, did I miss a couple? Oh, I did miss a couple. All right, here we go, guys. So what we're tracking here is the people who are party members that, that are not the ones, like, obviously, I get to capture every beast. Um, so we're tracking how many they get to capture as a participating party member, right? Because there's obviously a finite set of harvest beasts, you know, your primals, your vivids, or wilds. So you just add up the total the total value of each one if you had one of each beast. And then you divide by the total amount. I think there's 12 of them, maybe 10 of them. So you divide that total amount by 10, which is your average because they're equally weighted. The average value of each beast. And we can see that they're getting three per run. Uh, so then you divide the, uh, the uh, average or multiply the average by three, which means that every time we run a memory... Uh, the people in the party are making X amount. Um, and it'll become very obvious that uh, not only is this much better for myself in terms of acquiring beasts, but uh, when we get rolling, we're doing a new memory every four or five minutes. Um, so multiply that by, you know, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, fit, or fuck, Jesus, 12. Uh, and it's it's likely to be somewhere around 25 to 40 divines an hour that they'll be making just in the party. So, you know, five people making 40 divines an hour, it's 200 divines an hour. I'm probably making you know, 50 divines an hour. It's like that, you can see how that kind of goes off. But this is the important information we're tracking here that uh, as far as I could tell is not available anywhere else. And that is the um, the average actual benefit for um, people that are in party. So that being said, guys, we have a space for one person if somebody wants to join. Uh, as I mentioned, given the information here, uh, we're looking at, actually I can, might as well track this. Well, There's nine probes. Yep, we need one more for the rota. Primal Syscaller, Primal Rex, and uh, Primal Crush. Hey, thanks for the invite. Wild Matron cost. Has someone got the regex for the beast search? Yeah, it's in a sec. It's literally just typing out primal wild and primal it's in chat. Two. Uh, Yellow yeah, posted as well, just in case. General one. Yep, thank you. No problem. 
Damn, that's a fucking powerful voice you got, my man. Yeah, that, he, he has a very soothing voice. voice yeah. powerful. <laughs> God damn. Thank you. You can feel his testosterone going through his veins right now. Sure, I can already feel myself anger texting my girl after she leaves me for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Primal. I had quite a number of girls in high school that would just walk up to me and just say, say something. I'm like, what do you want me to say? And then they just start giggling. And just say, and, and they'd be like, notice how man's never approached you like that. <laughs> He's sexist. Okay, cyst color crush. Uh, assist is ten divides and crush is. Or sorry, ten chaos. Nine. Nine and ten. Two hundred and eleven chaos are guys this is actually relevant to you. Two hundred and eleven chaos is the average value of each beast. Um, there are nine total. Uh, the average we have right now over, uh, let's see, we've had five people in each group with 17 memories tracked is exactly three. Um, uh, three is the exact average in terms of total beasts. So I, I can almost guarantee you after this amount of data, um, that is the average is how many you will capture. So that means that the average return on your guys end is 633, 633 chaos per, which is equals uh, M 16 divided by 245, 2.58 divines per memory. Where yeah, you got? That's, that's pretty fucking good, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and if we complete those every four, let's say five minutes, you get 12 times that an hour, hourly, memory. Are you going to factor in the smoke breaks and the food breaks? No, this is this is just saying if we were to do it straight. And there, there are no breaks, they're necessities. You guys can't have breaks, but you know, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the average. Um, uh, equals M. See, obviously, if this were a league start situation or something like that, it would be a little, obviously a little bit more uh, yeah. you know, focused on whatever we're getting pretty blase about right now, though. Hourly times uh, 12. 31 divines an hour for you guys. Um, pretty. That's, that's really good. Holy shit. Yeah. That's the average. Goddamn. And that's, uh, but that does include actually Vivid Vultures. Um, so obviously, I'm, oh. Obviously, it won't be uh, quite that high because you're doing the vulture, but nonetheless, um, if we're running, well, if it's three on average and we're running 12 per hour, that's 36. That'd be me minus four. So, maybe yeah, we're making about 15 divides an hour. Still profit. That's still, that's still really good. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, and also, that also doesn't include, by the way, that only includes harvest beasts, right? So, you can also get Crate of Chimeras, regular beasts. Uh, yeah. You know, whatever plus the drops in the map and whatever so purely from the harvest beast 15 divides now and that's yeah. while giving away the vultures if you keep the vultures it's... yeah i'll be right back gonna go take yeah i'm, I'm gonna actually eat this pasta real quick so we'll, we'll be good to go here guys in about six to seven minutes i just have craft dinner here because i'm a fucking 32 year old that eats craft dinner be right back
Rizzler, is that you running Malevolence? That's, somebody. Uh, oh, actually, no. Somebody, whoever was running Malevolence the left. Ah. I just, uh, it's funny, I didn't realize that it screws up my build so bad. <laughs> uh, well, you Fighting don't really have to worry about that since, you know, low tier. Yeah, marks. yeah. <laughs> damage, doesn't, damage doesn't matter. Yeah. That's just good to know if I ever party with anybody that's running Malevolence again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody leave to go trade. Somebody left entirely and just got off line. Damn. Yeah, oh, I yeah, it was. I'm gay, I think. Yeah. Oh, I went to go trade. Gotta keep making money, man. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I saw all those beasts that I'm getting. Hell yeah. I got a quad tab, so if my stash gets full, I'm just gonna dump everything into there. <laughs> After that. Oh fuck, I forgot. I just took these fucking this nuts out of the freezer and they're wet as fuck. Dude, this is the way to get chaos. Hell yeah. Vivid Watchers, 100 chaos apiece. The chaos just flows right in. <laughs> yeah, it does. No He's trading for divs. He's pretty good, yes. How do you guys feel about the market inverting for uh, chaos to div ratio? It's kind of weird. Yeah. Market kinda... inverting for chaos to div ratio. Yeah, it used to be one div for like 70 chaos. And now it's like one div for like 45. Wait, what? Chaos. What do you... What? So, uh, if you go to poeninja.com, yeah. it tracks the div price, right? Mm hmm So, it used to be a, you had to pay 170 chaos for one div, but now you can get one div for 145, so it's gone down. It went up, and then now it went down again. Aren't divs, like, 240 chaos, though? Like, right now? Yeah, yeah kind of. They're wow. going up and down, so they, if you, uh... If you go to POE PO Ninja, it went up and now it's going down again. Yeah. Ah, the good times when it was 22 chaos, my god. Yeah, look at this start there. I actually, um, when I came back to playing this game again, and since I played before divs were changed, like with Exalted, I uh, got a diff from someone and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this div on my tabula. Did you really? Yeah, <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> used it on the tabula? Did you yeah. use a div on an item that doesn't roll anything? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I have to try this. This is <laughs> not real. That kind of hurt me when, you know, I was at one div and like 100 chaos. I was like, finally, I'm going to be able to make my build. And I'm like, oh, this. Divine isn't probably worth anything, so, you know, we just, uh... Do I have a tabula I can divide? I probably just sold them all. Yeah, I gave mine, all mine away. Yeah, all mine are corrupted, so I can't... Uh, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of them that are corrupted. <laughs> just throw a ball on them. Can you guys invite me back to party? Uh, yeah, who are you? Anything, oh, necro? something necro? Yeah. Necro? Absolutely anything necro. Yes. Yeah. It was a bad name at the time, but can't change it. Nah, it's good. It's good. My uh, first character's name this league was literally just my name. 
uh, well, my Discord name, but I just decided to go full meme with this name. Off the fa Fajita scale? Fujita. It's the Tornado Fujita. scale. I'm playing Twister. Oh. A Tornado, like, power scale, or whatever. Oh. Damn. I don't no, steal Twisters in the hideout, but... You can see my thing flash back and forth. Oh, actually, you're back. You're the one running Malevolence. I am running Malevolence. Is that in bad? A normal, uh, in a Are damage circumstance, you'd be bricking my build. Oh. But well, damage not... doesn't matter here, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm not doing damage. I just take my weapon off and follow him, so... Yeah, you okay. use the, uh... I'll turn off Malevolence, too. Oh, it, you it used the Arakali's Fang, too, right? Or, no, no, you don't. Yeah. Oh, you I do? Am. Oh, okay. Good. Do you have a? Do you have the squire shield as well? I do have a squire. Yeah, same. I uh, my build. I'm like my character is really great. I have 67 chaos. That's about it. And then I have a squire. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, at one point I did have like 60 divs since I got an apothecary from a stack deck and I got a div altar. So. Oh, nice. That shit went mostly to my build and gambling, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> always does. Yep. It always does. As long as you're having fun. Yeah, my build does, like, I don't know, 10 mil on average, so it's, like, decent, I guess. It's good yeah. enough for, like, T16, 8 mods. Have you guys seen the Twister build before? No. no show us. Uh, one of you guys should. Well, I think there's only one portal left, but I'm sitting in the the uh, relic you, you can take it if you want. I'm going. I want to see. I'm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Are you using uh, sas sasquills or whatever? Yep, sasquills. Can you Sacral. share your screens? Uh, I kind of want to see that too. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, is it good? Uh, do you have good damage? Or? That's pretty good. I can just run through T16s. Pretty much just kill everything. Damn. I have no idea what it, it's like for bossing. I don't think it's really optimized for bossing. Is it self cast or is it? Uh, um, is it like a auto bomb? No, so it's uh, so uh, Sackwall's flock, the Silken Hood, says trigger level twenty twister when you gain Avian's might or Avian's flight. Oh, you're the guy and... flipping back between the two. Yep. Damn, you got the whole Sackwall set. That's fine. Yeah, so I'm running the nest as well, which is why you guys are getting. Um, Avian's might, Avian's flight as well. He's a bird. What does Plus Avian's uh, might do? Um, I think Avian's might gives you 10% chance to deal double damage. Alright, and why are your sockets <laughs> like that? Like, I see they have some, uh, funky, um, spikes in them, in your weapons and shit. Oh, this is, uh, this is just the colorblind mode. Yeah. Oh. That's just, I don't, I don't actually need it, but I think it's easier to tell the sockets apart. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good design for colorblindness. Yeah, they added it uh, two or three leagues ago, I think. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm normally running uh, the Spark MTX because for some reason Spark MTX applies to twisters, sure. so I can actually see what's going on. <laughs> Come back. What's your uh, reservation efficiency on your your chest? Does uh, that I matter? I think it's 19. 19, okay. Yeah. This, most of this, I think all of this gear is actually just self-farmed. Oh, nice. Ooh, heartburn. Yeah. One, two. Negative 1.92 on the boot. Who are we missing? Oh, is Gay leave? Oh, uh, yeah, he's gone. Sorry, he's gone? Oh, he's, he's gone. gone. Sorry, I had to sound. Sorry, he left? Yeah, he left the party on Discord. Okay. Uh, YouTube, one spot. So I need to chat. Okay. Where is the colorblind mode in the ops? I'm trying to find it right now. Uh, it's probably under gameplay. Actually, no, it's probably under UI. Mm. Um, yeah, it's under UI and then items. It says socket notches. Oh. Right, thank you. Yep. God damn, it looks cool as fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so reds have that spiky thing and all blues have that whirly thing and then yep it's a, and then uh, whites it's have nothing <laughs> damn Uh, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> so, uh, I'll do an at everyone on Discord too. On Discord, you know, fucking. People get so annoyed with how often I add everyone. I'm my, one of my great joys. One of my great joys. <laughs> so you can just turn off fuck. You can just turn off notification settings. Some people don't know that though, it like they can fucking like, stop fucking pinging me. <laughs> you just ping everyone when you like take a shit and you're like, yeah, I took a shit, that's all. Well, it's, 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 it's just like a force multiplier on my efforts. Like most of the time people are, I mean, that server is called built in server, so there's somewhat of an implied, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, but if I'm doing yeah. something like this and it's like there's 800 people logged into the server, I can't go to TFT, there's not a lot of people in game. It's like that's just, uh, it'd be dumb not to, right? Yeah. Uh, This hideout looks cool as fuck. I really like the waypoint one. My hideout? Yeah. Alright, thank you. I, I love gold! <laughs> don't we all, don't we all. We here at Path of Exile are certified gold goblins. I just crashed uh, one of my uh, PoE friends' game when I wrote him <laughs> while I was loading in. <laughs> Your friend live in like Liberia? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Bro, you know I you guess can... Russia. Bro, you know the fucking get the enemy. <laughs> he said, "I'm on a ten-year-old Mac, bro." I'm like, "Damn." Should <laughs> return of the Mac. <laughs> What's your go-to music genre, Belton? Uh, kind of a yeah, kind of eclectic, but probably nineties hip hop and classic rock, primarily. Yeah, uh, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. You say bumble rap? I'm gonna climb through your fucking. <laughs> I hate your generation. I know every generation says that about the subsequent generations. Fucking hate Gen Z. Uh. Music. I listen to like eighties shit mostly. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff that's just like timeless, like that, that, like obviously music before my era, too. But <clears throat> I think in general, the music today is just. I know I re I realize it's uh, what is this? Um, yeah, music is bound to change a lot during the uh, years. So. Yeah. No. No. I, I just. Why would you? Uh. Melancholy. Mm. Oh, I invited the wrong person, that's why.
Okay. Me guys, yep, yep, yeah. This is Mummers. What's up, dude? Um, have you been have you been watching uh, on stream or uh, following along at all or no? Uh, not today. Okay, yeah, cool. That's fine. We're just doing a very specific thing, um, and the efficiency of that is uh, largely dictates how well we do. So basically, <clears throat> um, I'm paying for all the memories. Uh, you guys can keep every beast. Uh, just give me vivid vultures. That's all I ask. Um, but also we're collecting data to find out the average, um, return of beasts for people, um, who are in the group that are not opening the memory. So the basis for this being that next league, for example, off the get-go, obviously we're going to want to do this as, you know, a stream or a guild or whatever group is doing it. Um, it would be good to have underlying data to see if it's better to run them, the memories individually, or if one person should open the memory and the group member should be in there. Um, thus far, we've tracked uh, an average of three beasts um, getting captured by you guys, so the five of you that aren't opening the map, per memory. In uh, the average cost of the beast, uh, average value of each beast being 211 chaos, means that for each memory we open, uh, you guys should be averaging 633 chaos. Now, because you're going to be giving me vultures, it's going to be less than that, uh, but it should still total somewhere around 20 to 25 divines an hour. Um, here, one divine sale here, one sec. Melancholy, are you, are you in the part? Are you here still here, buddy? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, yeah. So we'll collect this data, and then the the underlying values can be uh, adjusted for next league's uh, economy. Um, but also for the vultures, uh, the market literally people are stockpiling them, so it's it's actually literally impossible to buy them. <clears throat> so on my end, um, if you if you're to run these like one memory. Uh, it's not like the, the net profit. I think the margin is like 0 0.2 divines or something like that. Um, and obviously it's not a very effective way to get vultures because it means like once every five minutes you, you have a 60% chance of getting a single vulture, right? It's not, you're maybe going to farm 10 of them an hour, whereas doing it like this, I can get obviously more than that. So uh, that's the benefit on my end. Uh, we're going to use those for crafting. So with respect to the formatting of how we do this, um, there is a rejects um, that somebody, I'll type in chat for you in a second. And uh, this will, when you enter this, it will uh, separate all the harvest beasts, uh, the wild hellions, uh, sorry, the wild primals and um, wild primals and vivids. Um, at the end of each map, uh, I'll say bottle and report. And all I need you to do is if, um, if you have any vivid vultures, let me know and trade me those. And then just tell me a number. I'm going to go audibly down a list. So verbally uh, on Discord here. I'll say, oh, sorry, who did we lose there? We lost Farmeca, and we replaced that with Manoriz. And we lost Isgabe, we replaced that with, what was your name again? Uh, off the, I'll say Fujita. So I'll, I'll just go down the list, and I'll say Rizzler, how many, Manoriz, how many, blah, blah, blah. And at that point, um, you'll type in, press H, go to the bestiary, type in the rejects, which will sort, uh, the, the one I have right here. This will sort the, um, the amount of, uh, it'll show your Harvest Beast. At that point, bottle all of them so it clears out your thing because we're going to be, we want to collect the data each map. And if you build up hundreds of these, it's going to um, uh, be difficult to follow. And at some point, you'll misreport, which will screw up the data set. So at the end of each map, uh, use um, what you would call them, the bestiary orbs, and uh, get rid of all the harvest beasts. Keep the ones that are not vivid vultures. Trade me the ones that are vivid vultures. <clears throat> Once everyone's reported, then we go into the next map. When we're going through the maps, um, it's low level. Uh, everything will get insta gibbed, uh, insta shot. The first, uh, the first map of each memory will have two harvest beasts. Second one will have three. The third one will have four, for a total of uh, nine. Uh, we're just going throughout the course of the map. Um, I will have H. If you press H and then have captured beast, I'll have that rejects open as we run through. Um, as well, I'll be leading the way because I move quite quickly. And when I see a harvest beast, I'll stop. Make sure everyone is within range. We kill that and we move on. 
to uh, the next one. And as soon as we have all the harvest bees done, we go into the next map. Uh, once we get into a rhythm of things, we should be able to do this once uh, a full memory about every once every four to five minutes, um, especially because they're on the lower maps. So what's important on your end is to make sure you have enough beast fury orbs, make sure you have the rejects copied, make sure you do not have any harvest beasts in there currently, um, and uh, make sure you have enough movement speed and stuff to keep up. Um, if it becomes a habitual issue, because it has with some people, uh, they move too slowly or they just weren't able to keep pace, we're running tier one maps, tier two maps, uh, and they're all white. So like you don't need damage, you don't need defenses. Literally all you gotta do is be able to keep speed. Uh, and then there's no, um, what's this? Oh, sweet, thanks dude. Here, I got some cash for you. Uh, yeah, you just need to keep keep pace and uh, and then everyone will get, uh, will get that. Uh, very important that you clear out your beast area each time, uh, as much as I wanna have the vultures so I can keep crafting my power charge rings. Uh, you know, divines are not, I'm not really concerned about a financial thing. It's really just because there's no access to the market. However, if the data set gets skewed, it poisons the validity of the entire thing. Um, and it uh, it takes away, obviously, from the uh, legitimate merit of uh, that collection. So please be sure to do that um, as well. Uh, uh, to uh, when, when a vivid vulture is dropping in a map, I will yell vulture, vulture. Uh, if you can just check your rejects at that moment. So you press H, Control F, Control V, very easy to do while actually still mapping, and uh, and just uh, let me know if you got one or not, uh, because we're tracking that as well what the actual capture rate is on those things. Um, but yeah, so through the first 17 memories we've done so far, um, the hourly rate of profit for you guys uh, is 31 divines if we if we are able to run 12 an hour, which means once every five minutes, um, and uh, that would be capturing a total of. Uh, 12 times uh, 3, so 36 beasts. So you would be giving uh, 4 vultures to me on average. So that would be less the cost exceed. So you'd be making uh, at least somewhere around 15 divines an hour just from the harvest beasts uh, as well. Um, you obviously can get like great chick chimeras and map drops and all that kind of stuff too. So probably work out to be around 20 hours, 20 divines an hour of pure profit at this point. Um, obviously it's a little bit higher for me because I'm getting the vultures, but I'm not planning on selling those. I'm using them for crafting. Um, so everyone is nice and equally incentivized. Uh, and yeah, but the entire success of this is contingent on everyone understanding what I was just talking about. Um, and you know, keeping pace, uh, properly. So, uh, just verbal, and, and this is not meant to be patronizing, but does everyone understand what I was, what I was just saying? Everyone's yes. Yeah. Yes. You're all good. For, for clarity, we're bottling and reporting it after the memory not each the memory, memory ever yeah I'll, I'll say it verbally as well i'll probably type it in party at first to get in rhythm it's every three maps i'll say bottle and report so you don't need to keep track of it uh, you'll you'll hear a verbal cue but it's every three for your own sake um, I feel bad now. it took me like two fucking memories to actually get that and this guy gets it in one uh, fucking sentence you know <laughs> yeah i've been watching this for a while yeah fair that's my favorite pickup line it's only harvest memory you want, or you want others, because I have plenty. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, the only thing I want is that everyone acknowledges what I just said and, and understands. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay. On board, uh, Melancholy still needs an invite. Yeah, so yeah, I, somebody's buying a Foss for three divines for me. Fuck, I write guides two months ago and they still work. Fucking get wrecked. Uh, just joking. Where's this one? Ooh, this is a shock about it. Nice. Uh, Divine. Is Melancholy not in chat? Or that, that's you right now, you're just referring yourself in the third person? Correct. Roger. Smart. Uh, one Divine. What the fuck? Man, I, I tried to start putting things into the uh, folder options that they have. Um, and it's so foreign to me that I, I constantly forget that it exists. And I end up looking through all my normal tabs, like, for five minutes. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's under the folder. Can't win. Yeah, at Melancholy... He's gone. No one calls in. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so make sure, just make sure uh, what we're doing here. Oh, yeah, also, um, most of the map layouts, so every time I'm going to be placing it on uh, Plateau, because Plateau can go into a toll and then bog. That's the ideal layout, because um, those are obviously very quick maps. Uh, sometimes, though, it's going to go, obviously, Spider Lair, Acid Caverns, uh, sometimes to Pier or whatever. So there's not necessarily going to be a directly linear map all the time. Um, in general, just keep your um, mini map open and I'll be leading the way. So just watch where I'm going. Uh, we don't want to divide directions because these are low tier maps. 
um, and beast beast capturing does have a range so we want to make sure that we're all moving as a, a unit uh, naturally we're going to be moving very quickly so um it just as a, as a marker um i'll be leading the way just so that everyone uh, has a usual or a universal uh, thing to base that off of all right everyone ready yeah Roger, Roger. Hello. Roger, Roger. And then, of course, uh, you know, don't run the map before uh, Belton's here. Yeah, no, just wait for everyone to move. I'll usually, because I have to bottle, I have to enter the data and then bottle, so um, I gotta, I'll open the map and then I'll bottle my stuff, which will take a few seconds. So by the time that's done, I'm done bottling and entering again. You guys should have all loaded, but I know some of you guys... Judging by those non-American accents, you fucking foreigners, um, that uh, you might have some ping, so. Crash. One out of two. Primal, worthless. If it's a valuable one, I'll let you guys know. Ooh, double primal, for real. For a toll, because we'll be here quite often, just so no, so it doesn't seem like I'm going crazy. Well, I'll do a 360 loop of this little front area here, and then we'll always go this way towards the boss. Um, these are Lola. Oh, Vulture! Check Vulture! Nothing. I got one. Beauty. Uh, we, we also got a Watcher there, too. Vulture also. I think that's the first time we've had two vultures pick up a vulture. Perfect. Good start to this next little uh, next little thing here. Sorry that I have to take breaks at set points. Uh, I know it's probably a little frustrating when we get in the vibe of things. Um, just for some context, though, I, I end up gaming, like streaming or like, making videos about 18 hours a day. Um, and even though we're in a group and whatever, I, I do have to address human uh physiological needs at some point so i just had to eat yeah there. It, yeah it's fine i also like the breaks you know yeah. so you don't have to like 24 7 run the maps yeah but um one two three okay clear um uh, for, for the uh, vultures you can trade those to me uh now in between wait what the fuck is this who's invite ah! why are you fucking sending me invites you fucking cunt hey, he's out of queue I fucking hate when people do that. I thought that was some one of you sending me a trade request, and it was some random dude wanting to join the party who sent me an invite instead of asking. So I clicked it. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm sorry. Can one invite you back to group? That fucking drives me nuts. Yeah, can someone invite me too? Since I also left. Yeah, Fujita, can you promote me to uh, leader? Uh, yeah. I'm sure that wasn't done intentionally, and I'm sure this is almost certainly someone from YouTube. Actually, it could be from Discord, but either way. Um, don't ever do that. Probably will block you. Like, when someone messages you to, like, try, sends you a message to buy something, and then they start spam inviting you, and, like, you're, like, in the middle of a boss fight or some shit. Uh, yeah. And it's just, like, dude. Um, who is it? Sorry, was it, um, another call you going to? Roger, Gadger. Huh? Uh, can you uh, send me an invite when you can? Who's uh, who's me? 
the Rizzler. Oh, Necro, you good? Sorry, I just you. buying another memory. Oh, uh, yeah, cool. While we were down. Launcher. Alright, just invite me again. Alright, guys, when you ask for invites, DM me. Like, I I don't want to have to type out and search for your names and different things. Message yeah, me. No worries. Yeah. Let me... Because when you say me, I also have no idea, like, what me associates with in-game, and... It's just don't accept like... that. Ah! <laughs> Type at oh. fucking... Are you guys retarded? I'm sorry, I'm going to lose it right here, and I don't mean this because I love you all. Fucking at... Do it again. Discharge goat and type crap in chat. Because fucking brain dead? God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! That one. That one it's like, have you guys like goddamn computer engineers? You can't send a fucking at? I can't. I, I do my shit on goddamn notepad and I can figure this out. Fucking Christ! All right, now I'm done venting. <laughs> Fuck! All right, I can't <laughs> operate my mouse. Thank you for allowing me my cathartic moment. <laughs> okay, guys, please don't do this or I'll kick you. Five seconds later, does it? Yes. <laughs> Get the rest of Belton. TFT for life. <laughs> uh, okay, get... from Belton's Discord. <laughs> Y'all, are you guys ready? My yep. pick. My photos just in a. I sound more hoarse than a frog. Shit. At least I don't look more hoarse than a frog. Mm. Nah. Uh, I, need, I need to have some water. Yeah, maybe I'll get some water in a sec. Uh, be serious. I gotta re enter the rejects and such. Prepared for the end. Wild Hellion Alpha, 1.1 Divines, for you guys, if you captured it. Hope so. <laughs> Wild uh, Vivid Abarak, 2 out of 4. I believe this is another bit of bra bra. It is three to four. I mean, I believe this is a primal here. Done. Good shit. Good shit. I got the primal. Yeah, all I need to know at the end. So when we actually capture Vivid Vultures, I'll ask you guys uh, if you caught it then, and then you can trade it to me then. So then that way at the end of each map, there's nothing you guys have to report, or sorry, each memory, nothing you guys need to report except for the total amount of beasts that within the reject, so either Wild Primal or Vivid, that were captured. I don't need any other information aside from that number. Um, so I'll, I'm going to go down the list here in a sec, and I'll call you guys number of these. I should have done this as columns. This is fucking stupid on my part. Um, okay. Uh, Rizzler. Two. Mandarin. Honors, one. All right, Melon. Two. Necro. Zero. Fuji. Three. Two. Greetings. There is a... Uh.
Oh, what the fuck? Don't leave it hanging. What happened? <laughs> Ping. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure if anyone here, you live the closest to me, geographically speaking. Actually, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is there anyone else, else here who's American or North American? Wisconsin. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm a Canadian boy, so we're probably closer than most of, most of these lads anyways. Yeah, it's... Uh, my game's been doing surprisingly well with the ping. Like, I haven't had those teleports and... I mean, you, should, you shouldn't be having any ping uh, from where you are to where I am. Shouldn't have yeah, any at all. If I'll you blame do. it on the winter. A wild Heli and Alpha, 1.1 div. You guys keep. Primal Cyst, worthless. Am I buying them? Uh, not at current market prices, no. The reason, like, one of the impetuses for doing this too was that even when they did pop up on the market, like, a, a memory cost 5 divines or 5.5 .5 divines, and a vulture at the moment. Because, like, when I use vultures, I've used 17 or 18,000 vultures this league. Actually, sorry, 17 was just on rings. So I've used 19,500 vultures in total. Um, and so when I use them, it's not like I'm using, like, 5 or 10 at a time. I end up... Um, I end up using, uh, you know, hundreds, right? And so because of that, I always end up running the market up on myself. So even if, you know, vultures were, a few of them were posted at 4.5, by the time I bought the amount that I would actually need, they'd probably be at six or something. And then you in you inadvertently end up setting a new market price because people see that high demand or whatever. And then, you know, they obviously match the lowest price currently. And it, it just ends up being a bit of a mess. So when you go and look then and see that the price of the actual harvest memory, um, is uh oops, sorry guys my one fucking idiosyncratic thing there we go um the harvest memory is you know 5.5 it's like that's half a divine more maybe at most a divine more than the actual vulture itself knowing you can split farm that doesn't really make sense to buy them so i would buy vultures but uh i'd only buy them at like i don't know for nine of them i'd pay 30 30 or 35 divines at most oh, vulture vulture i think Ah, fuck, that was a cyst color, sorry. Already fell with the uh, MTXs and stuff. Oh, that's a bristle matron. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, damn, I got that. Nice. Done. It's a fine... Retail. Um, my point of saying that is, is, is to say I don't want to insult you, but... Asking for a discount, you'll be able to get make more money on the open market if you sell them. If you're not in a rush, though, you might want them later. But for now, it makes more sense to do this. Um, also, because the league, the league, the sales in the league are quite slow right now. So, um, you know, even if I do have a decent amount of liquidity at the moment, uh, there's no assurances that that'll. Um, Refill up uh, any kind of predictable uh, timeline. Right. <laughs> I died. It's a red beast like sitting on the portal. Oh, sorry. And no one was attacking it because we were waiting. Oh shit! Sorry, man. Did you say you died? I died. Yeah. Where? Nobody's dead. I died right at the portal, basically. Oh, okay. It doesn't show you as being dead on my screen. Yeah, me neither. It, uh, unless it's a vivid vulture, you can kill it, by the way, in that situation. If you're going to die. Actually, no, sorry. You shouldn't kill it because I I get 100% capture. You guys only have a chance, right? So, yeah. Sorry, never mind. My bad. Uh, I had some extra shit in my... I forgot to clear out my... Uh, Siri from the one before, so I had to get an extra piece there. Uh, one out of four. Apologies about that, uh, Fuji. Or logic. Oh, yeah. that, that Fuji's logic, right? Correct. Oh, I wish you guys were all pathological narcissists and named all your characters Belton like me. <laughs> <laughs> 
my real last name is Manners, so... Is it? Yeah. I guess I've been well behaved the whole life, so... Uh, why isn't it Belton? I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> Think well, I'm out here trying to learn new names? I'm quite sure if you have CFT, you don't have any manners, so... Oh, that's true. <laughs> so that might be the reason. Well, that's alright. At least they gave me new things to add to my CV. Four-time fucking Twitch fan recipient award winner. Uh, six times POE Reddit subreddit uh, ban award winner. Uh, recipient of sticky referendum on my character and charisma. Target of totally. Did you get an award? One of my fucking uh, Discord accounts is banned on like half of the uh, popular Discord service on this board. Yeah. I did not even try to do that, but. Well, if you didn't try to do that and that happened, I mean, you must be a pretty terrible person. Goddamn, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm worse than Jeffrey Dahmer and Ted Bundy combined, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Did you by that voice sound more John Wayne Gacy to me? You gotta love the, you gotta love the Gacy, dude. <laughs> Come uh, on, kids, let me show you a handcuff trick. Oh my god. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, the memories. Now I sound like a Cosby victim. Hello. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, don't enter, don't enter, don't enter, don't enter, report, report, report. Okay, it's fine if you're in the map. Zero. Uh, my bad, that's my fault. Um, Rizzler? One. Uh, Manners? Zero. Melancholy? Three. Necro? Zero. Fuji? One. Sorry, guys. I can't believe I'm getting zero. This is crazy. It, it, it's honestly, it's very streaky. Again, we've got, I've got the information now for, so five people times uh, 1995 data sets, data points, and zero shows up at least 15 or 20 times. Right? It, That's true. Uh, Just a chance. Yeah. The, 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 the mean is three, but that doesn't mean that, you know, the distribution is always going to be that that measured like if you ever done like double corrupted like enlightens oops is that me have you ever like double corrupted like enlightens or empowers or shit like that i almost never get one like every one in four it's like i'll hit like three in a row think i'm a god I'll sell one then buy 20 of them and then get zero <laughs> you know Damn. i'll be like when i'm winning i have a system when things go the opposite way it's <laughs> because the game is unfair <laughs> Wild Bristol. Got it. yeah yeah Bristol. That's a 1.2 divines for you guys there. Capture it. Big old quotation marks around that word system. <laughs> and I got zero watcher's eyes. And I only broke even because of an order of dominance. Done. Oh, I'm not ready. Well, so the first, the first map of memory gives two beasts. The second map gives three. The third one gives four. Oh, so, so they're obviously the duration or length of them is going to correspond. Plus, the first map is always going to be plateau. The second map will all, often be a toll, and the third map will often be one that has a, a uh, you know, not as good of a layout. So, proportionately, the fourth one is always going to seem substantially longer. Watch it. One out of four. I think that's a vulture. No, never mind. Okay, so we do this alright. Do the circle, stick to my own rule, and then come down this way so we pass by boss. Can't tell what rare that is there.
Uh, that might be a wild Hellion. Yep, wild Hellion Alpha, 1.1 divs, 3 out of 4. Yeah, this map's pretty good. A tool? Or there uh, I mean, like, this specific one we're running right now. Like, not uh, like a tool at home, but you know. The, the beasts are good. Yeah. Is that a frog? Is that a frog? I don't know. Is anyone here French? Racket Camaro. Oh, Christian Camaro. Um, he was jumping. One, two, three. Clear. Uh, let me check. Look at Belted. Hey, what's up, Desi? Great check. No, it was not. Rip. Jesse, this is the system that I'm setting up uh, for us to transition to the new league for our mirror crafting thing. Um, and like the data is super promising. Because obviously, if you remember last, like we didn't understand really the vultures and uh, all that kind of crap and the power of it until after we'd mirror crafted that belt. Um, and if we hadn't done the belt first and we'd focused on bows or whatever, like we would have had and, you know, and, and did that right from day one instead of, uh, you know, starting day four or whatever. Would have been crazy. So this league, obviously. Oh, here's one of them. Um, collecting the data for group farming here. Brambleback. That's a uh, awakened gem level. Uh, Razor. Here's a primal. Two out of four. And I think it's a wild Dabarak. Or a vivid Dabarak. Could be, be a spider. Oh. And that looks like a primal there, too. One, two, three, four. Clear. In a second, one, two. Rizzler. Uh, five. Five, wow. Uh, Manage. Yeah. Two. Jesus. Two. Uh, Melon. Two. Necro. Two. Fuji. Zero. Damn, Fuji, you're getting, uh, you're getting that test uh, off the bat here. Rizzler stole all mine. The rookie tab. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Rizzler, you got almost as many. Like, I, got, I only get eight, nine of them, right? You have more than half of what I did. Damn. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Alrighty. Look at that transition time, boys. Good shit. We're up. That efficiency lane in here. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm just for my own edification here. One second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open a new tab and run a timer here and see how quickly we can do a whole memory. Uh, timer. Screen. Stopwatch. Okay, you guys in? One sec, sorry. Just answering request to join group. Yeah. And uh, all right, timer starting. Beast here, capture beast, control F, control B, good to go. This charge is so slow, Belden. Fuck you, losers.
Vulture, vulture, vulture. Don't attack a vulture till everyone's by a vulture or I will rip your fucking head off. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Perfect. Anyone else? Do you reject tech? I also got it. Yeah! Fucking right. Thanks, guys. Done. Abrak. Vivid Abrak. Time one minute, four seconds. Uh, if you got a Vivid Vulture bottle, hand it to me now. Yeah. Uh, you can initiate trade with me whenever it's ready. Watch it again. Keep in mind we're being timed here. Logic good. Who is the other person? Manners trading now. Manners perfect. Great. Thank you, lads. And back to number two. Sick. That was a very good transition time there, boys. Good job. What a difference it makes being on voice chat for something like this, though, eh? Yeah. It's much easier. Yeah. Or imagine trying to do this with, like, a random, non-organized group. Like, okay, oh, guys, God. here's the four. Here's what you're going to do. <laughs> I play a lot of some German guys in in the guild I am in now, so they talk, talk on Discord all the time. It's very efficient when you... Well, from what I remember, uh, they're pretty good at following orders, too. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one? It was open goal. <laughs> <laughs> Not many would shoot the shot, but damn, did he score! <laughs> <laughs> All right, two out of three, wild Hully and alpha. This is a vivid watcher right here, I believe. Clear. Three minutes total time so far. Oh, rejects. Oh. I believe that's a bramble back. Bristle Matron, 1.2 divs. This is a vivid Abarak right here. Two out of four. Uh, this looks like a primal. Primal three to four, and we've got another. We got another bristle over here. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Why are you guys not back there? Clear, and time. <laughs> Boys. What? We're, we're beating this the expectation. I said I said it's five minutes. We're at four twenty eight, so Damn. Uh, that would be thirty five divines an hour. That means that collectively, so thirty five divines an hour is for five of you if you kept your vultures. Uh, that that would presume um, so that would be sixteen, uh, so sixty four to my, so sixteen minus that would be twenty two. So nineteen times five ninety five. And I would be making 64 plus a salary. That means we're collectively making just under 180 divines an hour right now as a group. Nice. That's really good profit. So if we split everything equally, we bought all of the memories equally, and we sp split the profits, we sold everything, what would be the total for everyone? It would be uh, 30 divines an hour per person. 
Actually, no, sorry, it'd be more than that. Um, I, I'll do the math. Uh, well, sorry, right now. So right the, the, here, let me pull up the. Well, first of all, everyone report first. Let me uh, sorry, gather that quickly. Uh, all right. Uh, why don't you roll maps? Quantity gives a chance to capture beasts for leechers. Is that a confirmed fact? Because I've never heard that ever from any person in my life. And I can't imagine, like right now, the the mean. So the the sorry, let me do this first. Rizzler. Three. Matt Manners. One. Melon. One. Necro. Uh, two. Fuji. Three. And uh, I got all the vultures from you guys, right? No, I got one. Yeah. I gave you mine. Mm -hmm. Just updating our averages here. Average drops. Three point nine poor beast for a two now. Average for you guys capturing. Right. Three point nine four. Three point nine four uh, times two hundred and eleven. Uh, that means you're averaging 831 chaos per memory, um, 245, or 3.3 .3 divines uh, times 12. You're making 40 divines an hour. That was if you kept your vultures. So disregarding that, if we run 12 an hour, I would be getting... Um, so that means your collective is 200 and, uh, 204. Mine would be uh, 12 times 9 is 98. Divided by nine, I'd be getting eleven vultures, which is would be fifty-five. Fifty-five. Mm, 66, 77, 80. So I'd be making eighty in that time. That's two hundred and eighty prorated divided by six. That's forty-five divines an hour. Is it what would be generating that? My sum formula is wrong. Which one is? B2 to B7. So it's adding all of these. And this is doing divided by 5, which is the amount of people in the group. And then the average drops is just this number averaged. What, what is wrong about that? Oh, so your sum is B2 to B7. B2. B2. Row 2 oh. is your memory number. Shit. Fuck me. Sorry. Uh oh. I was going to say that sounded kind of good to be true. <laughs> Alright, boys. It's significantly lower than this, but we'll find out what it is in a sec here. Hey, I think you found an infinitely scaling strat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, why is the number going up so much? Uh, okay, sorry, one sec, guys. Uh, two, B3, B3. You should just be able to drag that formula over. Ah. Okay, 1.5 beats per. That makes a lot more sense. I feel stupid. Good thing I didn't report this publicly. It looked like a real asshole. Uh, average is 1.9, so it's about 2. Just under 2 right now. Um, 1.1 times 211. 
Sorry, let me readjust. Uh, M16 and the 14. Per memory, 397. 1.62 divines. It's 20 divines an hour. Uh, Damn. So it's still good. I think in few columns you still got the error. I think on the memory for run, it's still adding the total. Which one? I just entered them manually. Ah, yeah. None of these are incorrect. It's like total 19 there on, on one of the run. It's memory for. All of these are memory for. Memory for the fourth one we ran? Is that what you mean? Uh, yeah, the fourth run. It's like total 19 there. Oh, right. Okay, thanks. I don't know why that one went back reverted to that. Um, otherwise, is it good? Yeah, we could have run another memory in this time. Yeah, sorry. The data is important. I don't think anyone here is stressing over at this point. Specifically, losing a divine, are they? If they are, no. I can do this later. Nah, I'm not at least. They, they, uh, this is meant to, like, I, I mean, aside from myself, if anyone else is planning on crafting or has specific goals that this is, like, for the league, that this is uh, poor, 100% I'll stop and get to it. Um, for yeah, myself, the, you a hard time. Yeah, yeah, but for myself, the crafting, like, I want to do it before the league's done because there's no way I'm obviously going to ever go back over to standard in the middle of the league and do this, but um, the data is obviously what's most important here, I think. So somebody was saying that... Um, <laughs> Am I adding vultures or overall? Uh, nope. So what you do here, so this is the total amount of beasts that they're getting, right? You then take all of the beasts, which I have listed here, and then this is their sale price currently, right? So you add that up, the total of that, and then you divide that by the total amount of potential beasts because they're equally weighted. So the average then, so the total, adding them all up is eighteen ninety nine. Dividing that by nine gives you two hundred eleven. You then multiply that by the average amount of beasts per map, which is apparently. Uh, it's actually, oh, sorry, 1.74. So we're averaging 1.74 beasts per map on their, sorry, per memory for them, captured, which means per memory, they're they're capturing um, 367 chaos of value, 1.5 divines with an hourly rate of profit for of 18 divines. But that, that is only counting uh, harvest beasts. So uh, the rares, rare beasts are 60 to 1 divine, you know, creature chimeros, final play dragons. It, it probably is going to end up being around somewhere around 25 divines an hour, roughly. I would guess, but simply from the harvest piece for the non-contributing, uh, the non-party uh, member or the non-opening members are, um, yeah, that's what that's for. And this is just so that if you, because the, with the formulas and the information that we uh, extrapolate from this, uh, we can just change the values based next league, change the numerical value of each beast in terms of what it costs uh, to the, whatever it is at that point in the league or that stage of the league. And then we can see if it's more worthwhile to run each one individually or if we should run them as a group. Uh, somebody was asserting that... Uh, wait, somebody was saying that running these rare gives you guys more beasts, so why don't we actually try that, track that now? Alright. Uh, the person that was saying that, do you have a source for that information or is this just a... Um, like a thinking off the top of your head. Oh, hold. Wait for manners. Yeah, sorry. I was sorting out my memories. Yeah, it's all good. Sorry about the delay there, guys. Also, the, the my lack of Excel skills. Uh... Falsely hyping up the, uh, the. I must say that did I seem. I was like, it's strange how we keep progressively getting more beasts per hour or per memory. I was like, I also don't. I think it was a good formula. Well, it, 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 I don't know. I guess because I, uh, I, it was stupid of me to, to start tracking it in the rows instead of the columns, too, because columns are automatically numbered. 
but I guess because I was manually numbering them, it thought that that was a part of the data set. Done. Both garbage. It's like the American bank system. You should have recruited investors before you fixed the formula. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to my buddies at the uh, the ratings agencies. TFT says Belton's new map to success is 100% triple A rated. And the Swiss banks too now, right? <laughs> I'll start. I'll stop capturing uh, in between each map, and just capture at the end of each memory, and that'll speed us along here. Do uh. Gonna have a beef beast mafia next. Well, the, it's, this is the thing. TFT doesn't actually do anything for themselves. They like they magnify the efforts of other people. Who they then you know like <laughs> they don't craft themselves. So the first person who crafts a mirror item gives it to them. They start collecting their fees. That doesn't have too much impact. But once they get that from like thirty people, you know they start making five ten mirrors a day in fees for something they didn't have to put any time into. And now that they're making ten mirrors a day. They offer the person who crafted the best one of those items, the mirrors, to buy it from them full, like, full stop, right? Now they own that item, and then they just keep scaling it that way until they own them all, or they RMT them, obviously. Um, and uh, they don't actually do anything. But the one flaw of that, it, of course, it's very efficient use of their time um, later into the league, which is why they can you know, start scaling and so aggressively manipulating the market at that point. Um, you'll notice that there was a point where Vultures... And like a, a kind of a one week window went from like it was like 2.5 divines and they jumped up to like four and then they sustained at that point that was once tft you know had purchased probably everything they needed to and now we're able to start um rather than purchasing like focusing their investments on capturing back either like they'll repurchase bases like when somebody mirrors an item um and they decide they don't want to play with that mirror item anymore most people will list that mirror item and sell it on trade right and usually people are selling their mirror item for what they paid, uh, what the mirror fee was, plus what they paid, right? But generally speaking, the price of mirrors goes up, um, as does all that other shit. And so because of that, the person is going to be willing to take less than what the mirror fee is at the, that time, right? It wouldn't make sense for someone who's coming to mirror my bow to pay the mirror fee plus buy a mirror if they can go buy it um, off trade, an already mirrored version for 100 divines less, right? So TFT is obviously incentivized to buy those. But where they also, you know, get a leg up in doing that is that, um, you know, the way that they're, is anyone, uh, fuck. is anyone, sorry, is anyone, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt myself for a second, uh, Fizz Reflect, is that a killer for anybody? No. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Um, yeah, so when what they do, when somebody who has mirrored their item before puts it on the open market, they go and buy that mirror copy of it, right? Now the next person who comes to mirror my bow that they're holding on to for me, that person will trade them a mirror thinking that they're mirroring a new copy of the bow. When in fact, they're just giving them and trading that person back the, the first version of the copy that they did from that weapon, right? And what's sick about that on their end is that they control the supply, right? Because now there's less mirror copies in circulation. But also, they don't have to split the fee or the profit with the person who actually crafted it because they didn't actually copy a new version of the bow. They, they flipped that person, you know, and this is their, their little wiggle room around it. We didn't actually, you know, do a new copy. We just flipped our investment um, that we bought on the open market. So we don't have to pay you, the crafter, a mirror fee. Uh, I think it's a vulture. Is that a vulture? Um, and so because of that, you know, that's a pretty disillusioning position to be put in as that person, knowing that, you know, TFT is basically just going to cycle that process over and over, right? Like, if they have my mirror item and I realize that they're probably only actually going to ever pay me three services from it, because after that, they're just going to keep rebuying and recirculating the same item over and over and over again. Um, 
obviously I'd be far more prone at that point to be like, fine, just pay me five or ten divines for the original, right? And so because of that, at that point, they can, you know, start manipulating the market on a grand scale in terms of controlling the material supply, especially given the fact that they're basically market makers and you know, vertically integrated supply chain built into TFT. But sorry, the long and short of what I'm trying to say here is that there's only really one window of opportunity you can compete with a group in TFT, and that is right at the beginning of the league before they ever get an item from anybody. Because at that point, these guys aren't good at the game. They don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? Uh, for the most part. I mean, some of them do, but they're just too lazy or they're too focused on the RMT side of things. And so um, they're reliant on other people providing them their shit, right? And so if you can get ahead of the other people, of, of them getting, you know, 20 other mirror items, um, there's nothing they can do. So, like, that's why I was able to craft the best Elibo last league and why Quiddy was able to craft the best Fizbo, right? It's not because me or Quiddy individually could compete with all of TFT as a conglomerate. It's that TFT doesn't... TFT can't do anything until they're given something. And so that that is a vulnerability on their end that you can only exploit for a very limited window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holy shit, this is the worst one we've ever got. We're done. We got seven primals there. <laughs> Um, How long does it take for uh, TFT to get like their first mirror item usually? Um, they would probably get one within the first four or five days. It would be one that's maybe not of the highest quality. It's generally probably going to be a, a Fizbo that has like a plus two fracture on it or something like that. Um, and they'll only use that one until like an actual product. Like they want to start collecting their fees as soon as they can. So TFT always has like this shifting metric of what's worthwhile to be on their site. So they'll say we only want the best in slot items. You know, we hold ourselves too high style. Actually, no, sorry, they're Israelis living in, or Russians living in Israel, so how would he be talking? Yeah, I think we'll... Fuck, I'm not even going to do this. I'm going to get banned from YouTube for this, whatever. <laughs> We're going down a slippery slope. Um, but they're, you know, they're, they'll say that we only take the absolute best in items, perfect mirror ones or whatever. Um, Complete bullshit. They're going to take the ones that are the, the worst possible one that they can market it as a mirrorable item um, so they can start generating those fees. Especially now that, the, like, I don't want to say we, we've, we've, like, declared open war. They never really, like, I, I've crafted more mirror items than any individual person in this game over the past year or a half uh, by almost, like, a multiplier of three. Uh, this league, I crafted 11 mirror items, uh, like, as one person. Uh, as far as I know, the, the most amount of mirror items anyone else crafted was maybe three. So, like, almost triple what any other one person did, right? And that's been the case for a while, and that, that, that never bothered them. But now that I've set my, like, YouTube kind of caught on, and I was streaming, and now I have a guild, and there's an infrastructure around me. They understand how um, force multipliers work with different people. And so if I can have currency being funneled to me while I just focus on crafting, um, and I obviously know the economic repercussions of, like, the, the you know, the time value thing with curves, right? And how important, first of all, mirror crafting is a zero-sum game, right? The first person who crafts a perfect thing of one item, there's no reason for anyone else to try and make another version of that, right? It's either you get the mirror, the best mirror item for that league, or you don't. There's no in-between, right? And so um, if, if I'm able to do that, then they cannot do that, right? It's like if I have it, they cannot have it. And so now that there, there's like an infrastructural capacity for people to support me doing that, that's why they started lashing out originally. Yeah, but I'm okay. going to say with, with the skill tiers on weapons, isn't it going to be really hard to determine what's actually mirror? Because, like, you can only do something... I, I'm not going to speculate on things that don't exist, and it's kind of a moot argument, so we'll wait to see what happens. I'm going to take off, guys, so... Oh, I already opened the next one. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, who's next? Wait, are two of you leaving or one? Who's that? I can wait for another one. No problem. Yeah, yeah. That was a weird exit. Maybe I said something that was wrong. You've been here for like six hours. Okay, I gotta go, guys. Boom. Disappear. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe got backstabbed by wife or something like that. No, no, I'm, just, I'm wondering if I said something that upset him. No, no, you just had to go, probably, really. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, just, it's weird for me, like, when you told people for like seven hours, to be like, gotta go and just leave. I feel like I would only ever do that if I was pissed or if, like, there was, like, someone holding a gun to my head or I was getting a BJ. Uh... <laughs> Never Who missed the BJ day. Babe, let me farm these harvests. You okay, three people. Gonna... Babe, quiet for a sec, guys. Three people have messaged me from YouTube or Discord asking to join, and none of you are online. I will be inviting the first person who can get the invite. Um, Just sit in your fucking hideout. Wait, you know you can keep POE open for like eight days at a time and it does nothing? 
I don't understand why people constantly feel the need to be in or out. It's it, it's actually incredibly detrimental to constantly log out of the game. If you're logged in, even if you're AFK, you come back after being gone for like two days, you'll have like fucking 20, 30 trade messages. And even if one or two of those people reply, that's one or two additional sales that you have that you wouldn't have had otherwise. But especially right now, if you're asking to be invited to something, stay logged in, please. My game usually crashed once a day. Did we report for the last? No, I'll, I'll collect that in a sec. Uh, okay, well, let me uh, collect the data here first. Um, Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Rizzler. Two. Manorist. Three. Melon. One. One. Necro. Necro's the guy that left. Fuji. Two. I'm just gonna, uh, I'll report Necro as a dash sign to get him to answer. Um, also, anyone that's asking to join, make sure you know exactly what's going on at this point, because there's like six people who want to come. So if, if you don't know what's going on, I'm just going to remove you and put someone in who's been paying attention. Uh, yes, I'm on the road. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. How do you know you you understand what's going on? Uh, all the stuff. Yes, I guess. Okay. Do you have uh, uh your bestiary cleared of any harvest beast, and do you have uh, the bestiary orbs on you? Yes. Okay. Cool. It's okay if you don't. Just we want to get everything set up ahead of time. Um. Let me uh, swap. Can you please send in white once again? It's. Uh no, you, you waited too long. It took too long. Ah, okay. Sorry. No, it's it's not not a problem. But if you're not exactly like. There's like five people waiting. If, if you don't accept the invite, I'm going to invite the next person. Uh, but the people are coming in and out of every like every half an hour. So just don't log out of your account and I will just okay, say... I was just eating. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just message me and say like uh, DM me in game and say still interested. And then the next time someone leaves, I will invite you. And then if you accept it, you're in. If not, the next person who gets the invite, whoever accepts it first. It's, it's not a, this is not a personal measure. It's just practical to do whoever... He's ready. Um, okay. Yeah, clear this out. Okay, that's clear. My beast here is clear. Memories are good. And the name we're swapping out here is Howdy. For Necro. Necro is the one who's gone, right? Yeah, correct. I'm actually going to have to reformat this soon because, again, stupidly, I don't know why I started sorting this along the, uh... The more data you put in there now, the easier it'll be later. Yeah, no, no, I, I just meant I should have sorted it by column, right, instead of sorting it by row like this, yeah. because you have to stop at Z, whereas it can go down column-wise infinitely. It's also a lot easier on the eyes to format, so at a certain point, I'll just re-enter the data so that I can do it next time we take a break or whatever uh so somebody was saying that the quality matters on this it's actually kind of annoying rolling this in between i i we only did one of them i'll do like four or five if there's no discernible change i i don't i actually don't think that that's gonna be the case but we'll see only on harvest i i know it matters <clears throat> harvest memory there's not yeah but there's a, there's a that's because th that's a uh, open to like the, that that dictates how many how much life force you get uh there's yeah. a there, there's a finite amount of beasts what he was saying was that the um uh the the quantity on the map the higher it is the more amount of beasts you guys would capture yeah well uh, i think that's probably it has to do with pack size really mm, wait for this uh, the pack size has nothing to do with this zero because the beasts are red or the red beasts it's one oops it's one individual beast so Pack size would have nothing to do with that. Or do you mean, sorry, for how many you guys can capture? No, I mean, like, uh, I know that uh, Beast Theory replaces packs on the map, so I don't know if the... Sorry, Beast Theory replaces... What? Can you turn yourself up? I can't hear you at all. Yeah, I just don't see how quality would be affecting the Einhau Beasts at all in any way. I still... Okay. Who's talking right now? Speak, 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 speak. Sorry, guys, stop moving. I'm uh, tabbed out. Who's speaking? Oh, Dice, okay. 
Yeah, no, I have you applaud. Yeah, you need to turn yourself up. I can't hear a word you're saying. Uh, it so let me bring my mic, my mic closer. To yeah, you. I can so hear you now. Only thing the maps affect time hard beasts, like in any way, either um, harvest or normal ones. Yeah, well, I know it doesn't for me, but what he was saying, because I've, I've never been the person in the group that is, like, not leeching, but you know what I mean, who's, like, getting the bonus beasts. He's saying the people that are that are not opening the memory, uh, it has a higher chance for them to capture a beast, the higher the quantity or rare is of the map. And he said that was a part of patch notes in 3.20, if I'm referencing. Okay, here, uh, well, I'm not going to read that, actually, in the middle of a map, but Matt G's is his name in, uh, in YouTube chat, and I think it looks like he cited the, the notes in the patch, so... Fishing better get added to POE too, I swear to god. Are you f yeah, don't talk. <laughs> the uh fishing has been an ongoing like joke troll since yeah, since twenty twelve. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, th I thought you were like anxiously awaiting, like, God, I can't wait to fucking fast pro hunter in this shit. <laughs> this nah, is nah, the nah. with fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Belton's fucking fishing live stream, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it would be better than your mother's cat fishing live stream. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stunless. I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. My brain can't process that. It's uh, high qual. That's, that's the fetal alcohol syndrome there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that was a good one, actually. We got uh, Matron and uh, Watcher. Uh, I guess I will keep a... Sorry, let me put a little stockpile here of map rolling shit. Funnily enough, I'm more of an alcoholic than my oh. mom. My mom drinks like one beer every month. I drink... Uh, ten booze. Wait, what do you mean? Funnily me. enough, I was joking about your mother being an alcoholic. Don't air out your mom. <laughs> 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 Fucking pride in your family. I know where I got my alcoholism yeah. from. I don't. I don't care. I don't care if your mother's a fucking serial killer. I don't know who she is. Online, you, you stick up for your family. They're not here to defend yeah. themselves. All right. Um, I'm just joking, obviously. Anyways. All right. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Yeah, I wouldn't be here without my mother. All I'm saying. Well, I understand biology. Okay. Well, not that. I <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm reading patterns. It says that uh, capturing a beast is on a play per player basis, with the chance being tied to the quantity bonds granted for playing in a party. So. Oh. I assume the bigger the party, the more chance for the player, for each player to get the actual beast. So I have, there's no, no relation to the map quantity. Yeah. Okay. Fuck you, fucking YouTube. Goddamn chat always wrong about everything. <laughs> Useless fucking fuckers. <laughs> I'm not even that personally invested. I just feel like it's my duty as the... You know, the, the, the your duty the, to say fuck you. To well, it's, it's my duty as the one with a microphone and a platform to do so. To, to remind you of the inept retardation and additional chromosomes of that. Am I going to leak start discharge? Yeah, crit med. What's going on, dude? One, two, three. three four, wait, but two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're good. Done. Yeah, that's good. It'll save me time not having to... Oh! Fuck! Alright, I entered it. Uh, I don't I have... I was gonna capture my own beast, but that's fine. Does anyone... Sorry, does anyone in the map right now have a uh, the, the beast capture things on them? You can just drop a stat for me. Or five of them. It's a lot easier. Okay, nice. It's just a lot easier for me to, to see uh, what, what we're killing, call it vultures and stuff, when there's already not stuff in there. One, two, three... Five. Thank you. Vivid Abrak. Wild Hellion Alpha. Uh, we've already captured these, sorry. Wild Hellion Alpha and Vivid Abrak, two out of four.
Vivid Watcher. Let's be in the boss room. Or oh, actually, check the top quickly. You guys can stay down there. Under. How the fuck did I still beat you all in the boss room? <laughs> Too fast. <laughs> ah, that's weird. We're missing one still. Oh, it's over here. Oh, there it is. I swear vulture, 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 vulture! Don't attack! Don't attack! Don't attack! Manners, move faster. Yeah, all there. Alright. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Check rejects for the uh, vulture. And no vulture. No vulture. Ugh. Was that a, sorry? That was no vulture or vulture from that last person who spoke? Uh, Mothers didn't cut the network. Didn't work, okay, sorry. Me neither. Okay. Rizzler. Zero on Rizzler. Oh, could you go in? Were you asking? How did I not go? Alright, sorry, howdy, howdy. Uh, no. No uh, vulture capture? Nothing. No vulture. Okay, uh, report. Uh, sorry, there was one person. Melon's a zero, Manners didn't. Fuji, did you go in? Uh, no vulture, but two. Okay, I'm gonna go down the list now. Uh, Rizzler, oh, report. One. Manners. Uh, one second. Two. 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 Melon. One. Howdy. Fuji. Two. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I don't have to roll these maps anymore. That was being a fucking annoying. I wish there was a badge you could have, mostly on Twitch, because it's not as bad on YouTube, where you could put a dense cap beside somebody. <laughs> Like, you can ask any question you want, but if you argue with me, and I can demonstrably prove you're wrong, either with raw data or, you know, a wiki page or just showing you, you accept that you will have a giant badge that says retard across your name for the next 24 hours. Do that, you can only do that on Discord. Yeah. At least you get, you can put an emoji on top of that uh, role, I think. That's, people are so soft. I remember when I started streaming, because I, I started streaming PoE like fucking like eight, what is that, nine years ago? Eight years ago? It was such a different environment back then. It was like, I, I used to have like people who were like good at trading. My my stream title used to be like, I'm way better than this fucking retard with like an arrow beside the person that was next to me in the viewer number list on, on Twitch. And it was just like, everyone would find that like a hysterical, right? They'd be like troll each other, or whatever. And I feel like the, so much has lost it in the like community aspect of it by the sensitivities of, of people now. Like, I've been making fun of you guys all day and, uh, amongst each other, and I feel like that has made today, like, ten times more fun. Yeah. Like, I will actually, I will, uh, I'm the kind of person who actually tells if I'm actually pissed off about something. Dear diary, Belton was mean to me today. <laughs> Might cut my wrists now. Operation send screenshots to TFT commence. <laughs> Many people wonder how one becomes a Reddit moderator. This was the beginning of my story. <laughs> it all started when I posted 10 clips to TFT of Belton calling me a dummy. Vulture! Nice. Check. Reject. Vulture, yeah! Good, now give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold up, let me ask. Uh... There we go. Ah, Vulture! Monitor's got Vulture. Alright, so, okay, manners. Can I get a verbal confirmation or denial from everyone? The vultures? No. So, nope. Nope, yes. nope. Yes. That's four. Who's the one person? Person. Howdy. My oh. Greeting. Uh. 
just no vulture. Nope. Okay. That was actually a really sick one. That was a vulture and a heli and alpha. Yeah. Yeah, I got the helium alpha too. Ooh, damn. Damn, nice. Hey, oh wait, sorry. I'll throw you one of these. I don't know if you're listening on stream right now, but you are gonna hear it. Well, you're hearing in thirty seconds. Damn, boy. <laughs> damn, boy. <laughs> We love Anthony. <laughs> but when are we crafting again? Uh, I'm still gathering. For for some context, the last time I rolled a meter item, it, it cost me six seven six hundred and fifty vultures to get the third mod. I'm now working on my third mod. I've been doing this for the past three hours, and I have fifty four vultures. So this is not going to be. I'll maybe attempt it after a hundred or something like that. But this is not. It's not a small undertaking to go. I know that sometimes these things can be somewhat trivialized or contextually lessened in terms of the effort because I do them so regularly. And that's not patting myself on the shoulder. It's like, you know, obviously the, the crafting conditions in this league are somewhat different. I've got a guild behind me. Um, you know, I stream a lot of hours and I'm pretty dedicated. Um, but keep in mind, like the items that I've been crafting this league, there's at least four or five of them that are like literally the best all time items in those slots. Uh, and these are things that used to pop up once amongst the collective player base. In like a year right um i know it's kind of easy to get jaded when i make like 11 of them in a league uh but uh the expectation that things would be on on a timeline um like that is is just uh it's uh that's a, a road that's going to lead towards disappointment of, with failed expectation um these, these are not small undertakings uh and, and also with the vultures right now there's no more like i can't buy them right there's like you literally can't buy these they're none for sale because people are stockpiling them for standards, so you actually you literally have to self farm them. Um, now, obviously, we haven't been playing 100% efficient the whole time, but um, if I had been doing this myself, I would have had to run approximately 75 uh, memories to myself, which would have cost me just under a mirror to have the same amount of vultures I did. So, while it seems like I might be inefficient right now, the efficiency to which I'm actually expediting the goal of having stream watch me craft, uh, I cannot really stress enough and that's obviously not something i directly address but um you know if there's an eagerness to have me crafting and or to watch that kind of thing uh, i actually am acting with that in mind okay uh we got a watcher abarak and the uh, one of those blue little shitty ones All G, all G, Belty group versus MP group. MP's group, like, a MP's group absolutely shit on me and absolutely shit on the average talent of the people that I play with 10 times over. Oh, um, okay. But I'm better at crafting than they are. Point blank, 100%. I'll, I'll stand by that. MP 100% is a far better player. His team is far more efficient. Uh, I think I... I, I... Guys, when you join the map, don't, just don't move. Yeah. So oh, we don't okay. attract the beasts over here. Was that was that was it fucking little Rizzler Gen Z jizz pop it? <laughs> no, I did not. Well, maybe I contributed to it a bit, but you know, I wasn't the only one. This, <laughs> this guy has like these like these like very foundational revelations. Like every like two hours, he's like, "Wait, we're killing beasts? I thought we were fucking running harvests." <laughs> you should you should see me high ass fuck. You should, I'm ten times more fucking. Well, can you get your IQ to follow suit? Hi, <laughs> ass fuck. I would be like, wait, we're playing Path of Exile, huh? Cool. In my defense, my brain cells are dead today since I did drink. Yeah. Let's go with that. Well, I woke up sober, but now it starts to get better. I woke up oh, yeah, sober, yeah. then I had to talk to Belton for three and a half hours, and exactly. <laughs> and now, now I'm about to overdose from heroin. It's been a rough day. <laughs> Off the wagon again. 
<laughs> I've never even drank before, but as soon as I talked to that fucking asshole for two hours, holy shit, I was on some black tar mainlining that shit. <laughs> fucking, I was boofing some fentanyl up my asshole. Jesus Christ. This guy is a charisma black hole, people. Let me tell you, if you believe in God, five minutes with him and you will no longer will. Lost Google search. How to smoke heroin. <laughs> I went to sleep with the room spinning. I woke up sober and then I uh, was four hours with the room spinning again. And now I feel, I don't know, nothing except... Pull the shoot. Pull the shoot. Yeah. Vulture. Hold the shoe was me saying your joke's going nowhere to stop now. <laughs> Vulture, uh, four. Okay, check. Rejects. Nice. That's a lot. Of, I think we got three vultures in that one memory. Uh, one vulture. Vulture. Anyone else? So that's, uh... I have one as well. Okay. Fuji. That was Fuji? Uh, Manos got the vulture. You did get vulture? Yeah. Manos got vulture. Three for three so four. far? Howdy? And man... Or, nope. No, zero. Three for four. And Melon? I have not gotten a single beast this memory. Wow. Damn, this is like a fucking Bill Cosby memory for you, eh? <laughs> Can you remember? <laughs> uh, so, 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 so. That's all right, though. It's I, I hate getting those, like... Uh, you know, I'd rather, obviously, distribution being, like... Getting two each memory versus getting five and one and then zero for like the next two. I find motivation wise, it's, it's much more frustrating to not get one than it is to get a lower amount. Um, fucking A. Thanks, boys. So that was really sick. So this time we around, we got uh, three, six, seven. We got seven vultures from that one. I know. That one memory. That's killer. Yeah. That's right. I would feel bad if this were something I were flipping on you guys for profit or whatever, but. For the purposes of what I'm actually using it for, this is fantastic. I mean, even then, you wouldn't have to feel bad since we're literally leeching free memories. No, I mean, it, again, it, it depends what your uh, your capacity is to generate currency solo. I think group play for a lot of people, myself included, um, if I weren't crafting versus if I were just mapping. Obviously, I make more when I craft, but um, it's like the, the, the motivating factor of being um, uh, not wanting to let someone else down, right? It's like if I'm inefficient... Um, not only am I just like, it's not just me making a decision for myself. It's like other people are waiting up for me. And so like that, um, that like gr group motivation kind of thing, uh, can make people more efficient, um, than they would be like, theoretically, if you were to run these maps by yourself solo and you could make 25 divines an hour versus if you're sitting here in the group making 20 divines an hour as a quote unquote leecher, I think in actuality for myself, at least I would end up making more as a leecher because if there's five or six people being like, Kate, let's go, Kate, let's go. Um, the reality is when I play by myself, I'm never actually being 100% efficient because I, I don't have anyone to account to, right? I'll be like, oh, let's yeah, go look on trade. We're going to hit that 25. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to go look at trade. And like, I'll do one of them. Then I'm like, oh, somebody just told me that discharge isn't good. I'm going to go track down their IP and stuff them in a locker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I just got banned off Switch. Okay, I need to 25 minutes now to switch platforms. Uh, let's see. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I needed a reporting. Um, okay, so, Rizzler. One. Uh, you only got, the one was just the vulture? Yeah. Okay, manners? Uh, three plus vulture. So that, that, let's do the math here together. What? Do the math together, what is that total? Uh, four. There we go. Vulture. Oh wait, I got another song for you. <laughs> there we go okay uh melancholy zero <laughs> zero okay uh howdy two no vulture sorry i, I just need to know the number two two okay two 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 sorry i thought you said uno uno no vulture I just uh fuji Okay. Um, Howdy, can you... Is it on my end? Uh, Howdy, I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm going to see if it's... Uh, Howdy, what's your name on uh, Discord? Electrograd? Yeah, uh, can, you, can, you, can you turn yourself up on your end or, or pull your mic closer to your face? Um, I can look. You, you have a very deep voice already, so it's uh, when it's not that loud, it's very, very hard to distinguish what you're saying. 
it's not that important. Like you just when I'm asking to report the number, that's really the only time you have to okay. whatever. But... It's the number roof rivet vultures or roof out. Does it include everything? The... Uh okay. yeah, no, the, the number for reporting is how many beasts you got. Okay. Uh through the course of the memory. That's what I'm tracking for the data purposes. The vultures are for me so I can craft, and that's why I'm paying for all of them. Those are two independent things, but what's important for the data is how many beasts were dropped on your end through the entire memory. Okay. I should stop. I should start reporting my fucking numbers in Finnish. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Finland? Yeah. Tänä sitä jaloa. Mä en, mä vittu ymmärtä ne yhtään, mitä sanoit. All right, you fucking socialist. We fell to the Nazis in four day fuckers. All right, let's... <laughs> let's just remember the WW2 champs, okay? Two-time, two-time champs. It's your fucking all-female parliaments and your goddamn socialism and your free healthcare. Get your ass out of here. Uh, okay, okay. But what have you done for us lately? Ah, vitun pellet. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told this fucking whatever the fuck that thing is to shut up. Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh. Well, I tend to only learn to curse and order booze in. All language, I know. <laughs> I can teach you all the Finnish curses, man. Even the uh, slurs. <laughs> I am taking German classes, so hopefully I'll learn a... You shouldn't a talk about the, being excited about teaching someone slurs and then follow it up with, I am learning German. <laughs> <laughs> I am... I'm also learning to become a baker. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the Germans and were allies, so, you know, it's not that far-fetched. Well, Sweden is, I think, the only country that's Sweden was allowed the... into NATO, so... Well, cause Sweden, Sweden was neutral in World War II, well, was about them in Switzerland, right? We were, we were, we were never neutral. We, we traded by the side to the Germans. <laughs> well, I mean, neutral being a, a, a stance of the government doesn't mean what your activity is. It's like the U.S. Yeah. saying they're fucking neutral in countries where they're... Uh, oh, wait, you want to be fucking self-governed with autonomous... Uh, but you, you're not going to sell us bananas tax-free? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to uh, install uh, a military dictatorship, kill 38 million people, but we're going to get our potassium. USA, let's go. <laughs> USA. USA. Or, or, or give Henry Kissinger a fucking Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> that was the most absurd thing ever. Well, okay, as long, double as primal. As long as you have Donald Trump, uh, some... Things happens, but when you have like a old retard as president, yeah, <laughs> things go quite slow. <laughs> I think me and Joe Biden have a, our uh, brain processing oh, in common. Man. Yeah, yeah. Plus, plus, you both like sniffing kids. You fucking weirdos. <laughs> oh, hell no, bro. Belton, you don't gotta project like that. You're streaming. <laughs> That's all right. My stream knows what. <laughs> Come watch my stream. You know what's up. <laughs> yeah. You fucking sick, sicko masochist. <laughs> oh, the pain feels so good. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's your fault. When I said subs, I meant uh, with me being the Dom. <laughs> I did not mean subscribers. <laughs> uh, Bristol, over here. Wild Abarak, uh, done so. To, uh, this is the was this the this is the second map, right? Yeah. Two to three. Oh, you broke your own rule again. What was my own rule? Oh yeah, sorry. I just saw one here. Okay, let's swipe back that way. Asking if this second map, we don't even know if we're actually playing. What is this like a matrix argument or something? <laughs> yeah. Did my, did my man just get finished watching like an Andrew Tate documentary? Like, bro, this shit ain't real. Papa, uh, Papa Elon told me that I'm 35% living inside of a simulation. I'm what color is your mage blood? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go shoot up a school to see if this is real. The RV. 
<laughs> I'm gonna take my own life with a fucking 12 gauge to see if it's real life or if I wake up. Well, speaking of someone who deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, done. Okay, Wild Hellion Alpha, Wild Bristle Matron, and the Vivid Abrak. That's a good one. Look, there's a guy in trade right now. Go to trade at 20. Three divs per spot to run what we're doing right now. So he's charging. What did we say the average return was? Uh, 1.5 per memory. So yeah, he's just charging three to do five of them. So yeah, it's still obviously a profit, but you guys would be making out way better than that. Is not like 17 div for us? Uh, no, no, no. Like, he, he, like he's charging five memories, ah. three divines per person. So he makes 15 divines in that way. Uh, but a, a five memories based on our data would be uh, 7.5 divines. Um, so less three. Uh, 4.5 divines. Don't move until Belton gets in here. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I forgot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry, I won't capture my beast. Um, it'll retard Gen Z, former Epstein case. Uh, oh my god, that's a vulture. If I don't capture that, I'm kicking both of you right now. And then I'm gonna haunt your families and look what build you're playing for the next six seasons and take all of your gear. Uh, I used to have much better threats when I wasn't this big of a nerd. You motherfuckers! I'm taking my headphones off because I'm going to start swearing and cursing at you in a way that's not going to look good. <laughs> I am not happy. I think that's like the 15th time you've been coffee. told not to do that. Mm. I do apologize. Would me sending a carton of cigarettes in your P.O. box make the difference? Up. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that uh, help this crafting. Alien Alpha. One, two, three, four, five. This is map number three, still be seven total. Watcher. An accelerating hunt exile. Now it is time for Ina. Fucking motherfucker was the only vulture that fucking Ah <clears throat> If the average capture rate is one point seven and there are nine, that means that you guys collectively if for every beast that's killed, one person of all of you will capture it, I am 100% guaranteed. That means if you were to look at the net collective uh, output, for every beast that I'm not present for, our efficiency, our overall currency per hour drops by 50%. 50. If any one of you misses a kill, it is 8, 9%, 10%, sorry. That was obviously very quick math. 
If a single person, I, I still don't have my headphones on. If a single person does that again, never coming back. It is the simplest thing to not do. Okay, I'm putting on my headphones again. Everyone's cool. I don't care who it was. Fucking. I'm actually kind of annoyed with that because it's like it's like nine or ten times now we've had it say that over and over and over. Um, where's my fucking headset? Okay. Um, all right, my headset's back on. Hello, gentlemen. Fucking retards. All right, uh, Brizzler, number two. Manners, one. Fallon, two. Howdy, three. Fuji, one. Did any of you capture the vulture? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope. It would, it would, it would, it would obviously the fucking one map that there's a little group. Collective group fuck up is the one vulture we get the whole fucking rotation. God damn it. Okay. Good thing for everybody to know that it's quite easy if you have the minimap up when you enter a map, don't do anything until you see the blue marker to move. Yeah, the, the reason there's a delay, guys, is because, again, some of you are not on the same server I am, so I open it for you first. And then after each map, I have to bottle my beasts so that when we enter the new map, I can enter the rejects and I can see what is popping up as it's coming, right? So the point is that we don't have to collectively wait for you to load if you're on a different server. Um, yeah. And so when I enter, we can just go because we'll know everyone's there already. So me opening the map is not a, like, you know, shooting at the gun of a race. It's me getting it so you have a second to load. I need to remove the beast from the previous map so I can actively monitor it so we can all move quickly through the next one. Um, and again, I, I don't, like, I know it sounds like I'm being super serious now. It's not the fact that I'm losing currency here. It's that, like, I've explicitly said this, like, at least half a dozen times. Um, and I know it's easy to get absent-minded, but, like, fuck. Yeah. At a certain only, point, like, just fucking. Only trying to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, you know. A mistake once or twice, fine, but after, like, six times, it just gets a little much. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, sorry. I already reported, right? Yeah. There you go. Alright, I'll take my hand off the mouse now. Alright. Okay, beasts are bottled. Reject entered. Boom. Someone moved to really no. So somebody moved, aggroed the only vivid vulture from the whole memory, and then they killed it. And by the time I entered the map, I wasn't close enough to capture it. But because I'm the one opening the memory, I have a hundred percent chance to capture every beast. Whereas they they all each independently have about a twenty percent chance. So for every beast I'm not present for, it literally lowers the collective output of the group by fifty percent. Um, and yeah, the delay is usually five seconds or less that I enter the map after them. So that's that's what was going on there. Sorry, speaking to YouTube here, for that guys in Discord. Uh, I think that's a primal. One out of two. Rival again. Reset. Alright guys, we don't need to act like women in here, alright? We're well, like being about men. You get into a fight with your buddies, call them fucking retards, punch them in the face and be cool. 
Don't you be all <laughs> silent now, like fucking a bunch of chicks. Like, no, we're completely fine. James, why is, why is she such a bitch? <laughs> Stacy, did you talk to Brittany? Yeah, like, I know we're friends or whatever, but she's a fucking, like, kind of a whore, no? <laughs> Alright, lads. I need to vent yep. sometimes. And when you fuck up, I'll get mad, but it's only for, like, a minute. So I don't fucking fester. And when I fuck up, I expect to be treated in kind. Let's not act like the Germans after World War One here. So I don't I think I was picking any less than I had been previously. No, no, I'm just I'm busting balls here. <laughs> uh, as a as a matter of uh, objectivity here, I've actually been recording my word count. It remains at 1.3 per hour. I I don't say much, but I have the kind of gravitas that would drop your grandmother's panties and have your mother cook me supper after. Mr. Steel, yo, girl. Okay. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Sis caller. <laughs> Leader of my gender. <laughs> Missing chicken. Actually, your voice sounds exactly like that. <laughs> you know when you? I'm assuming you guys have seen that video from fucking like the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when he goes like, "Let's eat chicken." Uh, I think it's Fuji. <laughs> Your deep voice sounds exactly like that. Yeah. I, I don't think I've seen what you're referring to, but I'll take oh, it. Oh, okay. No, it, oh, Vulture, 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 Vulture! Oh, the first ever, like, inter... Wait, yeah. First ever, like, uh, internet meme, check rejects, um, or, like, gaming video. Uh, it was from World of Warcraft back in the day. Uh, okay, going down the list. Melancholy Capture, nope. Nope. Manders? Fuji. Oh. Uh, Rizzle. Nope. Howdy. Nope. Well. Oh. All right. It's better to ask if we're in the middle, like doing this, because we can keep moving, and then uh, as soon as we start the next map, we don't have to like stop and ask and do it in between. Just get in the habit of every time we get a vulture, just doing that quick check. Oh, nice, huh? Cool latency there. How the fuck do we only have two so far? Isn't this the this is the fourth map, isn't it? What map was this in the rotation? Mm. One, two, three. This is the fourth map. We should have four. Off you go, little beast. Away. That was from the previous one. What the fuck? I'm confused. Did I click the wrong map with the first? Was it the first? Oh, there's a red beast back there. Is that it? Okay, that's the, that was the third one. Oh, this is the second map. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're good. For some reason, I thought this was the third map, and I was like, what, how are we missing two fucking harvest beasts? Wild Hellion Alpha, 1.1 Divines. Primal, 2 out of 4, Worthless, 10 C. Unrelated. 
Unrelated. Actually, I can't remember who it was, but somebody said they like doing the 10 k Ten random currency one. There's your boost. I think when they're unrelated, you're actually allowed to date them. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I, I was thinking, like, I needed, like, a half a second there. I was like, date them. I was like, I didn't... Were we talking about like the age of date added because of the capturings? <laughs> like I'm gonna start, ent I'm gonna start entering the real world, and somebody's gonna be like, "Man, like, fuck, man, like, you know, my my mom died last week," and I'm like, "Oh shit, dude, like, was she close to level 100?" <laughs> like, I play, I play, I play way too much POE now. <laughs> she saw herself found. <laughs> Um, three, we're at three. We got two primals so far. Well, the hell in. There's one mystery case at least. The fuck? Top right corner, maybe? Hmm. Should have missed a whole section of the map. Fuck! Titanic crit there. Vulture! Oh, Vulture! Vulture! Everybody here? Yeah, yep. good. Yep. Rejects it. Rejects list. Uh, Melancholy? Nope. Manners? Nope. Fuji? No. Riz? Nope. Howdy? Nope. You guys suck it. Fucking RNG. <laughs> <laughs> but now you got it, right? I, I always get it. That, that, that was the yeah. whole point of what I was saying, why it's, a, like, yeah. it's especially yeah, bad exactly. yeah, if I'm not there, because it's 100% guarantee I capture every beast, right? Whereas with you guys, collectively, for each beast there is, each one of you will catch it. Since it's roughly 20%, right? Since the average is about 1.6, that means that uh, you capture roughly one in every five beasts. So amongst five of you, for every beast we kill, you collectively get one. So that means that I have 50% of the beast capturing power, and you guys collectively have 50%. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, boo -boo -boo. Let me capture these, and then we'll report. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Let me open the next memory before you go in. Once you give me your number, you can go in. Uh, all right. The one on the list is. Oh, uh, 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 Rizzler. Three. Oh, X. Uh, okay, sorry. Rizzler, three. Manners. Yep. One. Melon. Zero. Oof. Uh, Again. Howdy, Arabia. Zero. Uh, <laughs> Fujita. Zero. Yeah. Uh, one second there, Balton. When yeah. we get vultures and I give them to, to you, I, I never, because I pick them out, I never report them to you. Uh, Go to smoke. Only someone explicitly said to fucking do that. Fuck. <laughs> yep. Well, boys, <laughs> the graph's all fucked up now. <laughs> that is confusing but, because he wants them right away. Yeah, so you exactly. Have to remember that you gave him one. Yeah, exactly. And when he wants to report, you pick them out, so you only need to count them. But for that count, actually, Belton, I have the count when your blowout is over. <laughs> I don't think he's here. <laughs> yeah. When he's back, I have the count that he might have missed. Because I'm quite sure he missed one, not more. Belton is smoking the whole pack right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
So now we can talk about. We're gonna open the memory already. Let's do the memory. Oh, look after <laughs> yeah. it. All right, tell Belton uh, about your uh, thing. Yeah, uh, because I, I actually didn't understand that that part, but I actually have. Fucking my... ridiculous, though. Yeah. What's like at every stage I've ever explained this, I've explicitly, explicitly addressed that point. One second. I have the count. Come on, guys. Yeah. Wouldn't it be better to keep the vultures after the rota so like people don't? I've also explicitly addressed this like six times. I've also checked every time. Does everyone understand? If you don't understand, it's fine to say I don't understand or ask a question. The second you do, and then uh, this is like four to five times now in the past, like three ones of these that we've done, that it has become very apparent that people do not understand. So ask the question you're going to ask, but for fuck's sake, if you don't understand, just ask to clarify, because this, is, this can't keep happening. <laughs> this is just this is past the point of absurd now. If I'm not being clear or if it's whatever, or if it's just a mistake, say it's just a mistake. But something like this where it's like literally, you know, the the groundwork of what we're doing that is very, very, like, overtly stated over and over and over again. It's, like, concerning. And it's incredibly frustrating. So I'm trying... everyone understands. It's just that when you're asking for the report, some people have already given you their vultures. Yes, I know. But I've explicitly said that to them. I'm like, if you gave me a vulture, add that. The reason we're doing that beforehand is... Um, because then you just have to tell me the number, and I don't have to wait to do the trades and the vultures, and we can open the next memory right away. Uh, and the first issue we were having when we started doing this was people weren't sure when to bottle the vultures or which ones they were giving, or if they were only counting the total vultures. Like, I don't, I don't understand what's so difficult to understand. If you're giving me, you're probably giving me one at most one vultures. The total amount of beasts, total. The word total. If there's two things that like, if you have two beasts in your inventory, I'm pretty sure most of you have the, you know, the the, the memory and the the mathematical ability to, to add one to that does everyone understand what total beast mean because like yeah yeah okay uh and the reason the vultures at the time too is because we're tracking what the um prevalence rate is under like the proc rate or whatever it's a separate category um in terms of for how many vultures we have how many captured vultures did you guys get basically Ugh. I'm sorry I'm getting so frustrated, but it's just, it's like... Nah, it happens. Okay, okay sorry. Oh shit, I lost the rejects. Uh, primal, one, pivot. Oh, fucking double primal. All the data's screwed. He says he knows the total. He wrote down the total amount he gave me, so we can just add it to his totals. But yes, that is the primary concern. As I mentioned, I actually know I explicitly pointed this out because I said it's much more important that we have good data because if somebody misreports, it fucks up the whole data set. Um, if you have one second, I but, have total of 14 beasts and I've given you three vultures so far. Okay, and who's that speaking? Manners. Okay. Uh, one, two, six, seven, eight, uh, 11, 12, 14. Okay, so I'm going to add it to the ones where you have one. So that's actually a two, and that's actually a two. There we go. Now we're back in the thing. Yeah. Okay. And, and last time, please, everyone understands yeah. how and why we're doing everything. Yes? Yeah, yes. so now oh. I need to keep track of the vulture I give to you and report them to. Well, I mean, if we're, doing, we're doing memories every... Four minutes it shouldn't be very difficult to add one or yeah. at most two you know what i mean uh when you're bottling your beasts if you have two in your that you're bottling remember that a minute and a half earlier you traded me one. every four minutes i'm bottling one bottle of wine so okay no problem yeah yeah no. <laughs> well it is a problem and i'm actually gonna get really upset if you skew the data i've worked on for like 12 hours because of something like that so i'm, I'm being straight up i know it's whatever yeah. but like I, i've been trying to collect this and, and it literally it, it, it corrupts the entire data set if, if that's omitted that, so that, uh, yeah that yeah. I, I i knew was very important that yeah yeah okay cool yeah, yeah cool myself so. all right cool yeah cool. yeah we're good we're good we're good All 
Because yeah, this what the the data we end up. Uh, ooh, vulture. Vulture and a bristle matron. Ooh, vulture matron. Uh, we'll do we'll, we'll do the vulture check at the end of the map before we go back to the hideout. Three, four, one more. Oh, is that what is that? Oh, that's a jumper. Is that a creation? Vulture, double vulture. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Double vulture. Okay, that's awesome. All right. Okay. All right. That's it. all of them for this map. Check rejects. I'll go down the list here. Two vultures. The ten. Uh, that would mean on average we'd have two of them. Let's see if that holds true. Okay, Bentley College, you get any? Zero. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who's next? Manners. Uh, one Bristol only. Okay. Oh, I'm not asking for Bristol. Just need to know vultures. Um, yeah. Fuji. Oh, Rizzler? Zero. Shit, or howdy? One. Perfect. Thanks, guys. All right. That's five. Oh, that's good. That makes up for the ones that we lost in this past couple. That's five in one map. <clears throat> I don't know if I've actually had two. I, I, I've definitely had... Um, I've definitely had uh, uh, memories where I've got uh, three vault or two vultures before. I don't know if I've ever actually had a single map where I've had two though. It's kind of crazy. Uh... Okay, cleared out the rejects there. One, two, three. It's hard for me every time I hear rejects to not say it as like R E R E J E C T S. <laughs> or think of it in that way. Yeah. <clears throat> Fucking rejects. That's us, boys. G F T rejects. <laughs> yeah. All right, don't get that excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fucking reject. Hell, fucking yeah. Ostracized <laughs> from the community. I've always heard about us for rejects. Oh, is it rejects? Okay. Yeah, reject sounds. Oh, there's a beast here. Beast, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I, I I'll almost always be the last one in because I have to. Um... Oh, stop. Pause. Ooh. Let me pick all this up. Yeah. Kill dudes. Kill the pussy. You see, you see my hideout. It looks like it was decorated by a fucking Persian warlord. You love me some <laughs> gilded stuff. All of the gold. <laughs> I love God. That fucking gaudy monstrosity. <laughs> oh, look like a, I look like a the 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 decor of, the decor of like a Persian club owner, an Italian mobster, like a Victorian era oligarch, Russian, or actually oligarchs were obviously not at that point. Russian Russian czar. I love you. I've noticed the vulture indication because they make so much fucking sound. They screech basically. Oh no, it's, yeah. that, you're just you're just uh, fucking um. Your sounds uh looping. Yeah. I mean your your mic's looping. Oh mine. So, yeah, that's what you're hearing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> totally. Oh Fine. my god, ten vultures! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I never mind. You might be too young to have seen this movie, but this is before they got really shitty. But scary movie too. I don't know if any scary movie too. Scary movie too. When it first came out, they go to like the fucking thing, and there's the parrot that's in the the lobby. Yeah. What you want, you fucking whore? I remember being like, 
13 or whatever when that came out. I think that that, that was like the hardest I'd laughed at my life at that point. I thought that one was like 10. Uh, well, I'm 32, so I don't think so. <laughs> that, no, that's not what I mean. Like, it didn't come out when I was 10, but I saw it. Okay, like, okay, yeah, yeah. I used to What's... love scary movies. All the Nightmare on Elm Street were my shit when I was 10. I know the movie scary. Scary movies are comedy. <clears throat> yeah, but like Nightmare on Elm Street, that shit was like awesome when I was 10. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, me I remember the first horror movie, like, in that realm. Not like slasher horror. Uh, but like my 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 mom tried to make me watch The Exorcist because oh, I didn't. Oh God, uh, I've uh, seen that. Well, no, she made me watch The Exorcist because um I, I grew up Catholic and my family's rather religious. And uh, actually, this is you'll probably find this funny given how I play the game now. But I knew my dad really wanted me to get confirmed and have like my first communion and all this shit. And I told him I thought that religion was stupid at that young age. And I was like, oh, fine. I was like, I'll do it. But I know this is important to you because all your friends are going to be there, so it's going to cost you five hundred bucks. He's like, what? I was like, if you want me to go to your church and get confirmed, it will cost you $500. <laughs> and uh, I remember, uh, like, my mom was like, James, you know what's going to happen if you try and fucking blackmail people over religion. And she, so she tried to make me watch The Exorcist as, like, a scare tactic to not try and extort my dad to go and get confirmed when I'm, like, nine years old. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been a hustler. But um, I, I remember watching that, and maybe it's just, uh, you know, the being jaded with like modern uh, cgi or whatever but i thought it was hilarious like when she her head <laughs> rotates and she's like fuck me um just because like you get you get used to like uh you know modern graphic effects or whatever and then you see something like that and it's uh it, it looks like it's a, a joke almost yeah my uh, favorite movie is a uh, taxi driver mm. that one. how do you sorry you guys a couple of you guys sound like you're semi-proficient how do you add uh rows or columns to the right so it's, it says double a do i have to do it individually each time like this like one column to the left. Oh, I slept on all, all, all of my Excel classes. Don't ask me. <laughs> Go through this. So uh, one column. Right. One column left. It's fine. I guess we can just do it manually. Folding down is also a <clears throat> good one. Kind of like taxi driver. And then we have the classic Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. Fucking love that one as well. As long as they're not inspiration. Okay. Uh, was there? Or should we? Oh, should we doing that shit already? Okay, hold on. Manners. One. One? Yeah. Manners. And remember, if you remember to count the vultures, if you give them two. Uh, melancholy. Zero. Zero. You got zero two in a row. That's rough. Uh, howdy. Three. Three. Thank you, Fuji. Four. What? Thank you, sir. Well, that's a good run. <clears throat> okay, so average return of two on that one for you guys. Yeah. If anybody need beastier orbs, I brought Sweet. one divine worth of beastier orbs, by the okay. way. Yeah, can I get like 60? I can buy for like 60 chaos. Do you guys want to take a minute right now and uh, uh, I'll go for a smoke? You guys can buy what you need, or do you want to? Yeah. We're at 20. Uh, Let's take a minute. We'll take a minute? Yeah, okay. We're at 28. This will be our 28th map. Um, I think we should try and do it in a fashion that's easy to relate. So. Uh, if anyone's going to stop, let's like let's try and do slotted commitments of at least uh, five or ten, right? So um, we'll go until thirty when I after my smoke, and then uh, we'll do another burst for at least like I'm obviously going to keep doing these all night. But if anyone wants to um, like pause, we'll do at least ten so that if there is a break in the group, we can have like either you know thirty in a data set or forty or fifty or whatever, just because that yeah. you know when we're laying information, it sounds easier. I, I don't want to be like. After the data collection of 33.62 maps, you know, it's just like nice and even. We ran 50 of these with five people in each slot. Here's the data, etc. It's a lot easier. Yeah. To, yeah. Um, okay, so you guys, you guys, have, well, we'll take a vote. Uh, break now or uh, at 30? Yeah, a I got a bottle of wine, so. Okay, cool. With every Melancholy minute that. Is open. Doesn't matter. Okay. How much to enter, Melancholy? Oh, come on now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm hoping to come on uh, Melancholy, not now. I don't, who's now? <laughs> See, this is why that other guy just left. Right out of the blue. <laughs> well, now you're putting me into the blue. Balls, that is. <laughs> uh, 
I don't fun. know why I'm laughing at these jokes. They're horrible. <laughs> I, I feel like anyone who's ever gamed with anyone over some extended period of time has either been chirped or heard some pretty, like, obscene offside shit. And I feel like it's kind of, like, an inevitable thing. Like, sure. you know, like, pretty, like, left brain, right brain, especially with me because I'm kind of a Nazi when I play games and I know this. And I, I know, like, every, like, probably once every 45 minutes I'm going to yell at somebody for, like, 30 seconds. And then I'm going to come back and say, sorry, I need to get that off my chest. And, like, eventually over time you'll just accept this who I am. And, and hopefully no one takes it personally. But, uh, you know, like, especially if you're doing something competitive. Like, I remember when we used to WoW raid, right? Like, I was the number nine parsing warlock, ESEU, like, top raiding guild. And, like, our, our guild leader was uh, our prot. Uh, warrior like our, our tank and anytime someone like missed a fucking a rotation heal rotation or if somebody did like a stupid whatever this guy was and it was funny too because he was coast guard so i was always laughing because i'm like this guy, this guy i'm smashing him be like this fat dude that wanted to be a marine but ends up in the coast guard just gets really angry about he would go on like 15 minute tirades like, your fucking mother should have never she should have swallowed that fucking nut instead of letting it inside herself you useless piece of fucking trash and like he'd go, like he would go like, i'm going to like, you hear him like hitting stuff there this guy was in his like this guy was like in his like fucking mid 40s too at the time i'm like 20 i'm like yo this is fucking nuts <laughs> but it's also really entertaining that we'd be like there'd be like a couple of us like dming each other like oh yeah like this dude just wiped our whole raid can't wait to hear botuck and then we'd hear it was just yeah, anyways yeah but shooting the shit and kind of like you know joking around i think is an important way to yeah i'm used to that uh people getting pissed off at me when doing like black ops one zombies and then i fucking accidentally I don't know, fucking died. Like, what the fuck? You fucking piece of shit, you know? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been in those situations, uh not Black Ops ones, but in the actual army where people fuck up. <laughs> I remember I'll tell you this actually after article called smoke, but um yeah, some funny shit happens when you with the boy yeah. the lads in the army. The darkest humor you're ever made though. It's actually kind of a testament to what I'm saying. Re really intense situations sometimes will breed that dark. It's like a coping mechanism, I guess. Yeah. Uh I'll be right back though. Yeah, sure, same. Oh, my screen just froze. Oops. Uh, yo, Claudio, is there a way that I can revert? So you see how I have it wrote like this? Is there a way that I can... Ooh. Is there a way that I can change what are now in rows down in columns instead? So I can have it like revert like this. So the names would be at the top like this. And then it would start coming down like that. Is there, is there, a, would I have to do that manually? Or is there a function where I can switch it, flip it on its uh, side like that? So obviously it makes a lot more sense for the, uh, you know, to have the, uh, ascending numerical values going down than it does sideways. Um, no rush answering that. I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. Monitors. You're back just in time for everybody to take a break. Nice, nice. So I will see you in a few minutes. Good luck. You might need it. Is it Somalainen? Kyllä, 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 kyllä tässä on lajaa. <laughs> Vittu on saatana, voi perkele. Vittu saatana, perkele, jumalauta. <laughs> where, where are you from? I, in Finland. Uh, I'm from... Uh, I haven't gone to smoke yet, guys. Sorry, I was East, continuing. Yeah, I'll say walk away East here Finland. five minutes or six minutes. Eastern part. Update the data. Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of the Finnish hard rock band called Turmion Kettelet? Oh hell yeah, listen to that shit. <laughs> awesome. it's, 
it's the best. Hell yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of a uh, Amorphous Stradivarius or a Children of Bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. A like minded fellow. <laughs> It's like sweet Swedish people can't uh, they can't sauna or they uh, and they can't drink beer or drink alcohol and so I usually go to Finland every year just to relax and be with Finnish friends to feel Hell like normal. Yeah. You're from <laughs> Sweden, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I, I'll uh, say fuck home. Yeah, I'm your uh, basic Finnish man. I like to sauna. I'm a borderline alcoholic, you know. Yeah. <laughs> You know how it is. Oh, I, I should actually, I'll share this. Sorry, I'll share this document with you guys. So, uh, it, yeah. while we take these like five minute breaks or whatever, if you want to review it. Um, yeah. Right. Sure. My uh, best friend's actually from Sweden. I've known him for uh, nine years. Actually, ten maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been no ten actually. <laughs> yeah, this year. Yeah. It's the tenth anniversary. He's uh, visited me in Finland. He's, he's a cool guy. Also plays PoE. No. How do I write in the chat? Uh... But he quit for this league, so. Open chat. Here you go. Okay. Shit. I know better than to leave Discord open when I AFK now. <laughs> So I played a game with some Finnish friends for the last 20 years or something like that. Damn. So, uh, every year we meet outside Helsinki. Uh, and uh, You ever go in the strip club? Yeah, uh, no, we usually brought uh, bring the strippers there actually. All right, good. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> we usually have have them there uh, to Nuxio if you know where that place oh, is. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. But it's closed this summer, so they're actually coming to my place this summer, and I'm actually a bit afraid of that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't catch anything, dude. Don't catch anything. Exactly. So it's my turn to fix all the strippers this year, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. If you ever come to uh, where I live, I can hook you up with some good weed. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Never tried it actually. I'm more into drinking beer, wine, and yellow. You, actually, if, I if love yellow. Nice. Oh, yellow vena. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you uh, if you pay enough, they'll make you a 19 centimeter blunt. <laughs> My friend actually a uh, couple months ago smoked weed for the first time. He was vomiting, bro. I was high <laughs> as fuck just staring at him. He was his eyes were like turning into his skull. I was like. You good? <laughs> I know I had that kind of reaction. Like, I've never felt sick with weed. <laughs> but yeah, that guy was... There's some funny-ass videos of, like, us being high as fuck, and then that guy's just, like, half asleep with a bag in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus. Like, uh, I'll actually, uh... I'll add you, Mannery, since you were a Swedish man. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send you some blunt pics, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Where are they? Oh no, there's someone shoving a cucumber up their ass that's not the one i was looking for 
<laughs> Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Those I rather miss, actually. <laughs> right here you go. There's a uh, there's some uh, some images. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see my make a shift up. Weed pipe with that, uh, <laughs> yeah. <lot of> <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have bought uh, we c we call those, um, uh, bought Fanta, uh, <laughs> <laughs> those, uh, gin and tonic, yeah. Because all the Swedish people go to uh, to Finland by boat just to buy them, so it's bought Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's really fucking good. Yeah. Long long longero longeri. Yeah. Longero. Like longero. Yeah. But tonight I'm drinking French wine, and I don't know a single word French, so <laughs> it might be a problem later on. This is what I was uh, drinking yesterday and today. This is an older picture, but the same. Same bottle. Kolsken korva. Yeah! <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah. <laughs> my Finnish friends actually feeded me Yalovina in my... Okay. I can actually just make one of you guys an editor, I think. Let me see. Um. How do I do that? Uh...
I don't see where the option is to make someone an editor. Just grab a hat. My hair is getting in my way. I won't be going. Shit, sorry. The phone. Is that we go? The Germans. What's up, fellow gamers? Yeah, fell. So I went okay. to Vancouver and right to. Seattle. Could you guys hear me when I was on my phone inside? Yes. Oh, yep. gee. It's fucking like three degrees here and pouring rain. There's only one little, like, I don't know why, but communist landlords don't let you smoke on the property, so I have to go off of. I live in like a townhouse apartment complex kind of thing. Um, and so it's like, you know, grass between everyone, but it's not like a high rise. Uh, but you have to go off of the thing. So I have to walk out to the street. There's only one area that's covered and it's a bus stop thing. And, uh, of course the only people that are in there are the two lesbian neighbors I have that hate me. Uh, and they actually named oh, their, no. they named their little chihuahua James, because I like, I kind of scowled when they got this little chihuahua because it never stops going. So every time I fuck the walk by, I kind of roll my eyes. And then like a week after they bought it, all I hear is. James, James, and like I go outside, and then I kind of I realize that these two neighbors named their fucking dog James. So now I either hear a dog yipping all day, or I hear fucking my name being called, which is obviously very you know. And of course, I go outside, and the only two people sitting there in the, like an undiscovered area who complain about me smoking all the time, which is why I have to go there. Are these two lesbians? Like, God damn it! I try to get on my phone to be like, yeah. anyways, useless anecdotes of the day. Do you want to rotate your entire spreadsheet, Belton? Oh, yes, I do. Um, uh, the stream is pretty delayed, but you can control A to select everything. Copy control. it. Yep, control A. Yep. Okay. It should select the entire sheet. Uh, no, it does not. Oh, wait, sorry. I can't see where the A is on my keyboard because I'm a hardcore gamer. That's way good. <laughs> I'm actually not joking. Look at this. I believe it. Can I copy oh. everything? Oh, let's see, there we go. Yeah, completely blurred. It's like when you type a P on my cell phone. <laughs> Only one website coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay, sorry. Uh, and then with uh, cell A one selected, right click paste special, and then there's an option called transpose. Transposed. Yep. Hit that, and then what? Uh, that should. That should paste your entire thing. Uh, Sorry, did you say copy first? Did. Oh yeah, did you not copy it? Sorry. No. You might have said that. Yeah, I just, I'm, you know. Oh, well, you were talking about your keyboard as well. Yeah, well, I, I have a tough time not talking about myself at least once every 30 seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> not my fault, guys. I have trouble focus. Uh, it's, it's not that I need attention. It's that I have a deficit disorder. Uh, Same. <laughs> and then, sorry, I completely forgot. What was the stage after that again? After copy? Uh, with cell A1 selected, right click, paste special, transposed. Paste special, transposed. Oh, okay. It's lagging, so I do it. Yeah. Transpose that shit, you dirty bitch. Yeah! Oh, daddy's a tech genius. Where do you find that spreadsheet? You know? I made it. 
can you post it on Discord so I can look? Can you look on Discord because I posted it? This is the this is the most classic POE interaction of all time. Milton, um, uh, yeah, I I, I watched I, I watched your two hour video on flesh crafting that uh, I, you just made and spent two days on. I have a question for you though. Do you have any suggestions on how to craft flesh? <laughs> 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 oh, just busted your balls. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's in the, it's in the uh, like the Discord voice chat channel. Okay, great. This is gonna be a lot easier to keep track of here. Wait, wait. It transposed it. Now it's fucking. Why is it infinitely? Like when I scroll down, it does it over and over and over again. Um. Why is that? Yeah, I definitely should not have done that. I don't know. And now it disappeared fully when I tried to get rid of that. Um, okay, I guess I'll just insert rows above. Is there a fast way to like insert multiple rows, or do I have to do manually one at a time? Oh. That's um... okay. I mean, I'll be, each row represents one full run, so it's not like I have to add like thousands of them. I wonder what it like. Oh, it didn't even work for that one. Fuck. I probably clicked 10 times when I lagged. How dare you tell me exactly what I probably did. <laughs> Get out of my head. You almost sounded like Greta Thunberg from Sweden. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Andrew Tate having a beef with Greta at one point? Yeah, <laughs> yes, before he got the, uh, arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but actually, Greta Thunberg is nothing to be proud of from being from Sweden. It's like the most retarded child ever, actually. I I'm mean, sorry. she has the facial features of a fucking, what is it, alcohol syndrome. Yeah. You can't make a joke about fetal alcohol syndrome and then forget one third of the word uh, or phrase. <laughs> yes, I this can. girl's so stupid she probably has like that fetal uh, alcohol thing and i forgot the rest <laughs> hey it's close it out it's close it out nice memory you fucking so what did you guys do today <laughs> like joe biden getting mad at someone for being forgetful um we, we reported the last run right yeah Okay, as everyone now here, sorry, can, you, can we just get a confirmation? I know you guys have been waiting for me. I just want to make sure that everyone's, everyone's here before we open it. <clears throat> I'm all empty, and I know what to do with the Vivid now. Okay. And I'm I actually don't <laughs> think there was something wrong with the Vivid last time. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, no, honestly, like, look, it, it's, it's a me issue now. You get a okay, guy's issue. This is what I was trying to say outside. Um, I, I have, like, a, a, a you know... I get angry sometimes irrationally, and I, I know that you guys are actually helping me here, so I apologize if it comes across some being either ungrateful or angry. In a real human-to-human -human level, I do appreciate you guys being here. I like all of you as individuals. If I ever have a moment like that where I like throw my headset, I'm like, you fucking retards. 30 seconds later, I'll apologize. No, it's just, that's a, that's a, that's a me problem. Um, you know. Yeah, I do that too. Don't fucking worry. I get pissed off at people. I'm like... I'm once again asking for your forgiveness. Yeah, but it's like when you do, it's kind of like, you know, like a little chihuahua barking, you know. <laughs> it's kind of like, all right, this little annoying thing won't shut up, but let's let it vent. <laughs> no, I threw a, I threw a metal chair at my friend's spine oh. when I uh, got mad. Okay. Okay, Gen Z. Completely Gen letting Z. us know that he's Gen Z. Yeah. yeah. So I fucked this guy up by scratching his parents' car. <laughs> I'm just, I don't I'm, do that anymore. I used to be a very angry individual, but uh, not yeah, anymore. I mean, not, I still, I'm, when I really get pissed off, then, you know, I get pissed off, but I don't easily get pissed off. Yeah, I, I think, like, obviously there's more mature ways to articulate yourselves, uh, yourself, but I think it's important to not let things bottle. Um, yeah. And I'm actually really happy to be talking to you guys on voice, because, like, the frustration I experience in, in little, like, situations like that, where it's like, you can tell now I'm completely fine. Like, for, like, two minutes, I'm, like, annoyed. Cause like it's just like you know whatever there's some frustration there and i, I don't handle that you know that impulse control is bad on my part 
but when you're when I'm streaming like you know 20 hours a day and there's like a thousand people I'm interacting with without the actual ability to talk to them and like hash that out those things they like um, you know they, they build on themselves right and you start getting like more and more resentful and more whatever and that that's when I end up doing something that ends up getting me banned from whatever or like I you yeah know. a good thing for me to um... You oh, sorry. Know, Wait, sorry, one sec, guys. I, sorry, I, I forgot to copy the rejects. Uh, there you go. Yeah, go ahead. So, yeah, one of the uh, things that I do when I get mad, uh, if I'm, like, uh, just mad about something, I just play my guitar and, like, play these sick-ass riffs and scream at the top of my lungs. My neighbors won't like it, but fuck it. It helps me. Yeah, I was wondering when you were going to bring up Wonderwall. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't do requests. Din, 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 din. I, I have a request. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, which genre is that so I can play that? <laughs> I don't identify a specific genre. I think that's the appropriate answer for your, your generation. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Man, I don't mess with that shit. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not go down that rabbit hole. We're keep in mind we're on streaming. Uh, yeah, all the pirates are people, but. I don't know. I just yeah, it's okay. No, just drop it. Dead it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to get you banned. <laughs> From TFD. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bold of you, Velton, to stream your Discord voice chat. Man, it's right. okay. Like it, <laughs> Actually, it is. <laughs> I don't look. There's things that are more. There's things that are more important to me than streaming. If people found out I was denied access from reaching out to the community as all well, as ever, ever, like you know what I mean? It's like. I, w I want to operate under the assumption that in the good faith that I know, even though sometimes I'm a little bit of an unpolished product, I know that I'm acting in good faith. And like, I feel like if you constantly treat people as if they're going to, you know, you just sort of you manifest that a little bit. So it's like, you know, if, if you guys are in here and somebody came in and was like acting out of pocket and you knew that it would get that in trouble and I wrote said smoking, if all like seven of you just started jumping in on it, we're like, this is hilarious, but going to get banned. I'd come back and I'd be like, oh, you know what? fucking whatever but if i came back and i saw you guys were like yo shut the fuck up blah, blah blah that would all be recorded if youtube reviewed the case they would see that i just wanted to, you know what i mean it wouldn't yeah. be like a gross negligence it would just be like a also keep in mind i have youtube is completely independent of twitch and reddit it's not like they know i've been banned anywhere before part of the issue with twitch um is that i have you know i've been banned from twitch five times right um, yeah three times were ones that i had nothing to do with but still on, the, on their end it like it looks like there's a pattern of that Right. If I'm on voice chat on YouTube, it gets reviewed. Google obviously has a much uh, higher budget and capacity to. Uh, uh, Rachel, oh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'll run in. If someone does make that mistake, let me know and I'll just jump in. <clears throat> if uh, if I miss a beast, though, I'm kidding you. Right, well, it's not Walter. <laughs> uh, Belton, uh, do you like uh, playing anything like instruments wise? Hmm. Uh, I played electric bass when I was like 13 years old because I went through that whole like wigger phase and I thought it was the most urban of instruments. I had to do school for do it for school band, uh, but after that, no. Yeah, I'm just uh, I've been playing electric since 2020. Oh yeah, I always had a personality, so I need a guitar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> <laughs> my guitar is my personality. Oh, I know that was the joke. <laughs> I mean, whenever somebody like asks me something about my personality, I just play Wonderwall. No, honestly, I think it's I think it's cool to to have that like the you know um, physical gifts. It's not the right word for it, but things like that where you're actually taking the time, like especially like I, I know my generation's bad with it, and I'm bad with it personally. But I think especially with your like the TikTok generation, which is more of a you guys thing, that instant gratification and that quick, um, you know, whatever I think is rather emblematic and taking the time to learn something. Like guitar, where there's like the, the physical process and the the learning and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? Like a, I think it's an admirable, yeah. an admirable thank pursuit. God. Yeah, thank God I don't use TikTok. Never did. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't allowed when we were when I was in the army. It was a, they were, we were told we weren't allowed to because of the um, I think it's called Bit Bite Dance is the parent company of TikTok and they're uh, like by Chinese law uh, required to share data with them uh, because yeah, it's it's in domestic China, so uh, we weren't allowed to use it. For security reasons, yeah, uh, it's not like endless scrolling, you know. Uh, I mean, the thing is, every time there's a, a one of those social media websites, like you know, kind of um, is a disruptor within that own that industry. 
uh you know the way that it, facebook was obviously the first major one but i mean that you know uh, what was it called myspace before that and then like yeah. to, to what facebook did to myspace instagram did to facebook and then tiktok did to instagram and each one of those they'd start to adapt right like instagram added stories and video and now when you go on facebook or even on youtube you've got like these like little what do they call them shorts right yeah. they, they all end up becoming the same thing anyway so i mean if you're going to use one you're going to interact with other ones so I, I think it's really just a matter of what your your peer group is using so with, we're, guys don't move remember i gotta capture um yeah, all my uh, friends are using tiktok but uh well most of them but i don't i just i don't know well, this game seems sketchy to me you know yeah, I mean, honestly, it's like, it's not. I don't think it's like a, a virtuous thing to not use it or to use it, no, unless not. you have a, a whatever. But um, there's certainly, I don't, I don't think I've ever met anyone or times in my life where I've stopped using social media that I, I felt like I have been my mental health or my overall sense of well-being or social or real relationships are have suffered in any way. Yeah, it's um, mostly just for me since uh, TikTok has so much sketchy shit like cartel stuff and shit. So you know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that so much with that. But I just, uh, I, I don't know. I just don't like the app. It, yeah, it, that, it's that's fine. yeah, that's that's. You don't need to justify why you do or do not like something. Anyone who tells you otherwise is not worth listening to. Yeah, and I just don't want to seem like I'm not using TikTok because like I'm above someone else. Or something. Well, no, but like it doesn't like it, look. At your age, and I was horrible with this. I think a lot of our sense of self, because you're younger and you haven't really like. You know, uh, you just left high school. You haven't really like kind of landed into your own yet, and so this is a natural reaction because I was like this a lot at that age. Um, we tend to like gauge who we are as a person based on the way we interact with our externalities, right? So like, yeah. we we see how other people look at us and talk about us, or we hear about the, how other people perceive us, and we tend to shape our worldview around that, like the looking glass self, rather than really like introspecting and deciding, hey, what are my core values? And how am I going to shape my world to reflect that? Oh, we just lost two people. Oh. Um, my my game crashed. Yeah, two of you dropped at the same time, so that must have been something on the server side. It was like literally the exact same time two of you crashed. It was, it, it was like the second I entered the boss room. I don't know. Maybe that had some impact, but anyways, we won't do the bosses anymore. It's the CIA or the FBI. I'm... <laughs> it's Chris Wilson himself. Look, with that accent, there's no way it's not ice. Let's be real. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm still in the party. Is it the Communist China Party? <laughs> <laughs> or shit, Chinese Communist Party? Well, <laughs> my jokes are yeah. useful. Too much talk about TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, what, 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 what roundabout way, what I was saying there, though, uh, what's your name again? Stupid little fucking name in the game. Rizzle. Um, is that like yeah if you feel a certain way about something don't feel like you need to like justify that to the people around you because as soon as you start doing that it's gonna sort of subconsciously tell yourself that you're not doing it for yourself you're, you're doing it for them and yeah, i think that's that that's fair. it's a toxic kind of mentality to adapt if, if you truly believe something you don't owe it to anyone to, to tell them why that there's matters of subjectivity and matters of objectivity like if somebody's like one plus one is two and you're like no i feel it's three like you're a retard but if somebody, if you're like, I, I prefer meat over salad, uh, nobody has any right to tell you whether you are or are, are not correct. Because it's there's no yeah, universal this week truth. On deep conversations with Belton. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did not expect this when I joined, but I'm more than happily uh, surprised. Yeah. Uh, shit, your boy got multitudes. Um, sorry, so some, somebody said they grabbed those uh capture things. I don't have any left. Uh, the uh, beast. Warp things. I can give uh, you. Some. I have, I have uh, two hundred left. Okay, yeah. Okay, let, me, but... let me grab fifty. I got, I got chaos. I'm just, it'll save me a trip down there. Yeah. Sixty. Also, while I went AFK, I took an Adderall, so your boy gonna be farming hard tonight. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell though when I need to. Like I, I'm prescribed the stuff to Medicaid. I've told you guys all I have bad ADHD, but when I start getting angry over little things like that, it's usually because my brain's getting too scattered. It's usually a good indicator I need to. I don't want to say remedicate, but just you know, kind of get myself in check. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I need to report. Uh, report, guys. Let's see here. Uh, number one. Um, 
We got Rizzle. Zero. Um, and number two, Man. Two. Number three, Melon. Two. Uh, howdy. Zero. I love how you say zero. Zero. <laughs> Sorry, I'm from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> how many more people should we let into our country? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I become the man. <laughs> <laughs> how well how well did Merkel's policy work? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> how much energy independence do we have? Zero. <laughs> uh okay, so that's ever one, two, three. You only need to say hop can angst. Yeah, uh Fuji? Two. Okay. Fuji, I don't like even when you're excited, dude, I feel like I've just pissed off my father. Oh, like everyone else is giggling, and it'll be like, and it'll, and I'll be like, I just made a million dollars. That's great, James. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna go write in a journal and furiously masturbate until I distract myself. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, Dad, you don't understand me. Fuck. <laughs> Dad, I smoke now too. It doesn't take that long to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Vulture, so we got that tracked in. Dad, I can buy my own fucking milk. Come back. The only milk you buy is Harvey, boy. You ready to call me stupid now, Belton? Uh, no, I mean, I've already changed your name on Discord to that, but anyways, continue. <laughs> I uh, failed my, uh... My, uh... Exalt slam. I had T1 life, T1 all res, T1 dex. That's fine. The T1 all res is not a good role. Like, res brings are at this stage in the league, at least, uh, and, and long term. Like, res, res is kind of a wasted stat on, uh, I think, on, on rings, especially if you have an influence. So you're okay. What do you want to go yeah. for? What influence did you have on that? That was Redeemer. You should go on for the, uh, especially on Redeemer, go for the Frostbite on hit, reforge, yeah. uh, reforge uh, caster, and you'll get it quite quickly. And then once you get that, um, I would suggest uh, awakening it with a Shaper Ring with life gained on hit for spells, because both those are caster mods. So then you can do can't roll caster mods, and you can annul it and exult the rest of the ring in, because you'll have those two caster mods, and then nothing else will be a caster mod. So you can literally just exult, exult, annul, annul, and both of those two important mods will be safe. Okay, new map opening. The to total investment cost of 78 divines. Uh, no, chaos. Yeah, yeah. Like earlier, I had that, you know, that fucking iron fortress chest <laughs> that dropped uh, that I was all stoked for. Um, I got like OCD about it and then spent 13 divines trying to roll it above 100 life. And, and the exalt was 75, so free chaos to T1 <laughs> decks and T1. Yeah. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's just to practice because the ring, it doesn't really be like, unless you're selling a fucking mirror ring at this stage of the league, it's probably not going to, like, there's no market for it. But it's good, yeah. to, it's good to practice the craft anyway. Like the, yeah, the, that's why, that's why Yulo slammed it and was like, yeah, we yeah. didn't hit it. Yeah, like I don't know if, if you guys have noticed or if you've been watching it all lately. Uh, the past few days that I've been streaming it stuff, it's pretty much been like exclusively like gems, divination cards, and like beasts that I've been doing kind of thing, because it's uh, it's quite hard um, uh, outside of, of again maybe some higher end like you know I, I, I or sorry double corruption as well I've been doing, but the um, you know I, I ended up selling that Dialas with the perfect double corrupt. Uh, because that's, you know, a very, very high-end item. So I, I feel like you either have to have a super liquid item, like something that is either like a crafting material or things like this or beasts that are, there's always a market for, or you have to have something that's extreme high-end, but anything that's in between on, or like, you know, on that spectrum there uh, is unlikely to have any uh, real market for it at this phase. Oh, we got a matron. Nice. My new test thing for next league is to double crop Stig and Vice. What, what, with what intention? Why would you do that? Why? Yeah, why, why Stygian? Because then you just lose the whole point of the belt, which is the, the, the pistol socket. No, I, I will first uh, ro roll them with uh, the vendor. And then grab them. Yeah, just to get the something extra from it. So but you're not getting it. Again, the whole point of using a Stygian vise is the implicit, which gives you the abyssal socket. And if you double yeah, corrupt it, yeah. then you lose the whole point of it. So. Oh, no, not double corrupt it. I mean, a single corrupt it. 
Oh, so you're using gilded fossil as an engine? Yeah. Okay. That was the worst explanation of something I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm going to double corrupt and it's going to be better. Uh, yeah. I forgot to mention the fossil part uh, and also the wrong kind of corruption. But you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I actually just t testing it right now, so I don't even know. Uh, it's, it's possible. It's the same thing I was trying to do with the uh, Blizzard Crowd for my discharge yeah. to get the power charge on the Gilded Fossil implicit, but still keep yeah. the implicit from the Blizzard Crowd. It's very difficult to do, um, and uh, but belts have nice corruptions. Um, the problem is, though, uh, as opposed to a helmet, right, or something else, if you brick yeah. one of those, um, it'll still sell because it's still useful, right? Whereas if you get a bad corruption or if it gets rid of the abyssal socket, your belt is worth nothing. Right, zero. Exactly. So it, it's yeah. you have you have a lot more to lose in that situation. Um, exactly, and that that's why my at the moment I'm calculating it and it's not adding up. So no, and also also belts belts are always going to be hard capped by the price of mage blood, right? So yeah, nobody's ever going to pay more than roughly like or sorry, headhunter and then mage blood. So if headhunters are eighty divides, your belt a rare belt. Um, unless it's perfect for reward loop, which is really the only build it needs to. The, the, the use of uh, rare belts might go up a bit, given the buff to Pathfinder. Uh, but in general, though, um, if a headhunter is, let's say, 80 divines, your belt is never going to be worth more than, like, 50. Uh, it doesn't matter how perfect it is, because, you know, once you hit, like, 60 divines, I might as well just save another 20 to get headhunter, right? And then past that point, you're never... People are going to just be like, okay, well, if I'm paying... You know, if this is a really good near mirror tier of belt, but it's not mirror here exactly i'd rather just save up the money that i would spend there and go ahead and buy a headhunter or a mage with um, exactly <clears throat> yeah and i was so lucky this league i hit the uh, perfect t1 life regen t1 life and t1 chaos resist mm. on, on a stick and wise like second uh almost second week of the league mm -hmm. so like 75 divine yeah yeah, it's uh, even even if it's lucky or unlucky, the, the the decision was still made at some point to craft belts. So you should like, I, I would never really recommend crafting, like if it's if it's for self use, it's for self use. But I wouldn't ever. Now again, you can you can probably craft it for ward loot quite easily, focusing on like CDR, blasteration, that sort of shit. But in terms of like life chaos or that kind of thing, if you're gonna go after a belt like that, I recommend just doing either um. Fossil crafting or just doing harvest reforge chaos um, because there's only the one chaos mod, or if you're using a hunter belt, there's more. Um, especially if it's influence, you can target mods really easily because there's like, you know, a caster tag is only going to exist on a certain influence, or, a, you know, like, so it's, it's, it's rather easy to target those ones. Um, but outside of that, though, like, like you don't want to overly invest into something that uh, has a small market because, again, it's very niche for builds too. Uh, and even if it does eventually sell for 65 divines or whatever, it's like if you had spent that currency and that time crafting something that is, um, you know, of equal difficulty, but of more, like, that doesn't have that sort of false ceiling on it. Uh, I think, you know, conducted over any kind of reasonable sample size, uh, one would be very clearly the right decision, one would be wrong. I mean, it's okay to craft a couple of them, but definitely don't focus on that or anything. Now, again, that could change this league because of the... Uh, Pathfinder, but just be conscious of that. It was like I don't know if you were there in that Discord. I, like I ended up actually kicking the guy because he he asked me for help, and I spent like thirty five minutes trying to help him craft his scepter. And then when I told him what the, the mistake he made was, setting guard, guard, guard started getting all defensive and arguing with me. I was like, dude, like look, like stop. You asked for my help. Like your opinion on what is right and wrong here is instantly invalidated by virtue of the fact you asked for my help. Because if you knew what to do, you wouldn't have asked, right? Okay. So, like, either don't ask me, and or if you do respect what I'm saying to you, is out of, you know, I'm not here to fucking pander to your feelings. I'm here to answer the question as you posed it. And here is the mistake you made. And he just kept arguing and arguing. And then he called me a fucking, eat, like, sociopathic uh, narcissist or something. Because uh, he's like, the only reason you're saying this is because you can't handle someone disagreeing with you. And I was like, no, you just don't understand that your disagreement here, your opinion and my opinion on this topic are not of equal measure, right? I was like, what's your job in real life? Like, 
He's like, I work in IT. I was like, great. Have you seen me on a computer? He's like, no. I, he's like, I'm terrible with computers. Do you think because I think, um, you know, if I were to walk up to you and say this programming software is better than this programming software, at least that's what I think, and you with 20 years experience in this, when told me why one of them is antiquated, and I started arguing with you and, and insulted you over your opinion and said that they were, you know, they were of equal merit, would you not think that's ridiculous? He's like, that's completely different. I was like, like the, the logical and sort of dissonance people have in POE is crazy. I feel like most people ask questions not because they want the answer, but because they're uncertain if what they did was the right choice. And really, they just want someone to validate, um, like, I, you give that confirmation bias that, like, they didn't waste their time, you know? Because, like, people have, like, that self-doubt or that certainty. So the second, the yeah. you know, you know a, a neutral third party is like, now you did the right thing. It's like they don't feel that anxiety anymore, right? Uh, and that that way that you don't have to take any personal responsibility over whether or not you did something objectively wrong or right. It's just like, oh, fucking, you know, they, they nerfed exactly. they nerf the belts too much or it's not my fault. The fucking nobody's playing the league anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's just a constant deferral of responsibility. Uh, that's all four guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I've come to realize that more and more in POV. I, I actually think going forward, I'm probably, especially if you start just, if anyone wants to do any of those things, just insist they come and do it on voice chat because i feel like people um you know people that get like uh, all offended and feel like i'm attacking them when I, i'm just answering your question as they posed it to me uh <laughs> would realize that like i'm not sitting there being like this fucking piece of shit like oh boy <laughs> i am completely attaching his sense of self-worth to his capacity to craft a fucking video game item but uh, <laughs> Wasn't that all three? Uh, yeah, it was all three. Uh, one second, I'm just clearing up my beast. Don't get you guys to report. Then we'll go to the next one. That was a really bad uh, one right there. I think we had four primals. Yeah. Started off well. We got a bristle matron as our first one. Oh, actually, I actually cleared it up. Okay. Reporting. Can I change the name of a column so that this is kind of annoying? Because it. Uh, sorry, actually, uh, who's it? Uh, Logic. Can I get your help with this quickly? Um, I ha I have it to the top. The top name, like the name of each of you, is the first, uh, it, the first row, right? And I'll open a freeze, freeze the column. Okay, how do I do that? Or sorry, freeze the row actually. Um, I think you can just right click on it. Mm -hmm. So right click on one. Okay. Uh, oh, on the for, left. Hide row. Yeah. Resize. Um. Conditional formatting. Hold on, let me get sheets open again. Oh, freeze it. I got it, I got it. We're good. I got it. Freeze up to row one. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, Rizzle. Rizzle, my nizzle. Oh, Rizzle. I fucking, I had, like, I don't care. What's the number? Two. Two. <laughs> Man. Who the fuck is Riddwill? <laughs> man? Mummers too? Yeah. Sorry, I was saying man because the uh, the formatting of the cells is uh, was narrowed. He's so I can listen for He's the man. That's right. why. No, you can't be that. You can't be that in today's society. It's a hate, it's hate speech. That, uh, I'll call you whatever the fuck I want, Junior. Shut up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. What would your number again, Manners? Manners? Two. Two. Okay. Melon? One. Howdy? One. Uh, F Fujita? Two. Yeah. I like the way the way you spell howdy would be like, like a, a, how a Syrian refugee would enter like uh, Oklahoma. Howdy! It's a UGI. Howdy, folks. Howdy there, boy. That'd actually be a really jokes name for like a country bar in like the Midwest. Howdy, Arabia. <laughs> uh, all right. Up oh, next one's up. Hello. You know what's good about this data too? We'll have uh, I can do some for the total amount of parts. So, you know, right now this is uh, our third yet, uh, and then each one of you has five, of course. So I can just total up each. How many map or uh, all, how many beast drop in total, and then um, 
Uh, obviously, multiply that by the average cost of each beast um, and add that to what I have because I haven't sold any of mine, obviously. And uh, we can see how much we actually collectively made. Now, obviously, at League Start or something like that, if we were all playing together, um, we'd be min-maxing a lot more than we were today uh, in terms of effective use of time. But uh, so that would only be, you know, relatively speaking, uh, better, right? Like the, the actual dollar value um, in absolute terms would be lower. Like it's not like Einhar memories or vultures are going to be six divs on day one. Um, but uh, the relative uh, profitability should still be similar, if not better. It's people, people, have, the beast crafting is probably the 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 best thing in the game. That oh, vulture. Maybe vultures are the only thing in the world that can get me to stop talking about myself. I got a vulture. Beauty. All right, let's do a little check here, Melancholy. Help me. Nope. Sorry, Melancholy. Nope. Nope. Manners. Nope. Uh, Vegeta. Yes. Result. Uh, one. One and uh, howdy. One. Beauty. There's our number two right here. I think that's actually a matron too. That, that would be a quite a start. That is a matron, nice. I'll start actually calculating or adding now. I'll add a new tab uh, or a new uh, column, vultures. We'll see how many we get from each one. Okay. And I got the... Uh... You got both? I got wild the Bristol Matron as well. That's pretty fucking nice. Yeah, that's one. That's one point three divines. Hell yeah. Going up from uh, what do I have right now? Okay, I don't even want to say. You have three seconds except trade. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, manners. Right, yeah. I meant to click Bristol. I, I, you guys both have Z's in your name. Using the two of you. Not confusing the two of you, but when I see your names, I quick glance. Uh, and how do you use the last one, right? Or did you trade me already? I, I traded you already. Okay. I have one. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Wish the beast icon would disappear as soon as it's captured. I, that's yeah. my biggest fucking complaint about beast. Yeah. But I think that a good indication is when Einhar starts talking. That's how you know it's captured. Well, I mean that is the truth, but you know. To look out for. There's a matron over there. Matron, and what's this one? Oh, watch her, make sure to watch her. One point three divines there, nice. Point eight divines here, nice. That's two out of three for this map. I uh, can't make out what that one is. Oh, that's a psycho. Yeah, that'll be the last one. Done. Coming. Who moved? They're uh, coming. 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 It, 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 you can just die. Uh, if it ever comes to it, it is more efficient uh, for all of you to die uh, than it is for me to die. Because yeah. 
if you guys were lucky, we would have evil. We would have an equal amount of outcome, right? Whereas mine is one hundred percent guaranteed. So yeah. that's never going to be the situation. As soon as you tell me, can you guys move so that they can die? Thanks. <laughs> um, Walter. All here. Uh, we'll do the vulture check at the end of the map. One out of four. Uh, vivid watcher. Oh, that was the vivid watcher cancel. That was a perfect squid. It looks similar. Man, if I had just a chaos for every time Einhard told me I hunt well. <laughs> Vulture! Nice, we got two on here. Alright, what All right. we got? I feel like I'm overdue. Yeah, let's Maybe do a check. We got a second here. We got to pause the action here. Let's do a check. We got two vultures. That's only, only two beasts. Uh, Melancholy? Manage got one. Nope. nope. Manage does one. Okay, Fujita? I got one. Two, Fizzler? Zero. Or Rizzler, sorry. Uh, howdy. It's fine. Zero. Zero. Okay. So two, two total for me, guys. It's good. I feel so bad that I have such a hard to not, like pronounce name, like even. I uh, it's not. It's not hard to pronounce. It's just stupid. It is, <laughs> but it's <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> it's not hard to pronounce, but it's hard to say out loud. Yes. It sounds like you're making a pun of like the early two thousands, like Snoop Dogg, like for Rizzle my little. Uh, like even Riz even like, Snoop Dogg don't say that shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, Riz is like Gen Z slang shit. I yeah. Hate it for the um, I I can show you the specific demographics of POE because I, I get advanced analytics from Google. Uh, ninety ninety eight sorry ninety eight point nine percent male, uh, and eighty <laughs> percent are from twenty five to I think forty five was the demo or thirty nine maybe. Uh, Gen Z, though, is actually there's less people in your age demographic than there are people that are 65 plus who play. We're missing one beast still. Damn. <laughs> or at least, sorry, I shouldn't say that play, but that's what my personal, the people who interact with my channel, which is all POE content, so you would imagine it's somewhat reflective of the game as yeah. a whole. Also, plus a lot of those people came for drama reasons, and I would, I would imagine that would be far more attractive to younger people than older ones. Um, I don't have any portal scrolls if somebody can open a portal. That was the last one. Uh, I have. Same. It, it was actually a Canadian friend that uh, told me to start watching you and said that you're the king of currency making in PoE. That's nice of him. Who's that? Uh, I'm not allowed to mention his name because, yeah, for some reasons, but... He's very impressed about your making of currency. That's nice. I was gonna yeah, up. Uh, oh, sorry, it wasn't Howdy. My bad. Uh, and I actually think he's neighbor with you. In real life? What? What do you mean, neighbor? Yeah, living hey, very close. What do you want? I get a vulture. Okay. Sorry, who's the other person who had one? I have one. Okay. You guys... Um... Um... Like you, like you live in my city, or he actually physically knows me well enough to know where I live. Well, I, uh, I shouldn't proceed at once, but no, no, no. Like I, well, I, I, this, I'm being serious right now because this is kind of an important thing for me. Are you saying there's someone on Poe who knows exactly where I live and knows me well enough to know my specific geographic location? Because if that's not someone I know, that's that's troubling information that I, I need to be aware of. Not like I'm scared or anything, but if there's someone who knows where I live personally, I should be aware of this. It's a very nice guy, and I actually think uh, you yeah, probably know nice who guy. he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I actually think you know who he is. So. 
Okay, yeah, no, I'm not saying that this person's gonna come out and like kill me or anything, but you still haven't no. answered my question. He knows I live in the city of Toronto, or he knows where I live in the city of Toronto. Uh, that I can't answer, but uh, why can't you answer that? I'm not asking you any information about this person. <laughs> I'm asking you what he knows. I'm being serious. There, there, there's, there's nothing, nothing that is revealing about who the person would be. This is purely for. Yeah, when I never asked him further, but he said that like he he knows who you is and how close you live to him. So okay, he knows why I'm a real. Okay, that's all. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's all. So he so, he, he knows me outside of Poe. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit! I'll be in touch. He's a nice guy. <laughs> He's a nice guy. Well, no, there's certain there's certain elements of my life that uh, I don't. I, who's sorry? Who's that? Uh, I'm talking to you. That was a. Uh, He's a really good crafter, so. No, I know, but if there's certain uh, things about my real life that people don't know about, so um, I need to know if that's. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not going to get into it, but things about. I, I I didn't mean it to be a a, a thing, so. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just there's. Uh, I can't. I, I can't. I can't explain what I mean without fucking unveiling what I mean, but. It's something I need to know if that's the case. Uh, so, uh, if you're saying it's just someone who knows me and it's, it's fine, it's fine. I, I can't be specific without being yeah. completely counterproductive to the reason I'm asking with such vigor. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's mark down. Sorry, you guys traded me the vultures. Um, mm -hmm. So that means we got four that time, right? Yeah. Oh no, we had fucking, we, we get the first map. What, how many did we get? We had uh we had one of the first map and then two of you got one of the first map right yeah we said that was seven nice wow we had seven vultures in that one holy cow that's good because we didn't get a vulture for a long time before that we'll be okay uh result uh two commander two two sorry for the delay by the way both questions Melly Polly one Oh, no, no, I'm not apologizing to you, you coy fuck, and to everyone else. Uh, <laughs> uh, howdy. Three. Three. Nice. Who'd you? Four. Ooh, that's a nice round for everybody. Nice. You guys averaged 2.4 beasts there. That's more than uh, the overall average right now, 1.7. So that was uh, more than, like, almost 50% better for everybody than normally would be. Um, and just just a reminder, you guys are including the vultures, uh, your totals, yeah? Yep. yep. Okay, great. Yep. Thanks. Hello. Normally, I would think it would be... Normally, I would think it would be patronizing to ask people things that we've already clearly established, but I feel like we passed that there. <laughs> I'm sorry, did somebody say they are going to the bathroom? No. no okay. I don't think so. No, we're good. Okay, sorry, I thought you said you, you did go for a second. All right, we're gonna go. It's hardwired into your brain now that I need to go to the bathroom every once in a while. <laughs> well, it's hardwired in every person's brain because that's how human bodies work. What do you mean? That Girls human... don't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Belton, did you know that it's hardwired in your brain now to think that I have to go pee? <laughs> Little did you know I'm actually Kim Jong Un and I don't need to defecate in any way. <laughs> I too. ride on a unicorn and I don't need to take a shit. Hmm. You do, you're, you know, just having chilled with you this afternoon, I, I can imagine you being one of those guys that has, like, a unicorn t-shirt. Oh, hell no, I wear man <laughs> t-shirts. <laughs> and flannel. <laughs> okay. You just don't, you, I wear Vans t-shirts, flannel, and I play guitar. I don't need to know another thing about your personality. I know exactly who yeah, you, you are. You really don't. <laughs> My personality is, is stoner. That's stoner. Your blood type is hot topic. <laughs> Mm. Thankfully not. I actually asked my feeding lady today what you, you should do when a girl is choking. And she was like, what? And I said, retract two centimeters and said, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just turned the back on me. You shouldn't have said sorry. You should have been... Asserting your dominance over that line. I'm, I'm so embarrassed about it, but like, obviously, you know, when I'm streaming 18 hours a day, I can get like a little neglectful of my own space in terms of cleaning, like there's Coke cans everywhere and fucking, you know, takeout food. And I just get lazy after a while and I kind of like pile up for like a week. And then I've had the same cleaning lady for like eight years. And 
I, I know, like, it's like, there's nothing, I don't need, like, deep cleans in my place. It's literally just me being too lazy to take out my garbage, pretty much. And I'm, like, so internally shamed by this. <laughs> that every time I call her, I like leave my place an hour before and just leave a set of keys. Cause I can't stare to look. I can't bear to look at her in the face and be like, "Yes, yes, I am this lazy that I have hired you to come over here and pick up like forty cans of things." And uh, it's, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why. I, I think it's been. I don't know if any of you had parents like this growing up, but like uh, anytime like my mother or would have like a cleaning leader or anyone come to the house, they were like, "You have to like clean for the clean." It was like, I know I've hired this person to come over and take care of this, but what will they think? Which I always found to be funny. It's like people who wash their dishes before washing their dishes. I have a son that's uh, 13 years old now, but it was... Holy fuck, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 40 years old. Okay. Based on your accent, and... I was going to guess like 26. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh... I told him to clean his room, and he yeah. said to me, if I get four, 40 crowns, like four US dollars, mm. I will fix it. Nice. It's like, I gave it to him, and he said, oh, it's covered, and I came up, and it wasn't covered. It's like, you should clean your room. He said, I left the money to the cleaning lady. I left two dollars to her. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? I gave you four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, a business strategy right there. Yeah, exactly. You already knew the Belton's uh, strategy. <laughs> That's fucking great. I, I don't have any children myself. My brother just had a, a, a daughter for the first time uh, uh, about a year ago. and So every time I talk to him or speak about him, it's obviously when you're a new parent, you talk about being a parent all the time. And like, I can't imagine myself in that position. But I, I imagine that like those kind of situations... As much as, like, I feel like parents always say, like, you know, with their kids, it's like you're proud of, like, these conventional markers of success. I almost feel like being the weirdo that I am. If I noticed, like, something in my kid that was similar to me, like, that kind of, like, business ruthlessness or, like, that entrepreneur, you know what I mean? Where it was like, yes, I'll do it, but you owe me this. And then you come to find out, like, they're, like, leveraging that into something else. I'd be like, fucking chip off the old block, man. And, like, you, you know, you wouldn't, like, congratulate them on this, you know, objectively maybe somewhat questionable behavior, but I feel like I couldn't help but inside be like, you know, it was like, I remember when the first time I got, I got suspended from school when I was younger, I beat up a kid in a fight and uh, my, my father had been, he was traveling at the time and he wasn't home and my dad's a pretty imposing guy and uh, my mom was like, oh, just wait till your dad gets back from his trip. He's going to fucking like, you know, she's implying that he's going to rock my world kind of thing, whatever. So I'm like fucking 12 years old. I'm super scared and whatnot. And uh, I remember him coming home and he's like, uh, he's like, I gotta go, like, unpack, and my mom's like, oh, you gotta go up to the room and talk to him right now. And I'm, like, shaking as I walk up there, right? I open the door, and he's sitting on his bed, like, just with, like, a super safe inside him. He goes, so, why'd you get in the fight? And I told him, he goes, all right, do you want? He's like, I was like, yeah. He's like, nice. Uh, he's like, so, so he's like, why, but why'd you do it? I was like, oh, well, we were playing football, and the guy kicked me in my stomach when I was lying down because he didn't keep, I was too big to tackle. And he's like, do you think he deserved it? And I was like, yes. And he's like, okay. Well, I just got you a Walkman in China, uh, but your mother thinks I'm yelling at you right now. So can you go downstairs and tell her that I yell at you? Don't mention the Walkman. And also, if you're going to fight again, make sure it's not in front of teachers. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was like, I was like all right. Like that, that moment where I was like, yo, you know, like it's the parents are humans too. But that trips me out, man. Like, did, did, you, did you plan on having a kid or was it like you said, like, yeah, get a check? You know? I, it's weird what I'm asking, I guess, but I feel like there's people that go into it ha wanting a kid, like, and that they prepare themselves mentally for it, and then there's people that are, yeah. Let, let, let me say it like this. I wanted a kid, yeah. but I wasn't prepared for it. It was like, right. uh, so it was the end of that relationship. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So, yeah. Did you have to, like, get, I guess it's more of, like, a mentality thing. Like, I've noticed my friends, that because I'm 32, uh, which is not unusual for people to either have or not have kids at that age, right? Um, it's kind of like that, you know, like once you're like 40, it's like most, of, I would imagine most of the people you know would have kids kind of thing. And when you're like 20 and 25, most of the people you know probably don't, right? But 30 is kind of that age where it's like sort of 50-50. Uh, and I feel like most people I know that have had kids um, have kind of like changed, you know what I mean? Like they stopped going out to bars or parties or drinking as much and 
you know, to make sure they've got like a good place to like raise them house wise and work wise and at least if they're not married, at least like a partner they're committed to. And there, there's a whole kind of like, you know, they mentally change for that next stage of life. And I just, yeah. I can't imagine myself, obviously outside of the way that I perceive things now, I guess I was curious more so if it's like, if it's a reactive thing or a proactive decision to have that happen. Like once you have a kid, you just realize the gravity of having to take care of another human person. And you're, you just, you know, you're like, look, it's not just about me anymore. I got to take care of this kid. I'm going to buckle down and change. Or is it, do you have to like decide that? Ahead? Yeah, that's what the grand mystery of parenthood has always been to me. But yeah, talking it, about, uh... oh, sorry. It, it, it's so fucking hard to answer that question. For, for me, it was like, I want kids. And mm -hmm. when I got kids, it was like, oh, fuck, what do I do now? It was like complete shock. And I always... And, sorry, you and the mother, you said you're not together, right? What? Are you and the mother, the, the, your son's mother, are you guys together or no? No, 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 no. Is she in, we, the, picture? Is we, she in the picture at all or no? Uh, we, we're good friends now. But, but like, no, as, as, a, a, as a parent, though, like, do you guys co-parent or is it just they're your single parent? Uh, I'm single parent. Okay, yeah. But, so that, that, that's, but, even, that's even more, though, right? Because, like... That, like, I would imagine that would put you in a position you're like, I'm the only person, you know what I mean? Like, that's an additional burden, I would think, too. Not burden, but, you know, at least... Yeah, it... it's, a, it's, of course, it loves, uh, it's harder because mm -hmm. I have my own company and I have the most uh, work I have is, like, on call. So, mm -hmm. it's like, when the customer wants me, uh, I need to... I need to go for work. So, it's very hard for me to plan my... It's a very, very eloquent way of saying you're a drug dealer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm on call when the customer wants me. You know, I've got this fucking kid. If they want a <laughs> joint rolled, I need to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. Um, but yeah, so. talk. Uh, sorry if I'm interrupting. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, talking about dads, uh, my dad's always uh, been like that. Uh, I used to get into a lot of fights in middle and high school, and uh, my dad's response for when I uh, beat up someone was to teach me how to choke hold. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, let's get some recording in here. We didn't have any vultures that time, I don't believe. Uh, I actually have six, wait, wait, I have captured there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't make any sense. Why do I only have six beasts in my inventory? First map would have been two, so I, I I guess I missed one. Um, okay, whatever, it's fine. Result? Four. Nice. Matters? Three. Nice. Melancholy? Two. Howdy? Three. Disappointed father? Pretty? <laughs> 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 I don't appreciate that joke, James. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Fuji, there, man. Logic, Fuji. Ah, sorry, it muted. I had one. Okay, you won. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, either either I went too far with this man, or he's about to write me. Oh, yeah, or he's about to write me an angry email. I'm very disappointed in you, James. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it took me half a second to figure out who you were talking to. Uh, and then, and then two more seconds to realize it wasn't about your goddamn self for once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, only I can make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Plateau. But I love when the kids evolve so much that's beyond... <laughs> you you often form them like the way you are, but when yeah. they go beyond you, it's right. like when they become like their own person, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And and this league, my son actually made a character named Godly Gamer. Well, what's he, what's his name? I want I want to I want to flip his items on. <laughs> Teach him the world ain't easy, bitch. <laughs> and he actually tried to sell his account. It's like I can make money from this. 
<laughs> it was like, you totally understand this with gaming. I love it. <laughs> and then, and then you and I friendship gets strained because I make a, like a, a searing video about your son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know, dirty, dirty fucking Russian hacker. Doesn't matter if that's where they're from or not. Listen to the voice clips. <laughs> you make your own decisions. Exactly. <laughs> Son of drug dealer, confirmed. But, but, but sometimes I actually end into shit because of him, because his mother called to me. It was actually not like three, four weeks ago or something yeah. like that. And clear, sorry, clear, clear map. Yeah. Go ahead. And he told her she sounded like the ambulance. <laughs> and he was singing, do this, do that, do this. <laughs> and she was so angry at me, like it was my fault. It was like, I didn't even teach him that one. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it sounded even uh, worse when I said I actually was proud of him. <laughs> 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 You're like, my hospital's university gift is working well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, uh, first one's a primal. Oh, uh. I'm super lagging behind. Primal number two. Walter! Yeah. Tell me. I'm there. I'm there. Check. That was the last piece too. Um, melancholy. Red one down there. So oh, we're Vulture. done. Vulture. We're done. Vulture. Okay, now I'm gonna ask you in a row. Don't fucking seal it out. Hard to track. Uh, so sorry, melancholy. Yep. Yep. Manners. I can. Trying to find it. Just use the rejects. Uh, no. Okay. Fuji. No. No. Uh, result. Yep. Two. Howdy. No. Nope. Okay. That's uh, all three of the things, right? Uh, so that's what uh, one, two, three, right? Hello. Remember trading before you go in. Holy shit, every single person did exactly what they're supposed to do there. I know oh this is gonna God. sound this is gonna sound super whack for a video game. I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel like a fucking proud father. Everyone did exactly what they were supposed to do there and did it very quickly. Like well fucking done. You've raised us well. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, son. <laughs> <laughs> all the t all the light touches is yours, Belton. <laughs> I, I thought I was slow, so <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> no, no, that's great. Um, specifically, the three people who didn't have vultures went right in the map. The two that did have them waited behind, which makes it easy to identify who it is. I trade them quickly. Inventories were cleared out. Everyone was in the map by the time I was done. Like, that was perfect. Hell yeah. Yeah. See, you don't need to have any kids. Yeah. <laughs> you have Discord. <laughs> yeah, we are your community. <laughs> James Belton was found dead recently, earlier this morning, <laughs> from apparent suicide. His note said, try and figure out League Start now, bitch. <laughs> oh, I think there's a vulture here. I can't tell if there's too many things going on. I think there's a vulture, though. Uh, maybe not. One, two, three. We still got one more to go. Guess not. Sorry. 
False flag. Uh, uh, that might be a bramble bag. Oh, wild Helly and alpha. Nice. That was number four. Okay, I'm gonna open the next memory, but before you, as soon as you report number to me, you can go in. Uh, don't, don't enter it until you report numbers. And I will clear up my room. Okay. Uh, we've got three vultures in that map. Rizzle. One. Manners. Zero. Melon. Two. Howdy. One. Fuji. One. That's a not a great one for everyone, it looks like. Okay, perfect. Good transition time there. Hey, Rizzle, that one include the uh, vulture or no? Young man? I like uh -oh. uh, manners. I like how you like... Hey, Rizzo, stop talking for a second. Listen, you just asked a question. You reported one, Rizzo. Does that include the vulture that you gave away to? Oh, fuck, two. Yep. I knew it. I could feel it. Uh, Rizzo, Rizzo was about to get group kicked, so you just saved him. Yeah, I've ended it. Thank fucking God you told me. It was funny because I think maybe 45 seconds before that I said remember to count the vultures. <laughs> Oh, what the? I, uh, my ears did not listen. I know, that's why I said, well, you 